25 months. Let's go as hard as Gigi's kite. Move all hunters, my beloved. Can't wait for more VH content. Smile. Hello, 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 hello. How are we? When did I last stream? It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. Nine days. Wow. On the internet, that's like five years. <laughs> Eight days. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Wendy? What's time up, Wendy? When you're hanging with friends. Thank you, Kyle. Hell yeah. Time's Welcome flying. back. Bye. Thank you, Anop. I hate when Streamlabs does that. I hate it when it comes up and mixes up your messages. He both says time flies, though, so that's all right. Today we're gonna do something. Yes, um... here. Good morning. Hashtag never ever leaving. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're gonna do something a bit different. Uh, let me just make sure that that. Okay, we'll see if that works. Sefi, thanks so much for the ten months. Um, we are on uh, 11.2 pre-release update, the, the update that we're currently working on. And me and Joe have done a lot of work in the past week. Uh, a lot of boring JSON GM, stuff GM. and some Java stuff Eight because... Pag. Uh, Hashtag never ever leaving. Pag, thank you so much, sir. Literally was just thinking about watching Vault Hunters. Hell yeah. Perfect timing, sir. Miraculous, multifan, thank you so much, dude. Uh, because we have finally introduced a thing that we wanted to introduce like half a year ago. Um, and that is, is, is Vault Junk. Hello. Which is a big thing. It's a big deal. It's a big small deal. So, um, that hey, means... Colin, I stain for tearing down my whole base in one of the official VH servers because I didn't like the colors. <laughs> I worked on the base since day one. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty... That's pretty... I'd, I'd say that it's sane and I'd call it Omega, sir. Well done. Um, yeah, Vault Junk is basically... If you've ever GM, played Vault GM Hunters... server. GM, GM, GM. If you've ever played Vault Hunters, the... Um, scaffolding the sticks all of the garbage that's in loot tables is there because it's a psychological thing okay so when you open a chest if the chest is empty or has empty slots it feels worse even though um uh you you're not getting anything that you actually want out of the chest and the second thing is if there's junk in the chest the good things pop out more it's kind of weird it's kind of weird thanks so much for it's the level two hype train dudes um, but it's something that we played around with in October last year when we were building Vault Hunters 3rd Edition, when we were building the loot tables. It's something that is very interesting to me, psychology-wise, to, like, think about and, and how to, like, make the player feel good. Um, <clears throat> but the problem has always been that it cluts, cl clogs up the inventory um, early game and it just messes you up a bit. Uh, I actually realized that I just forgot to do one thing that I really wanted to have done in this thing, and I'm going to do it live. Because we are now playing in my development... Um, oh, nice beach. We're playing in my development good morning, instance. Sir. Hope it's going the right way. Which is good. With your personal life. It's going the right way. It's going the right way. It's just... Yeah, it's just things. Stuff. Um, let me just do something. Let's do this. So if I just delete this. So we're going to do, we're probably going to do some, uh, some live changes today. Uh, I just want to make sure that I get this one sorted out. Because this is something we need to do for the public release eventually. Uh, let me see. If I search Almost two pouch. Years of subscribing pog. Also, okay. I finished my teaching degree and quit my care job yesterday. Officially two weeks until there I we have go. a class Perfect. of my own. 
Ooh, nice. That's crazy, Ricochet. Congratulations, dude. Thanks so much for the 23 months. Guybrush, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, sir. Uh, Seki's at a break at work. How you doing, Seki? Uh, but yeah, we might be doing some commands today. We might be doing some stuff. But the idea is... The idea is... Hello! Oh, god dang it. I don't have zoom on this client. Brrr, do I restart? Do I restart the client? Do I, can I live without Zoom? I hate without Zoom, specifically when you're streaming. Specifically when you're like showing things. You want to zoom in on the butt of the turtle. Um, let's do this. Time, uh, no. Game rule, do set, do, boot, do daylight cycle falls. We're gonna, we're gonna set the world up before we do anything. Six months is hard uh, and do fire tick falls? A while now, but I'm not in a good place Weather. Oh, that's sad. I hope sad. you're doing well and I'm excited for anything new in VH. Do weather cycle falls. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Fall. I hope that you're feeling better and just, yeah, can take your mind off, off your issues. Zoom uh, by setting your uh, fob really low. Yeah, a lot of people do that. I've seen people do that. I like the Zoom mod. Should I restart? Do I care? It's not that important, is it? Uh, let me explain what we're doing. We're playing arcade mode, which means that we are going to do the following. We are going to put Can on... my master's thesis in yesterday. Now Ooh. to play VH until I find a job. Hell yeah, socially awkward. Congratulations, dude. I think university is over for a lot of people by August, September. That's cool. Okay, we're gonna do vault mode. Uh, we can play normal. We'll play normal. We're gonna do vault crystal mode. Infinity. That's the arcade thing. And then we're gonna do vault loot. Extreme. Okay, that's what I call arcade. Infinity and extreme means that we have infinite crystals. They don't cost us anything. We're not gonna build farms in this world. Uh, and the extreme loot means that we have triple Good loot morning, and XP speed, so we're gonna level up fast. Leaving. Get zoom, please. Restart. You know you care. Ah, oh, god damn it, I do care. I do care. I hate not having zoom. But do I care that much, though? Do I really care that much? Hmm. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Oh, and then we are gonna set the vault difficulty to hard. So, I've played this myself, uh, off-camera. And I've realized that when you play on extreme loot mode, the game is pretty difficult. Because you don't have time to, like, perfect your gear or anything like that. Uh, you go very quick into different things. So, like, the gear, the, 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 the game gets pretty difficult pretty quickly. Uh, brr, let's get zoom. Let's get zoom. Just so we have it. And I can explain what we're doing at the same time. Shameless um, boss call 85 plug because it gets me through life yep. when streams aren't an option. Hell yeah. Excited to get our signed TCG card from you, sir. Hell yeah. Happy anniversary and happy birthday to me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Yo, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chase and Zach. I am really excited for the TCG cards to arrive. Zoom. Just zoom. What's the, what's the zoom mod called that I'm using, Dylan? Come on. Help an escal out. Can't find it. I thought it was just zoom. Oh, it is just zoom. Pag. Bag. Um, yeah, we're playing in my development instance today, so you're actually seeing the absolute latest that we have worked on. Uh, there are a bunch of new features that we have. Um, Seki has messaged me. Hello, Seki. Um, mm, do we want this edited into an episode? Seki did such a good job on the Sky Vault thing. Do we want her to edit this into an episode? Brr, maybe, Seki. Maybe. Maybe. I'll see. I'll see. I haven't really planned. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play. How lucky is Exuma rolling gears? Yeah, the the things I've seen, my goodness, the man doesn't even understand. He doesn't even understand how good he is. <clears throat> yes, please make an episode. But I mean you guys are here, so you're gonna see it anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe we maybe we have to have both. Maybe we have to have a vote and an episode. Yeah, we can make it into an episode if you want to, Seki. That'd be good. Uh, maybe both. Maybe both. Maybe there are two episodes in this stream as well. Maybe there are three episodes. I don't know. Neen, that's not how it works. Hi, YouTube is not how it works. Because this, if it's made into an episode, this part will not be part of the episode. It'll be professional, okay? It will be like... Cut to the pieces that matters, not when I restart the game and install Zoom. Like, no one's gonna care about that. Um, anyway, uh, quickly go over what's new in this version <clears throat> without going into patch notes because I haven't finished them yet. 
Uh, Volt junk is implemented, uh, as I said. Call content. Gotta love it. Less than three, this will help while sitting at work. Thank Tom. you, Dalsk. Thank you, Dalsk, my friend. Uh, Volt junk is implemented. We have another block that's coming into Volt junk, but we have a lot of new stuff in the Volt junk, which is exciting, and hopefully you guys like it. Um, <clears throat> we have. I'm not going to say things that we're not going to come across today. Uh, because it's just going to confuse you guys. Uh, Vault Gear has a new label to indicate its slot. So we got a lot of like, what's a wand? How do I use a wand? Help me, please! It now says offhand on it. It's pretty nice. Um, actually, let's not do patch noting. Let's not do patch noting. Let's just play and, and you'll see the new things. Woo World 27. Yeah, it's because Woo Tax crashes my worlds. <laughs> I have to create GM, new ones. GM, GM, sir, happy five months. Hashtag never ever leaving. Danny boy, thank you so much for the five months. Vault cold, please. Mm. Mm. We actually, in the vault junk, there are blocks or things that you find that are smeltable. Uh, that are better than sticks. But let, let's get into it when we get into it. So... I want to play arcade, which means that we have to play Minecraft in the beginning. We have to go and get uh, Chromatic Iron, basically, and Vault Stone. That's our first task. We gotta play through the quest line as much as we can because it is very rewarding. Um, and I think this is gonna be great fun. It's it's gonna help me to balance the loot tables because honestly, they may be completely off at this moment in time. They may be terribly bad. So, is that a cave here? Shall we just do this, Dylan? That's a water hole. That's not a cave. Can I zoom, by the way? I just restarted the zoom. Zoom. See. Wait, toggle zoom. I don't know if I want toggle zoom. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh. That's a very deep zoom. Have I changed this somewhere in my other thing? Uh. Oh no. Is that, is that actually how the zoom is? That's such a mega zoom, isn't it? It's like I'm, it's like I'm on a 16x scope in PUBG. Hello there, turtle. Wait, let me see. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just weird. Oh, you can scroll it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, look at that mountain. Very nice mountain over there. That's crazy. Oh, but it doesn't. It resets after. <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wait. I'm not joking, that zoom is insane. <laughs> That's an insanely far zoom. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's turn on the weather. No, not the weather. The time. Day, uh, do daylight cycle true. And let's go, I guess. Let's get a sword, let's get a pickaxe, let's get some food, and then let's hit the caves. So yeah, we're playing on a cave mode, which means, again, uh, crystals are free, and the loot and experience is tripled. That's the whole idea. Um, the reason I'm doing this is partly because of my own enjoyment, because I found this extremely fun to do when I did off-camera. It was really exciting to see how far this game has come without the Minecraft part. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the whole build farm incentivization and all of that stuff, but... It was very, very exciting to see how how well the game stands on its own. Does you, do you know what I mean, Dylan? Do you want to know what I mean when I say that? It's, uh, yeah, really... Uh, do I just make a pick? I just make a pick and get some stone for the rest. Really inspiring. Really ins inspiring. <laughs> oh, Joseph, you overslept today, dude. You overslept today. Me, as I said earlier, me and Joseph has been working hard on this. I don't know if. Oh no! And Pep, Pepper has done a, a superb function. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys about a new function, even though we can't see it right now in the game. It's insanely, it's insanely pagging. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? You're not ready for this, but here we go. I need one more stone. Here we go. You ready, Dylan? I said to Pepper. I said, Pepper, hello, Pepper. For those of you who don't know, Pepper is part of the development team. Hello, Pepper. How are we, Pepper? I said, I say. Pepper goes, I'm good. How are you, Iskal? And uh, I go, I'm, I'm all right. All right. You know what would make me better, I say. I say, I say, what if on the webpage, we would build a new thing for the webpage where people can share their builds 
like their skills, their abilities, their talents, all of that stuff, right? You follow me, Dylan? I go like, that would be insane. But for that to really work, the skill altar would need to be able to save settings and import settings. And he's like, I got you, Iskal. So we have, or he has created a hash system where the, I'm not supposed to call it hash because it's not a hash apparently, according to Vutax. Um, but basically a system where um, you can save your skills and abilities and talents and all that. And then your friend can load it in. So that's going to help a lot with like sharing your builds, etc. And really help what I wanted to do. I wanted to do some videos with like showcasing my favorite builds. And then people can just like load in the code if they're the right level. Of course, it's all like level based, right? It's going to have to be. Okay, I don't think I need more stone. We need to find some food and then go down to the caves. I don't want to go down without food. I hate not having food in the beginning of Minecraft. This is a nice place, by the way. I like that we have got a decent spawn that's not in a desert. Very nice. Did you restart the server? No. This is a single player arcade. I'm relying on Kazi or Salsa or Seki to like write up a command. Uh, today or something like that, so that we don't have to have the question. What are you doing? Silent. What's up, Silent? Thank you, Silent. Appreciate you. Uh, who's played early game Vault Hunters recently? What do we need before we go into the caves? I think we need a poppy. We need a poppy for the potion quest. And then we need some wool for the soldier. Oh, we need purple dye. Purple dye as well. Sand. Oh, we need sand for glass. You're right. We need to make a, a bottle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get all of these things and then just head into the caves. And then and then we're starting to pack. Is this a good entryway, perhaps? The legend. I have missed you. It has been five months today. Ash! If you are doing well, VH is a big escape for me. I love it, so thank you. It's amazing. Hashtag never ever leaving. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, maybe we want some yellow dye as well, or some other dyes uh, for uh, for things. Thank you so much for that, dude. Appreciate you. Oh, did Dalski end up doing it? Hell yeah, Dalski coming in clutch. Okay, so we got the poppies. We're going to need... Hello. Is it possible to have any updates on the single-player Vault Hunter series? Uh, yes, it's gonna come back. I'm actually getting out of it now. My big issues and mental issues in life. And just not enough. We need so much more as card as card. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna say that... Expect my YouTube return to my main channel around mid-August. Alright? Uh, just believe me, I don't want to go into what's happened in my life, but... Just believe me when I say that the things I've gone through over the, over the summer has been the worst things in my life so far. And it's completely uncontrollable, not something that I've been able to, like, deal with very well. Uh, it's stopped everything when it comes to, like, trying to be creative. It's slowed down Vault Hunter's progression, for sure. It's slowed down my streams. Um, but most importantly, it's, like, it's, like, hindered me to do things on my own, on my own pace, in my own pace. Um, so, I'm getting out of it now. I, I was actually, you know, the worst, worst part of it was about two weeks ago. If I'm honest. About two weeks ago, when I last streamed, that was the worst, probably, time. It's getting better now, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna rush into anything just yet, because I'm not fully... Uh, well, I, I won't ever fully <laughs> be, be uh, you know, my, my, my healed me again. But <clears throat> uh, life goes on, and uh, uh, yeah... Just, just give me, uh, give me another uh, couple of weeks or so. Mid August uh, is when I plan on returning to my, my single player world, which I'm very excited about. Actually, I'm a little bit nervous, as always. I get nervous. <laughs> it's annoying, but I get nervous about things like that because I gotta, I gotta try and remember where I were at. Uh, but I want to make that a long term series, and I want to continue from where I was. Um, I think Vault Hunters is just getting better and better as well, and uh, as I say. Uh, if you missed if you missed the um, podcast that we did the the podcast episode, 
we're looking at update 12 to be the last alpha version. And update 12 is expected somewhere, you know, mid-September, somewhere there. Um, towards the end of September, maybe. But we're looking at that to be the last alpha version. That means that after that, we are stopping development. And we are going to go on and uh, create a new project. Uh, Bumcraft is what we call it. And it's going to be like a cool mod pack and stuff like that. And... No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're not. We're not. We're not stopping development at all. But we are uh, changing up development. We're making it so that um, uh, we are no longer remake. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. We're no longer going to remake existing systems. So by then, un until then, or or in update twelve, as I've said before, we are working on redoing Eternals from from the ground up. Before update 12, hopefully Hellfire is Thanks not answering to me again. Five and it's, so it's a little bit um, worrying flower. to me. But Hellfire once again is not answering me. I don't know if he's been really busy or what, what's happened. But I haven't heard from him after the vault cast. Um, but we are redoing potions as well. And yeah, if you want more info on that, go and check out the, the vault cast. Which is on Vault Scale 85. Bumcraft, the mod where you hunt... Bums. <laughs> Bims. <laughs> okay, we need sand as well, and then we're good to go. So we, we might just as well make ourselves a little bed. Sleep up here. Have a good time. Do I have enough wool? Do I want to make... You know what? Do I want to be smart? Do I want to make... I know that I'm going to need the, the purple dye, right? I'm going to need five to make the soul pouch eventually. Uh, I don't want to make it now, though. Because then it doesn't register. But I can make those. So I have them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That leaves me enough to throw away this bed. Say, yeah, I don't want the bed. Your stupid bed. I want the red bed. Okay, can I have a red bed? God dang it, I west wasted. Ah, oh, red beds. Telling you. Telling you, Dylan. This is, this is the way to go. I'm gonna sleep like a king. Um... <clears throat> Okay, good. Break and get some sand. And then we go. How much sand do I need? I only need like... No, I need a pane for something as well. Like glass pane. Let's just get a little bit. You could have colored the bed. That's not the correct way of doing it, okay? <laughs> then I'm getting called a boomer. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Fair. Fair. Fair point. Alright, um, I need to get one more sand, otherwise I'm not efficient. Or, wait, three more sand, otherwise I'm not efficient when smelting it down, because I'm going to waste the coal. Mm, don't waste the coal, let's go. God dang it. Do you, guys, do you guys not just despise people who are, like, min-maxing things like coal in Minecraft? <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but it's so weird. Like, why are you spending time mathing? Just play the goddamn game. Some people are like... Did you just use one coal to smell two pieces of sand? What is wrong with you, Escal? Um, yeah, it smells eight items, not nine. You're right. But I wanted two extra for decoration, okay? Let me have my decoration. Alright, that ravine we found, was that a good ravine? Ah, it's a bit of water in it. Oh, there's a village here. Maybe we go to the village. What can we get from the village that's going to help us? Hmm... Let's go to the village. Hell yeah. Red bed is more efficient for sleeping. That is true. That is true. When I sleep in a red bed, I wake up feeling rested. I wake up feeling like a king. And that's a good thing. Because then when you do something in life, you're like, Okay, give me my crown because I am king. I don't want to kill pig. Sorry, pig. We could grab some family members. Do we need family members? Like, don't we have the Vault Enchanter now? I don't think we need villagers at all in arcade mode. I don't actually think that I want to visit this village. Do I want to visit this village? I'm just trying to think what I'm going to need for the quest line. Because we are playing arcade. We don't need things for Vault Crystals. And that looks like a good cave. Brrr. Do we jump? The oh, we could get the iron from the Iron Golem. But, I mean, that's, that's kind of min-maxing it, isn't it? We got some food. We got some stuff. Is that? No, it's just the area. I'm just looking for a little bit, tiny bit of iron, so I can make a bucket. The settings are uh, Vault difficulty hard, Minecraft difficulty hard. Because Minecraft is easier and hard than it is on Peaceful. Il Mango proved it. 
You can also get tools from blacksmith. I don't care about tools. I don't care about no pesky vanilla tools. Hmm? It's not my style. God damn it! <laughs> what is this hole? Come on, man. Yo, Vikingar with the 15 gifted subs. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get some love for Vikingar, please, in chat? That's incredibly generous. Thank you so much, Vikingar. You're always, you're always so very generous. Thank you, sir. Uh, do I survive this drop? Hmm? I don't know if I do. Might actually die from this drop. Ah. Uh, what would Bear Grylls do? Climb to the top and look for civilization. Wow, that was that was that is not how he speaks. Bed MLG. Yeah, how much does the bed reduce fall damage actually? That's a good that's a good idea. How much does it reduce? Drink his wee is what he would do. <laughs> oh right, we have this cheesy thing we uh, I, I should survive this with a bed MLG. Back. Beautiful. I can't MLG in single player. I need the lag. Little lag things. Okay, iron. That, that was a good fall. Not gonna lie. So we need to get vault stone. Uh, we need to do the quest line actually. Hold on. Loving every second of it. Thank you, Sally Jane. Thank you, sir. Was that just one piece of iron? Oh no, no, no. We got some nugs. Hell yeah. Okay, let's do this. Uh, boom. Get the buckeye. Any water down here? Lava down there? Okay, we'll come across it. Should I make iron gear? Is it even worth it? Wait, that was a sack. Yeah, I suppose it's worth to have iron gear. Like, because of beginner's grace, we could just go into vaults as soon as we can and, like, just greed. Because <laughs> greed is good. But yeah, let's make, uh, let's make some iron stuff. For night. Oh, I need an iron pickaxe to mine vault stuff probably maybe i don't know i don't know oh you're being inefficient inefficient hey scott what is the massive lack spikes there sometimes are in my single player no idea dude do you have enough ram associated with it it's a very broad question i heard water it's a very broad question dude it's like assuming that i know your computer and its settings i don't there's not- we haven't built in lag spikes in the game. If you get lag spikes, there's- there's something not right. I get lag spikes because my computer is broken. <laughs> I guess my processor is- is broken. Here, take these. Creepy bump. Nice, beautiful, brilliant, efficiency. Good- good trash canning. Um, I wonder if I should make another iron pick. You know what really aggravates me? This is such a weird thing. This is such a silly thing. I'm mining the cold because deeper down is very rare. Um, <laughs> what is really weird to me is people play Minecraft from the beginning. And then they make an iron pickaxe and they go back to using their stone pickaxe because they don't want the iron pickaxe this, this, to break. <laughs> like, I would be less efficient. Now that I got my iron pick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nurture it. I'm gonna save it. And to me, it's just like, brrr, you know, we'll make boots though. <clears throat> Like, just use the resources you get. Me every time, shamed. I mean, it's weird, dude. It's like Captain Sparkles. It's like, he plays Vault Hunters, he gets all of this loot. I'm not gonna smelt it down to Soul Shards, because I might need my 3,789 Hunter's Eye. <laughs> you know what I mean, Dylan? <laughs> that's, 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 yeah. That's fair enough. Beef does that too. I, I've seen so many people. I'm not calling out anyone specific. There's just so many people that are like, mm, this is my first iron pick. I'm going to save it. And uh, I mean, the moment I see diamonds, Dylan, I'm just going to make a diamond pickaxe immediately. And I'm going to use the diamond pickaxe. I'm not just going to have the diamond pickaxe in my inventory. But it may take some time to find the diamond. Uh, do we need lapis? We got the blue dye already. I don't think we do. Right, let's just look at the quest. Why. Chromatic iron Busy first, okay. Life, I just defended my thesis and I'm officially an engineer so I can yeah, finally man. watch the streams again this part. Hell yeah, Yen. How are we? I'm glad to hear that uh, you're getting some more time. I don't uh, I don't agree with the soul chart thing, but I do save uh, the sticks to trade with Fletchers. I mean... Oh, we should do something here. 
I don't have heal. Why am I pressing my heal button? It's skull. Efficiency. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, we got him. We got him. We got him. Stop. Uh, we should do something new in Vault Hunters that you can do. Did you guys know this? Those of you who paid attention, you knew this? Oh, look at me crafting, do more crafting benches, by the way, being inefficient. I picked up my furnace, though. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty proud of that one. Uh, iron. We're gonna make a shield, Dylan. We're gonna make a shield. We can make a shield in Vault Hunters now. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm Mr. Air, man. And then, maybe I wanna save my Vault Stake. For the vault running, because it will help me, it will speed up things. But then I have to sit here and, yeah, do things. Yeah, check this out. So shields are now craftable in Vault Hunters. They give you a 5% block chance. You can't vanilla block with them, because vanilla blocking is just brrrr, cringe. Very annoying, um, how powerful it is. Yeah, let's start cooking our food, I guess. I don't want to live here, though. Hmm... And then we go and find chromatic iron. I guess I could make... I guess I could make, like, uh, leggings or something. Leggings is two armor. Helmet is two armor. Okay, helmet is more efficient to make. Chestplate is two as, as well. Yeah. So, okay, you want to make boots and helmet. If you want to be maximum efficiency. Because you get the same armor amount. Behind the furnaces, sir. That's not chromatic iron. Crap. I still need water as well. Hmm. Oh, god damn it, this man. Skeletons are very dangerous early game. They really are. <laughs> they really suck. Heal. That's an amethyst node. Oh, I see vault stone. Okay. We got vault stone over there. Pag. Let me get back up here. That's not chromatic iron. A bit up. No, dudes. We are not even at the right Y level. Why am I even... Why do I even listen to you, Dylan? Wait, I know this. I know we're not even at the right Y level. Isn't it like minus 30 or something? Minus 30, yeah. Why are you guys saying there's more up there in this chromatic iron? No. You guys know nothing. You guys know nothing at all. <laughs> Backseating. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got vault stone already. Um, but I think, I think the quest asks us to mine the vault stone. Do I make... Uh, let's just make some trousers as well. I think the quest will ask us to mine Wallstone, which means that I can't pick it up right now because I don't have to touch. Bro, there's netherite near the Wallstone. This this chat, man. They are RK. They are good. They are good at the game. Um, let's actually do this. I'm going to go towards the vault. I was going to jump down here, but I think I'm going to go towards the vault stone. Do I need leather? No. Do I need sticks? No. Do I need light gray wool? No. Red dye, blue dye. Uh, it would be good for the shulker boxes. Do I need these books? No. Okay. Cool. Cool. Use your sacket skull. I think it weighs, like, I think it slows down movement speed. When you have stuff in it. Uh, we could waystone here. Waypoint here as well. And knowing myself. I should probably do that. Vault stone patch. As a vault stone patch. Fluorite. We're minus 40. We could, we could be for the gold. But we are in a noodle. In a noodle cave. These suck. I need blocks. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is not the ideal caves you want, but that is a great find. Hell yeah. 
We want an open cave, not this garbage. Noodles. Quest book would be useful, Iskal. No, there's a hotkey. You can access the quests uh, through a hotkey or through this button here. So you don't need the book. <laughs> it was one of the things when we built the quests. So I was like, I really hate when you have to start the mod pack by throwing out like 50 things. Is that really an urn where I threw all my junk? Hag. Um, I see more walls down there. God damn it, I need blocks. I need blocks. I'm just going to spend a little bit of time getting some blocks. Maybe use the minimap. That's a point. I mean, we've just got here. We've just got here. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. We're doing okay. I saved the cobweb. <laughs> I was clearing up my inventory and I saved the cobweb. It's like, oh, that's a rare item. It's hard to come by in vanilla. You don't need it. Is, is soap in real life, Dylan? Is soap actually made out of uh, ash? Do you actually burn something to make the main ingredient for soap? That's so weird. Why is it like that? I should use the map and I should have seen that this was a dead end. Sir? Okay, this is very inefficient. We just need to find a cave instead. Chemistry? So it's like, I mean... <laughs> Why is it like that? I suppose I asked that stupid question. The good thing with stupid questions, though, is that you only have to ask them once if you pay attention to the answer, right? That's pretty pag. All right, let's go back up and um, not, pick, not pick up all the junk again. And then we can go down. Did I go down here? Did I check this area out already? I don't think I did. Oh, diamonds. I see diamonds. I see diamonds. I saw it before you, Dylan. Because there's a stream delay. So there's no way you saw it before me. Hell yeah. Weird flex. Nice. Do I need... I think I need a Thank crafting. Oh. Pack. I'm visually impaired, but still finding a way to enjoy it. Hell yeah, dude. Well done. Impressive. I hope your, your sight is okay. Doing okay. Uh, I think I need the leather, because we need a book. We need two books. How many leather did I throw away? Just one. We need to make an enchanter at some point. And books no longer spawn in vaults, because they were junk. Don't you need obsidian? Yeah, I do need obsidian as well, eventually. But I don't think we're there yet. Let's just, let's just, uh, I don't know if when vault enchanter is a quest. Don't know how far down it is. Oh, it's actually before the vaults. That's annoying. Okay, I need my leather. God dang it. I wonder if it would be better. Like, a few things that we're going to find out together, Dylan, is uh, a few... Um, oh, I only had one leather. That's only one book. We might be finding some things uh, that can be improved. And I want us to together, like, think about these things during this stream. All right? Did I go down here? I hate this generation. It sucks. Where are my caves at? I'm so used to playing with 200 ping that like <laughs> fighting these things I find difficult. Find a cave skull. I'm trying. I'm looking at the minimap as well. Hmm, lava. I think I've been here. Unlucky. How far down does the vanilla world go? These days, minus 64, is that a number? There's the vault stone again. Minus 64, okay, thank you.
Alright, if I go up again, I thought I saw a cave entrance somewhere that I walked past. Nothing back here. This is just another noodle, another spaghetti. Oh, oh, opening up. <laughs> Important things we gotta focus on. Much importante. Fluorite. Oh, is there a cave there? Or is this another noodle? Hey, it's another noodle. Let's go. You need to be lower, Scal, for the caves? No. Wait, do we? No, we don't have the underground map. No, we're just in a noodle generation land here, which is fine. We'll find our way out of it eventually. We're back to this now. There's an amethyst cave there. If I dig forward here... I want to dig through to that area. Looks like the same noodle, yeah. Normally what I'd do here, and maybe we should actually, is just get the hell out of here, get back over ground, and just look for another entrance. It's probably the most efficient way of doing things. This is a... Uh, been here, right? Yeah, I've been here. Seven okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's go up. Tag. Still so, loving this mod. Tag, thank you, sir. Continue loving it, I hope. Uh, thank you for the seven months. So the way a vanilla generation works, as as far as I'm under uh, have understood, is that um, the world generates in like it carves out things, and if it starts carving, like if it gets a noodle thing to carve, then it's gonna carve that noodle for a while. Now we're gonna lose the vault stone that was over there, but. Don't think that's a big deal. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. See, this is this is the way to do it. There's a new cave. Here we go. Crap. Fine, we're good. There's some more vault stone and a witch. Isn't witch like the worst mob I could possibly get right now? Uh, but this is it. This is a good place. If I can get rid of that witch, we're going to be able to make success here. Oh, of course I triggered both. <laughs> God damn it. She slowed me, so she's going to start poisoning now. Heal is that. That's not fair. I, th I saw her get out their healing potion. She's cheating. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Crap. Ho! Oh, 5%. 5%. This poison, though. <laughs> what is this poison? Come on. Alright, we got Vault Stone. We're at minus 6. We gotta get down there. You can get diamonds in these, by the way, I think. <laughs> of course, clutch shield. Ah, huh. can't get diamonds, get a stat gets a statue. Alright, so we got Vault Stone up here, remember that, because I'm gonna go down here. Keep an eye out for diamonds. Are you serious? There is no depth to this? Come on, man. <laughs> Just give me a cave. What is this? <laughs> it looked a lot better from up here. There was diamonds there. Did I actually miss diamonds? I don't have a sword. Ah, 
activate uh, Wayla by pressing numpad 1. So here's the thing. I am the one to have disabled that by default. Okay, because I hate Wayla. I mean, I don't hate it. Okay, that's wrong. I don't hate it. It's not like, oh, I'm going to start a fight with Wayla. But I just, I don't know. It's just, to me, it ruins the game a little bit, right? It's like... It's like having a narrator narrator in real life walking around behind you being like, this is a bus. This and, and it's great for accessibility. I'm not saying anything about that, but I don't need that accessibility. You know? This is a road. There are diamonds there though. <laughs> this is diamonds. It's literally what it does. And I get it, I know why it was implemented. Uh, with all the different mods and stuff like that, but I, I just don't like it. I think it ruins the immersion a little bit. It's very good for accessibility reasons. Yeah, and that's good. But I, but if something is for accessibility reasons, that means that some people don't need it. Should we take this on? We could get very lucky and get diamonds, or we could die. They can be very difficult with poison spiders and witches. Ah, we got both. Pag! Okay. We build a house. Oh, God damn it, I'm dead. That's gonna suck. I'm gonna be poisoned for an hour here, I think. Hmm. Honestly, I may actually... I may actually want to build myself in and wait for this poison. Oh, no! That was not the long poison that witches have. Interesting. So it's just witches that have the weird Vault Hunter's poison bug. Okay, here's what we can do. Set spawn here. Right? And now we fight them. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what was that? Did they just... Did they just get into an argument? I think they got into an argument. Did I get a diamond pickaxe? That's a diamond pickaxe. <laughs> Don't question it, just accept it. Fair. Very fair. I think I got a diamond pickaxe. So then it was worth it. Oh, it's a damaged one, but hell yeah. Uh, where's my house? Where was my little house? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Could settle down here, but it's kind of a disgusting area. But I do need I do need to smelt up some more food. Cook some more food. Champion loot. Yeah, it's the champions of the old world. Wow, sticks really suck, huh? Look, I'm gonna waste one piece of coal there and here. Oh, oh, snap! Iskal, you could, you may remember me as Iskal Man, but I am Iskal the Waste Man. Ah, uh? ah, uh? get it? It's funny because it's a double pun. Ah. Uh? Has life been lately, Iskal? It's been rough, man. It's been rough. But we're getting, we're getting, it's getting better. It's getting better. Are there diamonds over there? That's not diamonds, that's uranite. Oh, right, this is where I came down, okay. We gotta be able to find some vault, uh, some, some, a cave down 10 blocks from here. I believe. Cope. Cope. I'm going to set a new waypoint here. Home. And then we go on an adventure. Torch eye. Okay. Useless. Oh, come on. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. It's opening up. It's opening up. It's happening! And then it dies. <laughs> Why? Minus 28. <laughs> See more diamonds? 
I don't even need more diamonds, I don't think. I think I have enough for the obsidian and that. Floor right. Noodle. <clears throat> Why is it so bright? Because uh, I use shaders and I've actually tuned up the... Um, I've tuned up the lowest uh, darkness a bit. And I think I've learned... I think I've learned that, like, by default... Some of the uh, vault themes are too dark at the moment. I think that guy dropped us a bow. Hmm. Not a bad... Oh, okay. Yeah, by default, I think that some of the vaults are too dark. Like, the idea when we launched this Vault Hunters, it was very important to me that we played with lighting. Because every everything was full bright on Vault Hunters 2. But, I think we overdid it. I think that we don't need to have it as full bright, uh, as, as dark as it is. I think we can still play with lighting, but have everything be slightly brighter by default. So, expect themes to get lit up a bit. Mesa is just darkness. Yeah, and say, I mean, it's a bit unfortunate because I've been playing around, uh, you know, not realizing yeah. these things. Because, um, what's up, Hotshot? Uh, ooh, hello there. Um, because I, d I don't need, I don't need any uh, uh, lighting because I have the shader. So it's a bit unfortunate. Like, it's a bad test for me, from my side. But, yeah. Fully agree, I have Splash. Uh, 20 night vision pots and refill upgrade my backpack because I get dark theme. Can you even use splash potions inside vaults? I didn't think you could. But yeah, I mean, that's not a good game design. If people are like, I don't know. I don't know. Playing with lighting is not as exciting as it could be. Don't know what it is. It's just something where it's like darkness isn't a difficulty check. It's just a, an annoyance. You know what I mean? It's not a skill expression thing either. Headshot. Dude. Okay. My my main gripe with the skeleton design in Minecraft. Hear me out. And I, I understand why it's like this. But it is annoying. Skeletons don't reset their... Oh, it's a stoneling! Oh, look! He's got a... He's got a dripstone on his head! Oh, that is so adorable. Bye, Mr. Man. <laughs> he's got a mohawk, yeah. Oh. I'm not talking about you, you're ugly. Cooper's like, I want to be cute too. Uh, my main gripe with skeletons, and I, and again, I understand why it's like this, but skeletons don't reset their charge if they lose vision. Do you know what I mean, Dylan? So, like, if you dodge a skeleton, you're like, ha, dodge ya, owned, and all of that stuff. Then they just reset their their thing. This is so ridiculous. That I don't find a cave that opens up below minus 30. Bit unlucky. It's fine. It's cozy. <laughs> when I played him, I see you play things. I literally, or off camera, I literally just went into a cave immediately. Found a big cave and then immediately was set up. Oh, I needed some, I need some stone. I needed to not throw away the cobblestone because I need bricks for the altar. Good morning. <clears throat> Keep up the good Bag? work on VH. Hashtag never ever leaving. Bag. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the boost. Crap. So that coming a mile away. I thought I was fine. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I had him. Okay. Okay. Whatever. 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 I used I used the creeper as a as a tool there. Okay. Oh come on, man. Why? 
Where are all the zombies? There's one zombie. I'm pretty sure that the spawn uh, for wild spawning mobs in vanilla Minecraft is equal. It's like uh, the same chance of getting zombies as getting uh, skeletons and uh, um, and creepers. <laughs> we just got absolutely keck there. And spiders, I think. Brrp. Don't mess up your jumping, Eskal. We're fine. We're fine. Get out of here. Ugh. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, where were I? I can't remember what I was talking about. There are diamonds there as well. Right. There's no sense in water caving anymore because um, uh, bolt, uh, chromatic iron spawns next to uh, air. My problem is that I can't find a cave that has the right height. I suppose I could get some obsidian here. Oh yeah, I need it for the vault altar as well. This is intuitive. This is great. Great stuff. Do I need gunpowder? Probably not. Okay. Uh, vault altar. Two. Two obsidians. And for the enchanter. How many do I need for... How many do I need for the enchantment table? Four. Do I get all the obsidian now? Yeah! Yeah, let's just relax and get all the obsidian. Can everybody play arcane mode? Yep, yep. Actually, we should we should make it a game rule that's called arcade, because it sounds a lot ha cooler than Infinity and Vault XP mode extreme. But maybe uh, someone can write a command for how to play arcade mode, because I, I genuinely... When I played this off camera, I was so shocked with how well the game plays now without having the Minecraft part of it. Obviously there's Minecraft, but like there are things to do. So I was always worried that like, okay, well, you'll run out of things to do. But there are challenges in arcade mode, uh, in, in, in crafting the vault stuff that you need, like your jewels, your tools, your all of that stuff. And it's very cool how far the game has come. I'm very proud of it. Um, there is a, there's a hole up there. There's a lot of water here as well, which is not ideal. Alright, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to water cave this. There's gonna be chromatic iron down here. Just unfortunate, but it's fine. Let's make, uh, a new crafting bench. I swore I picked the other one up. And let's make some doors. And let's just get our chromatic iron here, I suppose. More diamonds. I have nine. Am I going to need more diamonds? Why do I hear a zombie? Here's some chromatic. They're nice for your first vault now? Uh, not really. I mean, I could, I could, I could net a little bit more armor, I suppose. Both in that way. Oh, look at this. Ah. Did I leave anything important behind? Oh, no, I still need the cobblestone. Yeah, we still need to go higher. I left my bed. I was thinking we could set up here instead, but... We might actually, you know what, you know what I'm gonna say? We might actually go up to the Surfy. And uh, get, uh, get set up on the, sur on the surface. Just because I think it's more excited to be on the surface. Oh dear. Lava skeletons! 
Hello there, or zombirds. What do these guys do? Do they even do anything? They <laughs> just sit there. Okay. You left something on your dead corpse? Yeah, that's that's whatever. Probably like gunpowder or arrows or rotten flesh. Oh, I thought I closed it off. Okay, I got 22. What is it doing? Oh, I, I completed it. I missed it. Uh, let's chuck that out. Do I need torches? Yeah, I'm gonna need torches when we get back to the old world. Okay. Alright, complete this. Then there's wallstone everywhere. There's wallstone there. I think there was wallstone... Well, there's wallstone back where I came from. Now, the new loot tables... This may shock people, or some people may some people may find this like shocking. Other people may say, "Oh, you know what? That makes sense." I'm hoping for the latter. I'm hoping that when I when I say what I'm about to say, that people say, "Oh, yeah, that makes sense." Um, loot tables no longer contain chromatic iron like they used to. All right, so therefore. Chromatic iron, the source of getting chromatic iron uh, is the chromatic iron caves that we implemented. But you gotta mine it. You don't just get it for free in, in chests. You gotta mine it. Why? I think it's pretty... Um... Finally have time again to watch. Glad to see you doing better. Smile Thank you, face. sir. Thank you. I think it's pretty straightforward why I've done it that way. If you think about it, it's kind of weird that we have a chromatic iron cave, but... If, in reality, as long as you don't build with chromatic iron, you never need to mine that room. Um, and I don't want to force the player to be in the overworld at all. But, yeah. Do I need anything more from the underground before we go up? We got the cobblestone there, but we're going to get more. Do I need anything more? Oh, I need the wallstone. What am I doing? God damn it, this skull. So carbon is no longer the bottleneck. Chromatic iron is... That's a broad assumption to make, isn't it? Isn't it? No, we'll see how it works out. Uh, in terms of the balance, I don't think it's finalized yet. Well, it's not finalized yet. That's part of why we're playing this. We may find that, like, okay, we need to make the chromatic iron caves much more frequent or something. Like, you know. Nothing is finalized yet. But the idea is there. And you're going to see that with a lot of things today. You can no longer find iron and gold ingots in normal vaults. The idea is that uh, you will need to get your iron for your hoppers and stuff uh, elsewhere. Yeah, a, lo a lot of like repositioning of things. I've got one. That's crazy. I'll throw the gunpowder. Okay, I kind of want a little bit more. Chromatic iron ore pile rooms. Yeah, perhaps. Like a POI where you have chromatic iron ore could be a thing. A POI where you find chromatic iron blocks could be a thing. All of those things are better than finding the ingots and nuggets in the chests, in my opinion. Because, like, <clears throat> it makes more sense to me that you break things that aren't items. Uh, and we could, we could easily make it so that we have POIs that is like a chromatic iron pile. Just, just like, lore-wise, that, that's a lot nicer, in my opinion. Uh, and while while I've added vault junk, I've done a lot of adjustments to adhere to this. Mm -mm. Will you single player series come back on YouTube? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, that's three vault crystals. I'm just thinking, how many do we need to sustain our vault running? Look what I squeezed. Hope you're well, good sir. Nice, Trust Sam. Nice. Good job squeezing. If we get 16, that's 4 vault crystals to get more vault stone inside the vaults. Do we think that's a good random number? And then we go up to the surface. I have enough wool to make... No, I don't. I don't have enough wool to make another bed. Do we want to stay in the caves or do we want to go up and set up our little, little thing? You choose, Dylan. Up. Okay. 
I agree. I agree. It's good to see the sun. The caves seem kind of cozy though, not gonna lie. Caves are always cozy. But like, we're not really gonna set up a mega base or anything like that in this arcade playthrough. This is handy. Um, I just want like a clean area so I don't have to dig. Or we just take over the village and live in that glass house. <laughs> Hmm, it has a fancy view. Honestly, I know that most people would live in that uh, castle, and I should go over there and raid their emeralds. Wowza. But I don't think I want to live already. there. Where has the time gone? Thank you for amazing content in an amazing game. Thank you, sir. I don't think I want to live in a house. I think I want to live on a on a on a on a mountain top. I like it when it's open these days. Don't forget to uh, right click and pick up a bed. Oh, pick up a bed is a good shout. Actually, we don't have to make our new bed. This house is a fake bed, I think. Oh, wait, we can get fancy. Don't mind if I do. Sir, I'm one of you now. Hmm? Pag, do you have a bed? Ah, he has my color bed. That's not bad. Do I pick up fur eyes as well so I don't have to craft them? I guess, I guess it's a good idea. It's a nice idea to use what the land provides, be organic, you know? All right, I'm gonna need four stones. Oh, we can get stone bricks? Wait, this is so, this is, okay. I don't need your cobblestone. We'll just take their stone bricks from their house. <laughs> uh, cheap skull. Hello there, sir. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh, yeah, just making my own entryway. Nice. Okay, there's a, there's a barrel in the floor here somewhere. No, that chest is the mega chest. There we go, there we go. We didn't even need to mine the obsidian. Um, I do need the leather though. I'll put away the sack. People are going to be like, what? You got a sack? The rarest thing in the urns. And you're putting it away? Yes, sir. There's a cake upstairs, but I don't know what else is upstairs. That's important for us. No, I think we're good like this. I think we're fine. And we don't steal their cake. What are the flowers for? Um... I need the puppies to make the potion quest. But I think I'm good here. We got a bed. Yeah, yeah, we got we got everything. We can always Hello, come sir. back. I hope that everything is getting better in your life. Take care of yourself, this Colin Dillons. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bring some arrows in for our first vault. That could be helpful. Oh! There it is. There it is. The grand prize. Okay. And now, for where we want to live. <laughs> Look, they have like a village feud here. It's like, my village is better than your village. And these guys go like, no, our village is better than your village. No, our village is better than your village because our village is on the southeast side. To be fair, this village is better. Because it has more buildings and more chests for me to loot. But it's also worse because they have now had me loot them. Whereas this village has been left alone because it's not good. It's not great. It's not a great village. So I don't know who wins. Let's live up there. Southwest. Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry, did I say southeast? Southwest. My bad. My bad. I apologize. I do know west and east and left and right. But in the heat of the moment... The heat of the family members. You know what it's like. You know what life can get like when family members are shouting and being like annoying and just absolutely stresses Hello, you out. Sir. Hope you, you get things wrong. Hashtag never ever leaving. Thank you. Welcome back, Angry Dad. How are you, sir? We're playing arcade today. People can't steal from you if you're broke. Exactly. Incentivizing being broke. 
I wanted to live on a like flat plains and not on a mountain ledge, but maybe we should set up here. It's got a nice lookout. It's got a nice feel to it. It's got lots of poppies that I've been carrying around. It's got this thing, which is ugly. Oh, there are more of them. Alright, what's our next quest? To craft a vault rock. Okay, pag. Let's set up here. Let's set up here. Use the water to clear the grass. Mm, that's not very exciting though, is it? Can someone explain to me what Eskal means when he says playing arcade? Do we have a command now? I knew that command thing would be a good thing. Um, arcade is basically, real quick, I'm playing with infinity mode on crystals, so the crystals are free. And I'm playing on uh, loot mode extreme, so that I get three times the loot, and also three times the experience. So it's like a, a fast pace, vault only based playthrough. That's basically the idea. Um, I thought that this was not going to work out. I didn't think that this would be like an exciting thing. And then I played it off camera a few weeks ago. And man, it was fun. So then I remade the loot tables a bit. Uh, because of the upcoming update. And with the vault junk that you guys have yet to see. Which you're about to see soon. I was like, man, should I, just, I should just do a playthrough with this. Like, I was, I was excited about it. Um, so here we are. All right! Here we are. I was vaulting in the sky and lost a wager about progressing in the game without the raw crystal vaults. Lesson mm -hmm. learned. And $50 is $50. Oh yeah. What the I hell? I also arrived in five vaults. So I guess I should reimburse the devs for my lethal greed. Damn! Well, what? $55? So you crazy, sir? Thank you so much. Dylan, can we get some love for this man? I don't know what happened with my uh, mutton. Did I put my mutton in the chest? Some oh, it's down cooking. It's down cooking on the ground. Okay, fair enough. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I get a button from this. <laughs> Yeesh. Alright, so now, this is what arcade mo means. We are playing infinity mode, so it's auto-complete. No dripstone, no andersite, no arrows. <coughs> and there we go. You get a button from the quest, so yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, and here's our skill point. We get some more food, pag. And then we have to do the better enchanting. Which means we need to kill some cows. But now we're in the old one, so that's fine. Do I have my... Yeah, I did bring this. Enchanter... So we need two books, so we need one more leather. And three more paper. Wait, wait, do we kill cows or do we raid? Iskal is a, I, indeed a waste man. Yep, proud to be. Proud to be. Oh, I see leather. I see leather. Do we raid, kill a cow, or take care of business? Hmm? A stupid man already appearing in our world. Stop. I don't like you. I think the wandering trader mechanic of Minecraft is a really cool idea. But having developed Vault Hunters, I've discovered it has a massive flaw. And that flaw is that it's not really as random as it needs to be for it to feel good. Like, it's annoying when you need something from the wandering trader... And you don't get them to spawn, which, by the way, you don't need in vanilla Minecraft. But say that we would do a wandering vault trader, which has crossed my mind several times. And you want this to be a rare occurrence, but you also don't want the people to be annoyed that they never get it. So it can't be important, and it has to be important. So already you have an issue to solve. Anyway, I'm rambling about things. We got our books. That's what mattered. 
Bolt Enchanter and that's a lot of chromatic iron. But it's fine. It's fine. Don't think I'm gonna enchant anything though. Now we need to make a better health potion. Potion. And there's actually a thing that Pepper has done here. So if I search vile, I should get only the file nowadays. Nice. So I need to smelt up some sand. This is a new game mode. No, actually, when did we introduce Infinity Mode? Was it update 10, Dylan? I just call it Arcade Mode because I think it sounds really cool. Um, I want to show you guys something as well that no one knows about but Joe in chat. Let's do that. Let's get a stone cutter going as well. Pag. Can I use these? No, of course I can't. Of course. You, you, and you. Noise. That quest is complete. Vault hunting. Build yourself a vault portal. Blah, 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 blah. And look at this. We get a new reward for this quest. I think that's in update 11. I think I changed it already then. Let me make a... Stone cutter. What's the difference to normal vault hunters? Uh, I don't have to craft crystals. Crystals are free. And the experience and loot is tripled. Check this out, Dylan. Ah. Stairs and slabs. Of vault stone. Ah. That wasn't what I wanted to show you all. We gotta change this a bit. <laughs> I need silk touched vault stone, unfortunately, to show you what, what I wanted to show you guys. Joseph. Best update yet. <laughs> Bag. All right, let's put our vault portal here. I'll show you guys a little bit later. It gets cooler than that. It gets cooler than that. Trust. Um, perfect. We got a skill point. Should we just put it in heal or should we go something else? We're playing on hard. So the mobs are not going to be super easy to kill. That is literally the next thing we should do, is go into a vault. And I don't have any blocks, which is annoying. Farmer. Mm, good one. Am I going to need another diamond pick? Probably. I don't value dash as highly on level 1. Um... Because of the fact of fall damage. I do have potions. So I, I can heal six times. Enchant the new pickaxe. When we get into vault tools very soon. I don't want to waste my... Um, I don't want to waste my uh, emeralds. Oh, we could have enchanted it with mending, I see. Hmm. Nah. That seems annoying. I forget mending exists. But no, I think we're going to have this pickaxe for a while. Okay, let's invest. Let's invest into this pick. Let's invest our emeralds. It's good for testing. See if you get enough emeralds. Um, I don't see a reason for going silk touch, though. That's all of my emeralds invested. Or 20 emeralds invested. Probably a bit too much. We got our shulker box as well. We can now... No, we make with shulker shells. Right, okay. Okay, I think we just go in. We've got to pick our skill. I'm thinking about taking strength. Strength is so good early game. It doesn't cost any mana or anything. Vein miner is also very good early game. 
It will limit us with heal though, not having heal. I'm gonna go strength one. I actually think that's a very... Strength one is so strong early game. Um... Yeah, I don't need anything else. Arrow, someone said. Yep. I'd go one uh, javelin. What is arcade mode? Dylan, do we have an arcade command? No gamba or gamba? Okay, let's gamba. Prediction. Will... Will we complete? Will we complete? It's gonna be a monolith. It's gonna be like two monoliths, right? If we die, this is a no. If we exit without completing, this is a no, of course. New mana shield ability? Oh no. That one is not balanced yet, but yeah, there is a new ability. Implode. Do you guys want to read? It hasn't been balanced yet, so I wasn't planning on using it. But it's a very interesting ability that we've done. Drains all of your mana, dealing damage equal to a percentage of the mana drained to all enemies in a radius. It's a pretty fun ability, I'm not gonna lie. But it hasn't been balanced yet, so the values are uh, irrelevant. The values you saw there are irrelevant, they're just dev values. I haven't set it up yet. GM, 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 loving this so much. Really miss you streaming. Benji! You Have a great day, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, uh, make sure to gamba, Dylan. Right now, we are not getting banned. Well done. Well done. I'm just gonna go in. It's 92% believers. OMG, no way. I was literally just thinking of something like that the other day. Pack. I can't believe I've already hit 12 months. Regardless, I'm enjoying VH more than ever. Also, I just had a silly idea. What if you could craft a pop-up house that creates a pre-built house around you so you don't have to build one? <laughs> the doubters. The doubters are gonna hurt here. Hold on, let's do this. Complete. Yeah, let's be smart. Pop-up house. I love I love mobs, uh, mods that do the pop-up houses. There are a few of them. Uh, I just realized something, Dylan. Oh my lord, that's a good shield. I just realized something. That's a pretty decent sword, actually. Isn't there, like, a bug here? Isn't it supposed to be always two monoliths before, like, level five? Hmm. I thought there was always two monoliths on the first five vaults, or before level five. But something may have changed. Is correct according to configs? Yeah, what I mean is that when Tango did the other monolith updates, he may have uh, done something wrong with these. Alright, so what is our goal here? My, my goal is to just find monoliths and ornate chest, I think. Uh, we probably need the other stuff as well. What's our next quest? Let's go, you people are living Shard legends pouch. hide for okay. the devs. I have enough for that. I wonder if I could have just brought it Hello, into the vault. Waving hand. Hello, sir. I wonder if I could have just brought in the crafting materials. Oh, okay, here we go. Vault, vault junk. In effect, Dylan. Vault junk in effect. This is a new vault junk item that has soul value, but I forgot to add soul value. This is a new vault Hi, junk Colin, item that I didn't forget, and this is a new vault junk item. Instead of getting the unobtainium and stuff, you get these things. From gilded chests. And I also got three jewels. Remember, the loot is tripled. Yeah, I, I gotta check into the monolith thing. The, the five monolith feels a lot in the beginning. Vault junk items. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, there's our shulker shell, so we can make a pouch. Very nice. Very nice indeed. This is Vault Sweets. It's a bread replacer. So pay attention. You still get food inside the vaults. Is that maybe... P.U.I. I want? Crap. I don't have heal. Gotta be a little bit careful. Uh, we loot this. 
We're still gonna need Larimar, we're still gonna need Vaultstone and Benutite. Okay. Now, obviously, our first vault is still gonna be a bit messy. The idea, the goal here is to get rid of most of the messiness, but it's still gonna be a bit messy. Uh, until we get our pouch, which we get when we exit this vault. So I guess, I guess one strat here, oh my. I guess one strat here is just to exit immediately when you enter, but then you lose a lot of the XP. Um, Alright, we can do this. Get rid of the non-stackable items. But five monoliths, that must be... So, so I understand that it's not a bug according to the configs, but what I'm saying is... When Tango last minute, like it was the last thing we did before 11.0, changed the amount of monoliths. Crap. Is it a west facing? He may have changed something he shouldn't have. Or coins, uh, or worse, coins also going to get balanced to extreme loot? No, no, they won't be. And I think that's kind of fun, uh, a fun part of the challenge, personally. The fact that ores is still not extreme. What is more letters than the alphabet? The post office. Prank mumbo. I don't get that. Is the word longer? Is that a grinder? That is a grinder. What's up, grinder? How you doing? Okay, we don't need all of the junk. That's the beauty. But I do want these wood chunks. Um, let's store another stack of them. I don't we don't need the sandy rocks. I wouldn't mind finding some ornators. Should have I should have uh, enchanted depth strider. Hundred percent. Oh, and I got shocking on my sword. Bounty ball. Twenty eight months pog. Bag. Two types of people those who can extrapolate from incomplete data. Extrapolate? What does extrapolate mean? That's a fancy word. This guy used your shulker. Uh, so I'm purposely not using my shulker on everything. Because I'm using my inventory as a filter. I see a lot of people always saying to streamers when they play in the beginning. They're like, use the shulker more. But I'm on purpose. Oh, this is an old... Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is a good place. I'm purposely making so that my inventory is, uh, is a filter. If that makes sense. Does that make sense, Dylan? I'm not actually going to break these chests. I probably don't need to do this, but... Whatever. Ooh, Vault Junk in Ornate. We got Velvets, we got Ornate Ingots, we got Chains that are our own, we got Soot. All of them have soul value. Very, very Paggers. Now we do need to use the, uh, this thing. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing it so that I have like a filter of what I want to pick up, right? If that makes sense, so I can just drag. But it, of course, doesn't work now because we have too many chests. Oh, we got pants. Nice. Can Vault Junk just be smelted for shards or is it for decoration? Yeah, it can be smelted for shards and it can be used for decoration. Those are some great, great trousers. What the hell, man? They were actually insane. Five armor and health. Hell yeah. That's another shield, unfortunate. Uh, here's another thing, amplifying focus and nullifying focus from level zero. Pay attention to some of the loot table changes if you played a lot of Vault Hunters, there are quite a few of them. Um, another big change to loot tables is the fact that Vault Plating only exists in wooden chests going forward. I've seen enough of like uh, people being confused about the loot table. So one thing that we've tried to do is to 
make it into a thing where you can learn where things are. Silver scrap is also very common in, wo in wooden chests now. But the values may not be correct. Things may change. This is the first test. Uh, wild focuses no longer spawn in wooden chests. So I've, I've basically separated things a little bit more. And I think it's good. It's good for the game. More pants. They can't possibly be better. Why? Oh, is the shelter box full? Okay. There are two more chests here, aren't there? Isn't it? Oh, they're scrappy. I don't think... Unless we get, like, a legendary roll. Oh, that's an axe. I hate axes. Believers are sweating right now. And so you should be. So you should be, believers. Well, uh, I, I'm trying to save the, the vault junk. More so because I want to show you how they look than that they're good for me right now. I don't really need them. I would like to find a magnet, though. I, this was a good find. Honestly, what I should do now is just find the monoliths and get the hell out. Oh, and I should grab this. Look! Living chest junk! We got our own mossy bone, we got living rock, we got overgrown wood chunk and rotten meat. And for demo purposes, we do need to pick this stuff up. Did I not have any scones? No. And we definitely need that. God damn it. Hmm, well, I guess we could mine some wood somewhere and make a new Schalke box. Uh, do I have any wood with me? No. Brrr, it's gonna take time unless I find some logs. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Joe, are you in chat? I reported a bug this morning, Joe. I got rid of some carbon for that so I can demo it. But I still need to get rid of one more item. Joe's in chat. Yeah, so our new vo uh, wood that we have added to the game, Joe, can't be transformed into a chest. I don't know why. Uh, 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 like. Burgers. So if we can skip the burgers. Oh, mystery egg. Mystery egg can now be found on level zero. That's a new change. Let's just get rid of the trousies. Pretty nice item rarity roll, but... Oh, man. Alright, yeah, we, we do need a shelter box. There are some logs here. Driftwood, sir. Yeah, but then I have to use a lot of driftwood. That's enough for a chest. We got this, we got this, we got this. And then down there are some more planks. Let me just deal with these. Okay. If I wouldn't have a gamble for completion here, I would actually just exit this vault. It would be more efficient to exit this vault. Um, get the quest for pouches and then uh, go into another one. That would be the most efficient thing. Wait, there was a crafting bench somewhere? <laughs> Hell yeah, Skull. Look at the goddamn game, you idiot. It's fine. It's fine. Should I do another one? Nah, we're we're fine. We're fine. Let's just try and uh, let's just try and find the monoliths. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's loot this and then try and find the monoliths. Take my pants back. Actually, is it worth? Is it worth losing that extra defense for item rate? It probably is. Believers in shambles? Yeah, this is not looking good. But to be fair, five monoliths, I mean, uh, it's gonna change. It's too much. Should be five monoliths. We want the people to win early game. 
West facing. We got this, we got this. We just gotta move. We gotta stop looting. Gotta make it close. Five models is tough early game? Yeah. In your first vault it is. It's really funny because on the worksheet we wrote about the idea of having... Uh, making sure that people win their first vault in like 80% of the cases. Obviously, there needs to be some RNG to it, to it. There needs to be some skill expression to it. But So it must have been when Tango changed the monolith scaling that uh, he just messed up the... The level, the level zero. It's an easy fix. It's good that I'm now aware of it. To be fair, yesterday when I tried to start a Sky Vaults world, I uh, I did see that it was five in the first one. I was like, oh, this is weird. I gotta better look into that, but I didn't. I didn't think more than that. Just gonna stop looting and simple completion. Yep, there was two ornate chests down there that I'm skipping, but. Always on the believer's side, eh? What's up, Floatry? How you doing, sir? Artful Penny with the 400 bits. After two weeks of trying, my wife told me she was pregnant. She has the world's worst stutter. I don't get that. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's a whoosh. That's a whoosh. By the way, I also did play a little bit of Diablo uh, with the new season that they launched. I think it's a bit... The, the season thing wasn't very exciting, but I think that's fine. The game is so new anyway. Um, but yeah, the, the whole the whole idea of, of the season... Uh, adding stuff and then removing it later is kind of weird to me. In general. But it was fun. I got to like level 65 or something like that. 67. Loot greed. <laughs> Believers and doubters are fighting for what I should do. Hmm, who would have thought? Oh, there's a dungeon though. And I'm on a little tag. Nay. Nay. I wouldn't mind finding some more Shalker shells, actually. Actually, I wouldn't mind finding the resources I need for the... Uh, um... For my pouch. Get the monolith? I did. I did. So worth the loot. <laughs> yeah. I honestly, if you if you want to play, if you want to speedrun Vault Hunters, I wonder what the best strat is. Because you do get experience from looting and stuff. This is the best pile in the game right now. Specifically early game, just absorption for like two minutes is insanely powerful. I'm wondering if I should greed the X mark room. That's what I'm sitting here thinking about, Dylan. Now that we have the absorption thing, do we wrap around and greed that X mark room? We don't have dash though, so it's going to be tricky if it's trapped. Genuinely, it's gonna be tricky. Absolutely. I mean, believers, you may be sweating though. I might very well die down there. But I feel like the best chance I have is this absorption pylon. I do want to have the monoliths first though. So actually, no. This room is awful. In terms of mob density. The only thing you need to sustain as well in arcade mode is the vault rocks um, and chromatic iron. Which, now that we have the loot table changed so that chromatic iron doesn't uh, spawn everywhere, I think it's actually... I think it's actually going to be an even interesting, more interesting uh, task. I, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to greet the X mark room. And I don't think it's going to be very easy. I'm a believer, do it for content. Bro, I'd definitely do it in single player <laughs> as well. Yo, can we gear swap? What if we do this, right? We put our defensive pants on, then go down. Then if it's not trapped, we swap to the rarity ones. 
Ja, maxing. Smart. Prediction inside a prediction. Well, it kind of is already by default, right? I, it wasn't. It wasn't difficult to get five monoliths. Um, but again, for a brand new player, that may be a bit difficult, keeping track of where home is and all that. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm doing it. No absorption has run out. Absorption has run out. Uh, we're of course gonna chat it. We're not gonna. We're not gonna build a little house up there like some people do. We're gonna build a house here instead. But this doesn't really help me. I'm actually not gonna have a house here. That's stupid. Because they spawn on top of the God dang it. Okay. Spiders are scary. I think... I don't think mobs stop spawning here. I think that's one of the problems. So how the hell am I gonna get up through a one by one tube having these guys falling down on my head? I'm not, am I? I'm not gonna get up. Hmm. Think it's called think. Think about this. We gotta try. We gotta try. We can't just give up. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> I could have used water. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We didn't complete the first one. It's fine. It's fine. We took a chance. We took a 50-50. I'm still glad we took a chance. Okay? I knew he was gonna die. He wouldn't have said that if I survived. He would be like, I knew he was gonna make it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I wonder what the strat is to get out without using water. I suppose water or like mining up the shaft. Yeah, if you build a staircase up, you're probably fine. If you build... Oh, oh, you know what you should have... You know what you should do? If you build the tube like this downstairs, and then you build here, right? And now, because it's a 3x3, three three, you start pillaring up like this. So you start going up in a, in a... So that the mobs fall down there and get trapped. And then you just have to deal with the spider. Still gonna be a bit tough without dash, but... Or mine a 3x3 three three from the beginning. Yeah, but that was... I could have done that. I could have done that. I would have been smarter. I was probably dead the moment we got the 50-50 loss, to be fair. I don't know how much time I had left, but... Oh well. <clears throat> it wouldn't be me without doing stupid things like that, Dylan. Let's be honest. <sighs> but why avoid putting water? What's the... What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it, sweet sunrise. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to. I wanted to chat it, okay? Nothing wrong with, with, with putting water down. Uh... Let's have a look at the new stuff, okay? So all of these things that you find have a soul value, including these things, but I forgot to add it to the file. These are torches. So there was previously torches in the in the vault loot. These are gilded scones, and they look amazing. We got three times as much loot now as we were supposed to get because we're playing on extreme mode. Um, Joseph has made these. Give it up for Joseph in chat. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. As a nice torch. We have soot blocks, which are not actually blocks. These are placeable, like snow slabs. And it's basically soot. So you can use it to decorate with, or you can, as I say, you can smelt all of this down for soul shards. That's the whole point. So nothing is useless. And again, this is the work of Joseph. They're really nice. They're actually really nice. I like them. I like them a lot. Um, what else do we have here? We have our own chains now, inspired by the by the other chains. They can also be climbed. I did say to Joseph that it would be really cool to do like a corner version of them. So we'll see if we get to that. It's a little bit complicated. I think these can also be stone cuttered. Yeah, you can make them rusty in the stone cutter and turn them back if you want to. There's the rusty version. We've tried to make it so that the vault junk corresponds to the chest fully. Can we add compressed versions of these? These for smelting. So some of them will have compressed versions. Uh, these two will not. Uh, but the ornate ingots, with them you make an ornate block. 
Looks very similar to a netherite block. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and check this out. It comes in many different versions, including ornate bricks, paggers. I think this may be one of my favorite texture because I love blocks like this. Uh, tiled ornate bricks. All of these will be smeltable to the times of four so that you can smelt them faster. I just have to do the configs. What else do we have here? Um, we got chipped ornate bricks. Hmm. Someone has taken a bite out of that one. It wasn't me. Oh, these are not redoable. Okay. <laughs> I guess there are still some recipes that we need to re-add. Okay. Joseph. Uh, you got rusty bricks as well, which has a rust on them. And then the chiseled version. And cracked version. Yeah, there's a lot of variety with these. Look at that. And you're going to get a lot of these blocks. So, like, the point is that you can build with these. Uh, what else from ornate chest? Velvet. Velvet. Where are the velvets? Here are the velvets. Velvets turn into a velvet block. How cool isn't that? That's a really nice red. Really nice red. Mmm, I love it. And I believe... Yep, we got velvet carpets. They connect with each other as well. I, I just gotta showcase these real quick because they are very nice. Oh, look at that carpet. Look at that carpet! Get out of here, waypoints. Mmm. Carpet! <laughs> That's a really good color. Uh, then, I think you can also... Do I have more ornate bricks? Yes, I do. Okay. So I think you can also do this. There we go. Ornate block velvet. Hmm. And you can stone cut this into velvet bricks. Back to that thing. And to velvet pillars. We should make a few more. Look at those. Look at those. Absolutely gorgeous. I think the velvet block itself can also be turned into strips or chiseled. This is the strip. Looks like wood, but it's made out of velvet. It's a fabric, Iskel. It's a fabric. I asked Joseph, why does velvet block sound like wool? He's like, because it's fabric, Iskel. I was like, oh, is it? <laughs> I don't know my English, man. I don't know my English. But yeah, there are, there are a lot of nice potentials with these blocks. Amazing. I think that's the ornate uh, ornate stuff. So you got ornate bricks, you got chains, and you got the soot and the velvet. Cool. Let's take a look at the gilded next. So gilded comes with gilded ingots, which makes this block. All of these follow the chest textures, by the way, so they match with the chest. And this block can be turned into bumbo. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> this is a great bumbo. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll make another one. I want to keep him there. Fancy bumbo, exactly. It can be turned into a chiseled gilded block. This this one is really nice, like as a highlighter block. Um, We got bricks, cracked and normal ones that are gilded, gilded bricks. And, check this out. The dull ones. Oh, you got you got the cobble as well. Gilded cobble. Looks very similar to gilded blackstone, but there's a massive difference. It's not blue. It doesn't have the blackstone color in it. It's got the gilded black in it, which is nice. Uh, and then, I think this may be my favorite block. Look at this block. This block is so nice. Ah, oh, it's a good brick block. It's a very good brick block. Stairs, walls, slabs. Yeah, eventually we are going to add stairs and slabs and walls to these as well. It just takes... A bit of time to do that so don't know if Joseph will have the energy to do that for 11.2 but eventually we'll get there that's the gilded bricks the amethyst or the topo shard sorry the topo shard is just an amethyst version but that's gilded instead has the same nice properties when you walk on it 
looks really cool and it fades the colors as well. I like that. Very nice. Again, these are all soul chargeable, so you don't have to build with them. From wooden chests, we got the uh, vault sweets, which is just like bread. But looks better. Nice. We have got the wooden chunks, which turns into planks. Wooden planks. The color of these um, mimic, the, uh, mimic the vault chests, the wooden vault chests. And I believe, just like Driftstone, you can make logs. And you can strip those logs. If you have an axe. Pag. That's a really nice wood color, I think. Bit cartoonish. Wow, it's my anniversary. And we get amazing new blocks Meinstein. too. Meinstein! Can the Escalian team be any more Pog? Paggers. VH is just getting better and better. That wasn't Meinstein, that was Rathrice. here from the start. Thank you, Meinstein. Hashtag never ever leave in less than three. Thank you, Meinstein, and thank you so much, Rathrice, for the nice uh, messages. The sandy bricks uh, turns into sandy stone, and if you are planning on building, like, a desert theme base, these are amazing, in my opinion, for, like, uh, a pyramid. <clears throat> like, the background features that these blocks have is yeah, really, really nice. And they come in a lot of different ver versions there, as you saw as well. Polished and chiseled and all of that stuff. They're very, like, subtle. Very, very nice ba background blocks. 11.2, the fashion update. <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't call it vault junk. It's a bit, a bit sad. Okay, um, so that's the wooden stuff. And as I say, these planks should be able to make a chest. I don't know why you can't make a chest with them. Oops. I don't know why you can't make a chest with them. It's really weird. You can make everything else. Like you can make a crafting bench. You can make this thing, the support. Um, the boards. You can make the boards with them. don't know why you can't make a chest with every compact. It's really weird. Uh, vault resources instead. Yeah, perhaps. Okay, so then living chests. Living chest comes with mossy, sto uh, mossy bones, which transports into one bone meal. So not three bone meals. So they're worse than normal bones. But you can also make mossy bone blocks with them if you want to use them for decoration. They look, they look kind of disgusting, <laughs> to be honest. I like them. Living chest also comes with um, rotten meat, overgrown wood chunks, and living rocks. The rotten meat is... Just a disgusting rotten meat block. I think it's bouncy. Yeah, it's bouncy as well. <laughs> nice. I like it. <laughs> I, I just love that sound. Um, the overgrown wood is... I don't have enough here, but there is a log version of this as well. It, of course, match matches very well with the wood. Sunny has made that texture. Very nice. Pyder has also made some textures. So Pyder, Sunny, and Joe has made the textures. And then Living Rock is a very beautiful alternative to your cobblestone and stone builds. The, the idea that I had with this block was that I wanted something that matches the tough block in Minecraft. Because I think tough block is amazing. And it turns into mossy versions and non-mossy versions. Look at that stone. Look at how beautiful that stone is. Holy... Um, and there's non-mossy versions of the same thing as well. Hmm. This is a very, very, very good block for building. And there are, as you saw, if you paid attention, uh, the bricks here as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a great stone block. Living rock, I think, it's going to be very popular. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, I think that was it. We are working on one more block, I think for Joe. We're working on something called Ancient Copper. Leak Skull? Ancient Copper, you will be able to find in wooden chests. It would be a little bit more rare in wooden chests, but it's like a nice decorative block that also has a property of... Uh, uh, if you use it as a floor, you can get speed bonus for it. Did you guys like it? Valkojam says GG all. Thank you, Valkojam. I'm I'm excited about this update. Like, 
This is something, as I said earlier, we've been wanting to do vault junk for a while now because I think I think the game it is Minecraft we're playing, right? So like having decorative blocks that also have another feature, that being um, being able to be smelt down, is a great thing for the game. But we also didn't want to remove anything, so I should say the wood chunks that you find in wooden chests can be used for smelting things. They're actually better than sticks. So you can use this as your fuel. Someone said vault coal earlier, so I just thought I'd address that. Amazing addition. Nice. Pretty cool. Based. Four times as good. Nice. <clears throat> velvet bed or riot? Fair. Joseph, I think we need to make a velvet bed. I agree. I agree. We need a velvet bed. 100%. That's a given. We'll, we'll make it happen. Um, okay, let's continue our quest though. Because I do also want to highlight the new loot tables. Craft a shard pouch. We should have all the materials needed for that because we were smart and we thought ahead. Uh, we need gold as well. Lucky that I had those gold things. And string. One piece of string. God damn it. Do I have any flax seeds? I know I picked up a lot of flax seeds. No. No. Nay. And I just slept. Okay. We'll find some string in the village. My bucket is not with me. Pillage it! Yep. Could have made that jump instead. That was stupid. You threw them both in lava earlier. Pag? Sounds like a me thing. Iskal man, waste man. Huh? Huh? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This village will provide. I'm sure of it. Please provide. <laughs> Oh my lord, that's not the best design in the world. Okay, this house was garbage. And I'm even like trapped, it's even like a prison, it's a prison in here. Oh, it wasn't worth dying in that vault, I should have got the XP and just proceed, pro proceeded in the game. God damn it. This is nice. Nice touch. Leaking waterlogged blocks. I don't want to go into the castle. Here we go. Nope. I'll take the emeralds though. Okay, if I was a villager, where would I put my string? Think, Eskal. Think like a villager. Hmm... Hmm. I gotta be honest, there's not much going on while thinking like a villager. This is a food chest. Yeah. Hmm. No, I got nothing. Fletcher can trade them for I don't wanna trade with the village. So I don't wanna I don't wanna interact with the with the with the people really if I don't have to. Could there be string in this house? Sir, do you have any string? No. Top of the tower? Okay, we go to the top of the tower. Dylan has spoken. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dylan knows. Dylan knows. Perfect. My Dylans are like villagers. Let's go. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you. Oh, and we need a... <laughs> yes. Good to know that there's a bottle in there as well. Where's home? It's over there. We need a sword. Which actually I can make right here. I don't need to go home for that. Look at me. Look at me being crafty. Did I not bring home the cobweb though? Did I just not think just now? Weird. Alright, short pouch. 
Done. Pack. Claim. This is a new thing in 11.1, I think. We get a pouch and we get the void upgrade immediately. In extreme mode, that's not going to help us a significant amount, but it is going to help us. And I'm going to set up a filter. Um, and unfortunately, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm, I'm going to have to filter out the vault junk. I mean, the vault fashion blocks. So, the, when I did this, was right before the vault junk update. And it was great for, like, filtering out scaffolding and sticks. Now it feels a little bit weird. We had all of these nice new blocks and I'm going to I'm gonna avoid them. But I think it's I think it's the best to do. We're going to get tons of, uh, of them during the playthrough anyway. So, let's make a filter. <clears throat> Um, oh, Joe, should we add a tag to these so that people can search for a tag? That may be smart. That may be smart. Some people may see some new things when paying attention to J.I. Or if paying attention to J.I. Uh, wooden chests. Wait, let's do this right. That goes there. Uh, let's not do it right. Whatever. Where's my scones? There. Chains as well, I think. What are those ores? That is not what you should pay attention to. Those have been in there for a while and I don't know. It's a troll that the dev team has done. <clears throat> Let me think. What else is there? Is there more vault junk? Oh yeah, the, the, the sweets. Vault sweets. Adding a tag for chest in a vault will be so useful. Yeah. That is very true. I think that's it. I think that's the vault junk items. Alright, and then we want to add... We want to go here, we want to do the pickup upgrade to block block soul shards and then we want to this guy is going to be void overflow i think and we're going to set it on whitelist or match backpack setting which i think wait no this is going to be match backpack settings yeah yeah yeah, yeah. did i see new wall chest scrolls hmm this guy this guy All right. Uh, what else should we put in? Let's just put in the all of the all of the normal stuff. We're gonna get so much of these things that we're gonna be avoiding things if we are looting efficiently. Bounty pearls, jewels, and all of that can go in my to, to my inventory. XP bottles can definitely go in. We still have XP bottles in vaults. I wonder actually if I can make another pouch. Do I need more Schalke shells for that? Yeah, I do. And I need Lermar. And I need more silk. Okay. That's probably going to be my next goal. Knowledge Essence. I wonder if we can make two tags. Here's another huge change, Dylan. Uh, vault Nugs. This stuff here, Vault Dust, no longer drops in the Vault. The lowest value is Vault Nuggets instead. Because this was impossible for me to balance. To make looting not a hassle for you all. So like, if you think about what I've done here. I've tried my hardest to make looting a little bit more satisfying quickly. Like it shouldn't be that it that it takes you half of your playthrough to just manage loot. You should be able to do it quite early. But you didn't open the pouch mod. I did. In 11.2 the pouch is, is uh, open to no research. In this version here, we are in my dev version right now. So, um, yeah. Okay, I think that's a good backpack. I think that's a good first pouch. I think that's all good. Let's just empty this and then we can run another vault. We'll check the quests. <clears throat> And when I played through off camera, um, I came to realize it's so annoying that I can't use these to make chests. <laughs> That's very annoying. 
I came to realize that um, it's probably not worth making any organization in arcade mode early game. It's probably just better to keep running vaults. I don't think you need to worry too much about anything else. And just get to the point where you can unlock. So we just want vault diamonds, we want Beniotite, and we want knowledge shards. Could I identify these two? New chest, new POIs, question mark, question mark, question mark. Hmm. Have to wait and see what you find, what you see. Okay. Where is my bucket? What did I get here? We got a really good... Wow. Wow. That's a very good mining speed jewel. Early game. Holy. Okay, and then we need another vault crystal. And I need to check my quest progress. I hate you, Skull. I do not like this uh, hype. Sorry, da Danny. So this pre-release is all about loot adjustments. Um, we've done a few new things as well. Um, Lynx, that you missed earlier. Uh, Vault Gear has a label now. So it says what slot they go in. And if you want to see the model, you have to shift. Um, skill alters can now save a preset onto a code that you can share with your friends. So you can share builds much easier. We fixed a lot of bugs with how affixes roll. So like um, the val the weight of them was wrong. I mean, loot adjustment is pretty big deal, a pretty big part of the game. But yeah, that's the main update in 11.2. That's why it's still 11, it's not 12. We aren't on 12 yet. Anyway, let's take the quest. We need a bounty table. Okay, okay. Let's see if this is fixed, by the way, because I don't actually know. So for this we need flint, right? We need a fletching table. I have one piece of flint. And then we need more wood. God dang it. We're gonna have to chop some trees. We're gonna have to chop some trees. Once 11.2 is released, you will be able to use wood chunks for... Uh, or the wooden planks for, for your average things. Actually don't... No, I actually don't need wood for this. But I'm gonna need it for chests, so... And I need another piece of gravel. Imagine having to chop trees in Minecraft. I know, right? I want vein miner. Badly. Hello, sir. I could have taken a fletching table from the village if I was smart, but I'm not. Is this a... Oh, this may actually be a fletcher. No, it's a mason. Is this my main man? No, your map guy. Wow, the other village is correct. This village really sucks. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Not even gravel roads. Hmm. You left floating tree. I left floating tree. That is true, Bonnie. That is true. That is very true, Bonnie. Have you fixed the uh, infinite treasure goggles this update? Yeah, I think Joe has fixed that bug uh, a week ago or so for 11.2. Joe, can you confirm? I know we talked about it, but I don't know if we... I don't know if I followed up with you on it. And you've had your hands full with other things. Do I need a blast furnace for something? I think I do for a craft. It's fixed. Cool. Is this the Vault Hunter Arcade update? No, Arcade you can already play. It's just a game mode. It's just what I call um, Infinity and Vault Loot times 3. There's no easy gravel for me to snag. This is annoying. <laughs> Come on, game. This is why I wanted to live on a plains. Flat surface. Here we go. What's infinity? Infinity is uh, crystal crafting is free. It's been in the game since I believe update 10. I asked this question earlier. I didn't pay attention to the answer. So I don't know. 
what the actual answer is, but it's been in the game for a while. It's if you don't want to build farms, if you just want to play the Minecraft aspect of it. There's also other settings which makes it more grindy. But yeah. That's where we at. God dang it. What? Oh, I was like that. Okay. Is it the... Oh, it's the loom. Wait, I need a loom. I don't need a fletching table. I think I need a loom. Oh, my. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. We need a bridge. I haven't got any patch notes for 11.2. I, I actually do have patch notes on my other screen, but they're not finalized. So they would just confuse you guys right now. Okay, there has to be a... Ah, oh, this village sucks, man. There has to be a, a loom man in here. That's the Fletcher. Right there, he's standing there laughing. Was there string in here, maybe? No, of course not. Tripwire hooks, but no string. Bows, but no string. What is a loom? Is it like... Does it have to do with, like, sheeping? With, with... Oh, it's like a wool machine, right? It's where you, like, knit things, but not knit things. You helped me out very well earlier, Dylan, when I needed something. So where can I find a loom in this house? That's a restaurant. That's a lazy man. A weaving machine, I see. So not here. This is this is the manly man's area. Okay. There might not be one here. That through. No, I actually placed the cobwebs. We can get one string from the cobweb I placed. I placed cobweb somewhere here. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's one. And I checked these already. Yeah, a loom is for weaving cloth. Yes. Yes. Someone set up the tower earlier and I actually didn't go up here. So if we're lucky... There's nothing here! Pag! Yeah, I don't know, Dylan. We might be out of luck here. There are three tow towers, sir. Well, excuse me. Not being a tower man, I, I shall go back up. I just feel like when you come to a village, there should be a loom. Wait, is that not the tower that we've already looted? There's another one there. Hmm, peeping. Nay. Goes up the same one. Here we go. This is different. Here we go. Yay! There's one piece of string. Dylan has done it. Woo! Pack. So it's good to get a knowledge check on the Dylan. <laughs> Pack. Ouch. What world is this? This is a new world. This is a new world for my arcade playthrough. And we'll see how far we get. Like, we may not we may not be playing on here a lot, but we'll see. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Megalith in the house! What's up, Megalith? Thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. Funny story about Megalith. While you guys uh, show her some green hearts... <laughs> Someone in the Discord was, was like, wait, 
Why is your name spelt Mepha lit? Because all they had done <laughs> was listen to how I say Megalit. <laughs> They're like, that's wrong. <laughs> funny, funny, very funny. How are you, Mega? I'm gonna continue to pull you Mega, by the way. Because you are a very Mega Man. Um, that stuff. <clears throat> It's your fault. I mean, come on. I think I honestly miss said your name once and then it was just like, no, there's no way I'm going to call you uh, Mephalit. Oh no, is this broken? Hmm. Is that the bug? Is this the bug that people have? Because I thought it was something else. Okay, I thought it was something else. I know how I can fix this. I just need to reroll bounties. But that's, uh, Joseph, could you mark that down as something very urgent? Because that's not what I reported from that known bug. Um, yeah, that's really weird. Really weird. Oh, but 99 chromatic iron. Mm, that feels a bit rough. Let's do a completion. Yeah, let's do a completion because we get a lot of Laramar. It's going to be good for us. Take these and put them in there. Okay, cool. For this call, hope you are doing great. FYI, Andy! Zoom has been loving VH. Yep. He was extremely satisfied with the chest slicing and loved <laughs> his first dungeon, which was an extreme difficulty. I was watching that, Stay actually. Awesome. I was watching that, the cheese. Yep, I'm glad he likes it. I'm glad he likes it. Can you make your stream not verified uh, account chat only? Oh, for gaming souls, okay. Yeah, we need to look at that, Joe. It's probably a Jimothy thing, but I wonder why it's like that. It's kind of weird. Alright, let's get some levels. Let's complete a vault. That uh, greed death was embarrassing and set us back a lot. We got our Schalke boxes. Didn't really use my bow and arrow. Meg, what the hell, Meg? This is why I call you Megalit. Megalit just dropped a hundred gifted subs. You're crazy, Mega. For the devs, thank you so much, Megalit. Thank you so insanely much. You're crazy. We didn't gamble. Um, will we complete? It will be a fast 30 second gamble. For those of you who really want to gamble, make sure you gamble right now. Go. Go, 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 go. Thank you so much, Megalit. You're insane, dude. Absolutely incredible. We currently have four people gambling. Okay, Pag. 87% believe. We didn't complete the last one, by the way. A lot of people lot, a lot of, lost a lot of money. Because, uh, well, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. The, the vault had an X mark room. And the X mark room was trapped. Now, obviously... Obviously, I had to... I had to just check it out, right? It's just how it goes. Okay, I really want a magnet now. Just any magnet would, would help us a lot here. Polar bear. Stray. Yeah, this is going to be annoying without a magnet. Looting like this is not efficient. Wait, if I take out, if I pick it up instead and then throw it out, that's probably better. I hear Greed Skull. No, 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 no. It was it was like the vault placed a trapped X mark room right at the entrance. It's really, really annoying. Not my fault. By the way, I don't know if I did this for 11.1, but the... Um, you guys can confirm or deny. The base magnets were buffed uh, quite a lot so that they actually make sense early game as a magnet. 
Oh, nice. Give me a magnet. Give me a magnet. Pick it all up. I'll do the same strat here. They are buffed. Nice. Oh, we don't have a chest plate, right? No, we don't have a chest plate. Taggers. Oh, there's a common plus chest plate as well. Let's go. Five and ten percent knockback resistance. Don't mind if I do. Ah, seven armor. And two health. Go with that. Alright, so then I gotta do this. Tag. And we're overflowing on nothing so far that matters. Cool. Good first room, good first room. Control Q and you can drag your mouse. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I think this was north facing, but let's just make sure. Yeah. We could we could possibly skip upstairs. Just go for the monoliths because we want XP. Suit in your hop bar instead of bucket. Fair. Good good shout. Is this an ore room? No. Another card room. Perfect. Yeah, I need a magnet. <laughs> this is annoying. Burp. Learning. Are we learning? Can I just say as well, the, the loot tables look really nice. We talked about emotional and uh, uh, stuff earlier, like psychology. I feel like the loot tables look better now. You guys agree? Like, look at that. It, like, looks pretty pag. And just knowing that everything has a base value, I feel... I feel just that, that feeling that you get in your brain is a good one. Help hi, bro! 25 gifted subs. I haven't got a lot of gifted subs lately like this. I know we would like in the past we got a lot of gift bombs. But today you guys are going crazy. Thank you so much, Help I. Lots of love lots of love for our famous duck. <laughs> Some people will be like, what do you mean duck? I mean what I'm saying. Pizza night. These are actually three Beniotite ores here. I think we need 16 Benetite doors per, or Benetite gems per knowledge star. Okay, we're gonna do this. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are we? Nice. So already with one pouch, it's a lot nicer, but if we could get a magnet. Did I say that? If we could get a magnet, it would be even nicer. Will you sign the Hermitcraft's ATCG card? What's the ATCG card? I'll be signing the uh, the for those of you who bur I think I think the campaign is over now, right? You can't actually order more. Otherwise, I lied on Twitter, but that's what I heard. For those of you who ordered uh, the uh, signed version, I will be signing all of those by hand. I don't have a little machine to sign them. I don't even know if that exists. <laughs> then they wouldn't really be signed. Oh, champion. He's gonna hurt. He hurts. He hurts. But that's a rare plus idol. Uh, not super exciting. To be fair. Don't want to be rude, but I would have liked the magnet. Magnet would have been good. Check your carbon levels. They're probably full. Yeah, they're full. I guess I could be smart and like take them out and make them into... Oh no, it's a 3x3 three three crafting. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's take them out and put them in there. How does that sound, Dylan? Big brain? Question mark? Is 
This is the new version of Hermitcraft. What? No. Oh, we need the we need the we need the Schalke shells for another pouch, and we need the magic silk. Okay, that's actually one of my jobs. Even though, uh, even though we are playing on extreme, to try and find out whether or not I've screwed up the loot tables fully. I think it's looking pretty good. Like I think we're getting the materials we need, and not too much fluff. Okay. Am I burning myself on the candles? Or is it the campfire? Mm, yeah. Oh, that's huge. Let's go. I love the pylons early game. They're great. I don't know if that skeleton was an indication of that there was an old epic thing there. The junk is so pretty. I'm glad you say that, dude. Because one thing that I spoke with Joe about and, like, I wanted to Pider and, and uh, Sunny to understand was, like, the importance of these things looking good in item form is it's quite important. And I think they do look, I think they do look good. Because like, when you open your ch the chest, you want it to, like, feel good. And later then when you break them. And honestly, it feels pretty logical to me now that, I, that I'm playing. It feels pretty logical that, that there isn't any uh, chromatic iron in here. Feels pretty good. Another Schalke shell. Pag. I'm just absolutely ignoring coins. Because I don't think it's high priority early game. So now on Obtainium for 111, uh, for 11 two players. Um, I've actually thought about that and I might add, so, so you can get on Obtainium, uh, by the way. You can get on Obtainium the way you're supposed to get it, which is throw a netherite ingot through a portal and you get your on Obtainium. I kind of like that mechanic better than giving it for free, honestly. Because it's like, it becomes like a little task for you to do. It's like, oh, do I want to spend a netherite ingot? Yeah, probably. I want to spend four of them so I can get an infinite amount of unobtainium. That's how Architect Palace designed unobtainium. So no, to your statement, which was a bit like negative in, in, inclined, but that's fine. To your negative inclined statement, uh, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. You can get an unobtainium. Do you get it from wall chests though? No. So you hated the junk in chests, so we introduced vault junk. Much better yeppers. Don't know if you're sarcastic, Lacko, but I think you may I think if you're not sarcastic, you might have missed the point. <laughs> What's the point of vault junk, Dylan? Have I been bad at explaining? What's the point of having our own stuff instead of, like, the sticks and uh, scaffolding and all of this garbage? I like it that I was sarcastic. Okay. Oof, I was getting worried that I maybe mis-explained the feel of opening a chest is the purpose. the work that you and your team are continuing to do. Thank you, I sir. I also hope that your personal hard time is getting better. Thank Question. you, sir. Did the SMP reset or are you running a single player for another reason? I'm running a single player. The SMP has not reset yet. Uh, I'm running a single player because I wanted to play arcade and check out the new loot tables. I figured that it's the best way to do it. Check it out early game. Now, arguably, we are playing arcade, so it's not like a great test to see how balanced things are because things are faster. But it gives me a good understanding, at least, of how things are working, uh, and I can math it out in my brain, magistrate. But most, the the most, uh, the 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 biggest reason I'm doing it is because I. Did this off camera a week ago or two to test out some early game stuff. That's how I found out other things that I wanted to adjust for early game. Um, and make things a little bit more enjoyable for early game players. It was after watching Exumavoid I got quite inspired to do so. And um, I just enjoyed it. Like it, it was just a lot of fun. Right. So I figured 
Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Okay, uh, screw the bow. I don't care about the bow. I'm not gonna use it. Yeah, so I figured it's just like a fun little thing that we can do. I know I have shulker boxes, by the way, before everyone starts shouting at me, but I don't want to save the arrows. Okay, can a man not have to save his arrows? Can a man just be arrowless? Is that okay? Um, how are you going to unlock mods? Uh, through, through finding knowledge and stuff. That's another good thing, actually. Right now, in the current version that I'm testing out, there is no knowledge essence in wooden chests. None. No knowledge in wooden chests. But instead, the knowledge in living chests have been increased quite heavily. I, I, I would say I would say that it's about 80% more knowledge in living chests. I mean, what I've done is I've taken the average wooden chest ratio to living chests, and I've just moved it all to living chests. So there's not actually a, a net total of more, but there's more if you focus living chests. The goal of the, the loot table changes that I've done is to make it so that you as a player feel like you're in control of the RNG. You want knowledge? Well, skip wooden chests. Go and loot living chests. Do you want crafting materials? Uh, like plating and stuff like that? Well, don't loot ornate chests for crafting materials. Loot wooden chests. Do you want focuses? Loot ornate chests. Like, I, I just want to give you guys the control fully. Uh, we, had a few, we still have a few overlaps because they're important to the game. So like magic silk overlaps, gilded chests and wooden chests. Uh, there's one overlap per chest. Um... So some overlaps are good and important for the game, but for the most part, I, I don't want it to be confusing. I want you guys to know what chest does what. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be good. But no knowledge in uh, in wooden chests uh, in the current version. That may not stay. But the math works out that if you do the living to wooden ratio and focus living, you're going you're gonna to net uh, knowledge. I'm not trying to slow down the game for anyone. I am looting this room because of Beniotite. There's more there, I saw. Man, the person who shouted javelins earlier was not in a bad... It's not a bad shout. Javelins would feel pretty good here. I'm not using my mana at all. I've been here 67 months. It seems like such a long time, but... Here we go. Yeah, I see those as tier 2 crafting mats with tier 1 exclusively in wooden. Yep, yep. It also gives wooden chest a buff. Actually, I mean, after this vault, I can show you the loot tables, yeah? Now, remember, they're not final. It's kind of half the point of why I'm testing things out to, to have a feel if it's actually a good change. But in theory, in my mind, it's good changes. Um, because, as I say, I want to give you guys the full control. A lot of people play this game and they don't loot wooden chests at all. Um, because, truth to be told, you don't necessarily need to loot them. So, I wanted to give incentive to loot wooden chests while maintaining the whole focus your loot. Make you guys in, uh, in, uh, in command. It's not big changes, mind you. Like, if you've played Vault Hunter before, it's not like you have to relearn anything. Uh, and as I say, the intention is definitely not to slow down your progression. If anything, we want to increase the progression speed. But control. Control is important. Psychologically and uh, just by design. But I've given wooden chests something unique. Also, you will notice that right now, mystery boxes are only a thing that you can get from... Uh, um, from bounties. You cannot actually get mystery boxes in chests at the moment. May also not stay, but that's how I have it designed right now. That was a nice cleanup. Dude, shocking is great early game. Why is it shocking in an area? Is that how it's supposed to work? Like, it shocked the mobs further away. Oh, and also one really interesting challenge that we have with Vault Junk, um, or, or had, or still have, is the whole... 
Making it so that the player don't feel like, right, right now I'm voiding a lot of vault junk. And perhaps some people, not mentioning any names, Jardonk, Captain Sparkles, may feel like uh, you're wasteful. <laughs> because it's potentially soul shards that I'm losing out on. So it's like a challenge to make it so that the play people don't feel too wasteful with it. I think it's fine though. Are you going to buff mystery boxes? Uh, right now I have no uh, idea about what to do with mystery boxes in order to make them an exciting game feature. I think that they, in the current, ver in the current release, I think they're just a chore. There was a fun funny reddit about not removing them, but I don't, I don't know what to do with them yet. I'll figure something out, don't worry. We need another monolith, let's keep going. They're pretty though. They are pretty. Ooh. Puzzle room. Why New World? Um, Because we're doing an arcade run uh, playthrough. And because I wanted, wanted to. Oh! 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 Oh yeah! That's This is a great game design. Great game design. I almost died there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Looks easy. <laughs> the puzzle room is going to be changed eventually. We just don't have a good idea for it. Because, like, internally the discussion goes something like this. Um, some people are like, oh, it's fine. Leave it as is. Other people, including me, are like, it's not fine. It's a really weird game design. When you play the game more times than none, uh, it lets you down. The room just lets you down. And it also doesn't fit the design of the game currently. Um... But then it's like, but it's colorful. It's a nice change of pace when you're running your vault in your winter theme. And then all of a sudden you get this super colorful pag looking room. So right now, the goal is to find a way to keep the pag looking game show feel of that room. Right? Uh, while making it viable in the game. Bring back the Simon Says. That was that was awful for the game. That was so bad. It was a cool little gimmick, but I'd I'd opt to having just here here are your free chests. Don't even have the game. It took took people like twenty seconds. I, it was just bad. It's just not cool. I think it would be way cooler if you had uh, something like the puzzle room, but you wouldn't call it puzzle room. But you would have like this game show thing where you break these question mark blocks and they take a bit of time to break, right? So you have to invest, like mining speed matters. And then you break them and either you get like a trap or you get something good. You know, like that, something like that would be cool. So it's like, it's like a proper game show. You know, the game show where you have like five doors. I don't know if this was a Swedish thing. It was called, uh, I think it was called like Guld Tamborsten, the golden toothbrush or something like that when I was a kid. It always fascinated me because it was like exciting, but I don't know if it would be exciting to open the doors and get trapped or if it was more exciting to watch it. This was a, it was a viewable experience. I don't know. Toothbrush, yeah, golden toothbrush. I think it was called. Some Sweden chap must be able to confirm or deny. It was with uh, our main man, the Harald guy, uh, was, the, was, the, was the leader, was the program host. I want these living chests. And I wouldn't mind some extra loot here. 34 carrots. Yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I remember it as, as like the toothbrush. What what did the did the toothbrush have anything to do with it? Or was it like my mother? It's like Iskal, to watch this show you have to brush your tooth these. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe child psychology there. <laughs> Look at the knowledge we're getting here, by the way. Of course, this is on extreme, but yeah, it's compensated for. I think when I was testing things yesterday, the um, you can get like a, a an Omega chest that rolls like 40 knowledge on normal settings. It's quite cool. Classic mom skull. Yeah, what's up, Salsa, by the way? Like, can you just press the button and get one chest, or can you find some sort of pieces to get more chests? 
Oh, you're talking about the puzzle room, so like, you can build a bigger chest array. So we don't like the idea of having to bring stuff into the vault, because for a new player, imagine if imagine if you're playing Vault Hunts for the first time, you haven't watched it, you've just find, found it online, and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna download this pack. This pack looks cool, I'm just gonna download it, okay? Put yourself in that situation. By the way, congratulations, believers. And then the first thing that happens, your first room, literally your first room is a puzzle room. That'd be quite confusing, you know? Is our quest completion bag. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I think the game show feel should stay, though. I think the game show feel should stay somehow. I uh, That was actually a pretty good one. Because of the ores we got. We got a lot of XP as well. We got some chest scrollers. Nice. All right. All right. Night Raleigh. The US had a game called Punch Out that was exactly that you win punches based on mobs you kill in a wave. Then you get like a punch of a prize block for five or ten mobs. That sounds really cool. That sounds very close to what we have planned for uh, for um, uh, some other stuff in the future. Sounds very close to um, a raid thing that we have thought about. That's a pretty well rolled uh, idol actually. We may run with that to get some more mana now that we have skill points. That's good this though. Our first crate. Actually, let me see what the next quest is. Can I complete this? Okay, I can complete that. Nice, we are getting into tools now. That's exciting. That's exciting. I should... I should make a chest for my uh, jewels. And I got a cool mod to showcase in regards of jewels. I don't know if I can get there though. But Bonnie, are you in chat? I checked Hello, out Carl. your mod, nice we put it in the pack. Nice to catch this stream, Miss Card also. Our arcade is such a good name for this game mode. Arcade is such a good Carl name, I know, right? I know, right, Joe Bullas. Feels weird being in a similar time zone. What's up, Topov? How you doing, sir? Thank you so much for the 15 months, and Joe Bullas, thank you for the 26 tier 3. Is Bonnie in chat? Bonnie doesn't want us to put this in the pack because he doesn't want to maintain it. Uh, but he's made an amazing mod that sorts your jewels by what they are. And uh, it's just, when you have more jewels, it's a very satisfying mod that they made. Um, but yeah, they don't want us to put it in the pack. So I don't know what to do right now. We got three pair of boots to, to roll. That's pack. Hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Great Lakes. How are we? It's got change carbon with shouts in your pouch. So you won't be missing out on carbon. That's an epic axe. I don't want an epic axe though. God damn it. That is rare boots though. Those we will take. Mana region boots. Man. Get us some good stuff. No! Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. I have to go down there and deal with it. I'm not going to do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Stupid man just taking over my boots. Uh, okay, what I should do though is take my emeralds. Which I'll hopefully get some more. Nice. And we should put... Depth Rider and Feather Falling in these. Nice. Importante. Where did we get 56 chromatic iron from? That's a nice. I think that was maybe the bounty. Not to be underestimated. Uh, yeah, I think we're fine with the carbon. I don't really mind it. I just want to. I guess I want to empty this every time now. Yeah. Probably want to empty it. Damn. We, uh, we need to make some wall tools anyway. So we should probably make an axe and get. Mining. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to take two points in main miner. Because I hate chopping down trees. And then just get some more chests. Pag Depth Rider. I, honestly, I think it's one of the best enchantments in the game. <laughs> it makes, it makes uh, being in water just so much more satisfying. Oh. Bro, the people who don't go vein miner early and, and sweat with the vault things instead. You're missing out. 
You're missing out. It's so, so very satisfying. Get out of here, tree. Is there another one there? Maybe. I miss you. I don't even have any vibes to watch. Sad mommy! Things, Siren, things, I'm sorry, things, mommy. Yellow heart. We well, have this one now. Pag. And hopefully... Hopefully we'll make um, some more streams where we play in this world. Are you guys enjoying this? Is it weird? Like the goal is obviously to just like progress in the vaults. Build a store, like get a storage system would be nice. I'm, I think my first unlock, now that we have pouches for free, will probably not be pouches, which is nice. It would probably be um, drawers. Drawers is probably a good first unlock. Months here. Time has gone quickly. Now I have two kids, two years old and seven months old. Hashtag never ever that's, leave That's crazy, ACG. That's crazy. I still remember the first. Thank you so much for being here still, ACG. It's great. Yeah, do you guys like the idea of not having to unlock uh, pouches as well, I assume? Alright, that's a bit of uh, a cleared out inventory. Nice. So, what do I want to make? I kind of want to make another pouch. But for to make another pickup upgrade, we're going to need slime. Which is annoying. Yeah, but if we make another pouch, we could double store carbon. Then we could double store carbon and we're we're okay with that. Really want a magnet as well. But let's follow the quest line. Magnet is quite a while, a while away still. So first things first, we need to do a tool station. Tool station, is that just a crafting bench in the middle? Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. No, no, nice. 19 that months one. this call stream on a day off. Pog. Pog. That. And then vault essence. And driftwood. Tool station. Should try and keep some organization here in our little camp. Vault is the successor, blah, 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 blah. Craft a chromatic iron pick. Okay. Bronze. Oh, crap. We haven't been bronze mining at all. Didn't I get some from the reward, though? Didn't I get some from the champion, actually? Uh-oh. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Should I immediately make a coin miner? I think I will. Because I did pick up a coin affinity jewel. Let's just do this one. That's not how you do this guy. We need a jewel applicator. Is that coming next? Yes. Acquire jewel applicator. What is arcade? We have a command so that you can see what arcade is. Oh crap, we're gonna need iron for this. And you no longer get iron in the vaults. Is this where we resort to the village again? Is there an anvil in the village is what I'm wondering. I would have picked it up if there was. Hmm. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, damn it. It is in the castle? Okay. Yeah. I think I remember it having one as well. Uh, then we only have ornate so far. No, we have gilded as well. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to the village. I think we have enough to make another pouch. Possibly. Amberlyn J.I., sir. That doesn't work. We don't have enough ingots. <laughs> Every time I look over at chat, there's like, what is Vault Hunter's Arcade? There we go. We got commands in chat. Thank you. I'm, I'm not going to reply just because we have the command. You, you need to build a bridge, Iskal. I know. I really do need to build a bridge. Every time I go over here, I think, no, I don't need a bridge anymore because this is the last time I'll be here. Okay, hopefully I can use this anvil. Uh, do we test it here? We test it here. Oh, pure 
purists, purist recipe. God damn it. Okay, I don't think there would be another anvil then. Brrr, we gotta go mining. We gotta go mining. I'm gonna start the bridge though. GM. So, uh, Joseph, if you're still in chat, the, the thing with Voltstone that people don't know about yet, we need to make the polished block work like the non-polished block in the stone cutter as well. Share the recipes. We got a bridge! Yay! Yay! Bridge! Try to put in the anvil manually. I don't think it works that way either. We can try. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just go. Uh, we'll just go quickly in mine. We'll put the things that we're working on in here. It's okay. Show the new blocks, sir. I don't know how to acquire it without having silk touch, though, Joseph. Tell you what, I'll put silk touch on the new uh, thing, and then I'll do it. Okay. Bit of an excitement for the Dillons. Can you not just repair the anvil? I know of no mechanic in vanilla Minecraft that repairs an anvil. Is that is there such a thing? I don't think I've ever heard about that in a non-modded Minecraft version. No, I was hoping that this led me into a cave. You can't repair an anvil. Okay. Oh <laughs> god damn it. But see, Depth Rider, great enchantment. Okay, let's have a look at our map. Is there any holes anywhere that we can see over there? Actually, let's take some skills. Two points in dash. Do we even need heal early game? Strength is funner, yeah. Go one in strength and one in jabs, maybe. That costs 15 mana. I don't think I can go scatter here. It's going to be way too expensive. But I might go piercing. It does so much damage, though. No, we'll, we'll stick with that. Oh, and we got an expertise point. Mm, do I go fortunate? Bounty hunting may be important early game though in arcade. Like it might actually be very smart to go in arcade mode. Two in Stonefall. Yeah, we'll go that next time. It's not a bad shout. Fortunate with extreme loot is good. Yeah, that's true. Actually, because we are not getting more ores. Uh, but we're getting more loot. That's actually a very, very smart shout. This man. This man has played arcade before. Uh, it's not going to be pain to loot, to, to get the iron. Absolutely not. Because of the fact that we have fortune 4 and we have fortune on our pickaxe. I heard zombies there. Do you guys, uh, do you guys mine iron in rivers? <laughs> uh, man. Pain G? <laughs> what do you mean? It's brilliant. Here we go. Where's that skeleton? 
Yeah, I'll take that. Wait! I haven't heard the cooldown one before. That's weird. Uh, Alright, how much iron do I actually need? I think I have enough. Bruh. There are some people that consistently <clears throat> say to me that uh, early game Vault Hunters is very bad with talents because you don't have mana. To those people... Yeah, I'm talking to you, Tommy. I just want to say... Bruh. Literally the strongest thing in the game early game is just going strength. You get an extra sword for two skill points in your hand. An extra iron sword. With every swing. It's so good early game. It's ridiculous. I, I think we have enough. Not enough, sir. Wait, we have one block. And we need 18 for another two blocks. And then the foot. No, we have enough. What are you talking about? It's fine if you take early game talents. Yeah. I mean, we've also tried to make it so that regret orbs are quite frequent in completion crates early game. Well, actually throughout the game. Like, regret orbs are supposed to be something that if you play around a lot with, with regretting things later, you have to put Beniotite to it. But early game, you should be getting the ones you need in completion crates uh, and bounties. It's funny because, like, a lot of things in the game, obviously, in every game, will shift as you go up. Like, your focus will shift and all of that. I think that's good. I think that's a good thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, my work chest is over here. We can put this garbage villager anvil down. As decoration. I have a blast furnace somewhere, which I'm gonna need for the next quest. What's the next quest? Expert eye. Okay. I think it's forging gear. Vault forge that we need it for. Do we even have enough carbon to get started here? You guys may be right. Oh, you know what we should do while we wait for this? We should craft another pouch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's craft another pouch. We're gonna need some lair more, boys. We're gonna need some magic silks. Uh, and Schalke shells may be able to make two. Bolt diamonds. Oh, hell yeah. Now, pouches aren't great without the pickup upgrade. So, again, that stupid slime ball we need is quite annoying. I did see a swamp nearby, though. Yeah, there's a swamp there. Should I just, should I just go out in the night and get some, get some stuff? Hmm, can we actually do this, maybe? Get that Elytra would be amazing. How many... Uh, mats? Wait, wait, Let, let's be, let's be, let's be clever. This is what I mean with arcade. There are, like, tasks to do outside the Minecraft crafting. I'm going to save and wait, make one more, but then the rest could be submitted there. Where am I? Where's my rock magic? I don't have any more. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We can't do that. Is 4 still an emote? I don't know. That was a funny one. Um, okay, let's just go to the swamp before we do anything else. He says and then I complete this quest. Because then I can save some inventory space. Yeah. 
and try and get so that we can make two pickup upgrades. You could just go caving a scout for the chromatic. I could, yeah, I could. I could. I'd rather go into a vault though and hope to land like a chromatic uh, iron cave. Like I said, we probably need to increase the um, frequency of that. Or we don't. Or it's a good thing that it's a mix. Oh, I should have put looting on my sword. That was, that was dumb. I think I had the emeralds for it as well. Wait, am I not going to need redstone as well? I think I might need redstone too. Ugh. Okay. See if we can see a slime first. There is one night in Minecraft where slimes do not spawn in swamps. I'm hoping that's not the night now. People keep saying that it's like full moon, but I think that's the opposite. I think full moon, then, then a lot of slimes spawn. Or something like that. New moon? Yeah, is this a new moon? Oh, if there's no moon, there's no slimes. Okay, okay. That's a good thing to try and remember. Thank you, Dylan. I'll try and remember that saying. No moon, no slimes. It's like that Bob Marley song. No moon, no slimes. You know that one? It's a great big one, big song. No moon, no slime. Do, 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 do. You know? He knew all the time, all this time. <laughs> he knew. Oh man. I'm an idiot. Bag? I want to go to the vanilla esque swamp. Birch in a swamp feels wrong to me. It was a great top hit. Yeah. See, some people know about it. I love the underwater with these shaders. I've got so used to playing with these shaders now. And I, I really feel like the settings that I have. I've seen a lot of other people use my settings as well, which is great. Like, I'm so happy. Because isn't that right? The... Dylan, do I have a single Dylan in chat that's like me? In that you hated shaders. Because shaders gave you headache, they were way too bright or whatever in your face all the time. But now, now you're like, oh, yeah, I gotta have them Iskal shaders. Meinstein is like that. It's because I, I, I don't think, like, I, I wanted it to feel bubbly. I wanted it to feel vanilla. I told Tango, he helped me out so much with it. Our dear Gregory. Are there no slimes, though, on this moon? I'll try to look at the minimap for slimes. But it doesn't look promising. What is this mambo slime farm? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Good one. Yeah, this is weird though. I suppose normally I have an elytra here, so I just fly in and out till they spawn. So it's still a rarer, rarer mob. Come on, we gotta get a slime. We gotta get a slime. At this point I'm like feeling like I should probably change the recipe for the pickup upgrade so you don't have to go through this. But then again, it's good to have some of these tasks in the game. I'm not actually looking at the screen at all. I'm just looking at the minimap, by the way. Can I hold... Oh, I can do this. That's much easier. Not a single slime. Pag. Where can I get your settings? There's a command that you can run in chat. Shaders. And I think they posted on the Vault Hunters Discord, are they, Dylan? They should probably be in my Discord as well. 
It's not my share, it's my settings. Like, it's a mod, um, which I keep forgetting the name of. Obviously. Nope, there's not a single slime in this swamp. <sighs> God damn it. Oculus, yeah. It's a mod only command. Wait, why is the shaders command a mod only? Mods, when we do these helpful commands, they should be commands for everyone to use. Otherwise, they're not really helpful. Is that why people can't type arcade also? Stop doing mod only. I know your swords are shiny. But that's because you never use them. Because we don't use our swords here. <laughs> Poor mods. <laughs> like it was my only power though. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but your, your sword is dull here. Um, Yeah, this is not looking good, Dylan. I think that uh, we might be out of luck. Maybe look for a non terlet swamp. I thought that this was a vanilla swamp right here. But I would assume that uh, Terlith has, like, respects mob spawns. The guy who's made Terlith is a pretty smart guy. I just think there's way too many caves or whatever underneath. And we're not fully resetting the zone, so... The spawns that we're getting are, like, repeated spawns. Hmm. Okay. Okay, how about this? How about we go into a vault and um, we do another bounty for now and hope to collect some chromatic iron so we can get the elytra. And we'll use the pouches as just like shulker boxes. We can, we can set a filter in them. We can set a filter so I can just manually dump. I do really need the magnet to make the, to make the pickup augment work great anyway, so it's not like a massive loss. We tried. Go get the elytra then. Yeah, but I, I, I don't want to go and cave for chromatic iron. I could. I could. But I don't want to. I think there are more fun ways of getting it. But this is what I mean. Arcade is working out. Like, I have tasks. I'm not like, oh, I'll get everything for free. That's not how it works. The game still presents you with challenges, and that's exciting. I sounded a little bit like Christopher Walken there in the moments. No? I think most of Terrible Swamps are too high Y level. Oh, that might be it, yeah. Cats coming in with the mega mega play. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're heading the right way. You guys don't mind another gamble and another vault, right? We're going to do the tools first, though. We're going to do the Silk Touch um, enchantment on the uh, uh, on the uh, Chromatic Pick that we made. And then I'm not planning on using that. <laughs> I'm planning on using my other one. I think making a hammer early game is probably not a bad idea. But now I have Vein Miner, so it's not like super important. I like the gamble, will we find a single sli slime? Where's my house? Oh, it's over here. Why level 50 to 70 is the spawn levels? Okay, so if you're in like a swamp hills, then you're going to be spawning in a lot of other mobs and they are going to take up the spawn uh spaces for the slimes that makes sense 
That makes sense. <clears throat> okay, we'll go and get them. Uh, we'll go get them in a little bit. Let's continue. We got two more pouches. Let's actually use a die. Um, a poppy and did I not save the dandelions after all that? I just panic. I just hear him and I just panic. Like in my head, I just panic. Just can't deal with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> stupid guy, stupid guy. Make a red pouch and a gray pouch. And this is our automatic one. Okay, so... Eh, we'll, we'll try without the filter first. We'll try without the filter. And we gotta do jewels on tools, okay. Did I not just do that? Yeah, I did. So what do I get? I get some chromatic steel, that's good. And then that one should auto-complete. Give me some gold. Nice. Oh, do we do magnets before we go in? God damn it, I am at magnets now. I'm actually at magnets. I should do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's also do this. That gives us vault ingots. We don't need any of that. Reroll. Completion any vaults, some knowledge, shield. Reroll. Mine some Laramar. There we go. 21 chromatic Two iron. Years already. Take that. Time flies. Thanks for this amazing mod pack and for getting to meet the amazing people on Venus. Hashtag Thank you. Never ever leaving. Hashtag Wamba. Thank you, Humoka. Thank you, sir. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's focus. Let's focus. We're going to craft magnets. Let's make a forge. E we don't have... Uh, do we have gold for that? Man, these new loot tables, man, they're really, uh, they're really making things different. We still get vault scrap inside vaults. Oh, I was gonna show you guys the loot tables. Right. Give me a moment. We need to mix some of this stuff. Carbon. I think you guys may be right with carbon. I shouldn't be wasting it. Uh, and then the blast furnace. And vault vessels. Okay. Wasting carbon is not good, sir. Nope. No, I'm, I'm starting to get that. Okay. Um, and then the quest is to craft a magnet, right? Forge a magnet, yeah. Okay. We need another netherite ingot for that. Crap! We don't have gold. <laughs> we don't have gold. Okay. Actually, let me put... Turn that into gold. And let's put the magnetite in it too. Carbon is so important in the game? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, we don't have the gold to make the netherite ingot. Do we actually go caving? Go mining, sir. But mining is a little bit meh. But a magnet would be nice. See, I can okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something radical then. How many knowledge do I have? Do I have 81 of these? No. I have 45. Okay. I do have enough Beniotite and Vault Diamonds, I think. I'm gonna run a vault. I got an idea. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna unlock waystones. 
Because once we have waystones, then we can go mining. Easily. That's what we're gonna do. It's just a quick dip under. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but we're doing it this way. We're doing it this way. God damn it, this is not a cave theme. Uh, Gamba, 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 Gamba. Will we complete? Actually, is there something more fun uh, to gamble for? Will we get will uh, will we get enough uh, to craft a knowledge star? Here we go. One minute. Go. Will we get enough to craft a knowledge star? I think that's going to be my focus. Mining is worth it. Trust me. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But if I have waystones, then I don't have to worry about uh, like fine. Yeah, you know. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I need living chest though. That's one of the changes. Nice. We can't just rely on wooden chests for this anymore. We gotta we gotta focus loot. Spiders are disgustingly strong, by the way. Early game. I think it would be great success. There's some Betty boys. Make sure you gamble. We have a 59-40 uh, situation right now. And I think if I'm looking, if I'm seeing the correct thing, I didn't bring my potion. God damn it. If I'm seeing the correct thing, uh, it looks like I'm not getting banned. No, I'm not getting banned. Pag. Well done, Dylan. Three in there. I didn't, I also didn't bring my sickle for the bronze. And now we are starting to need bronze. Three mystery eggs! What? How did that happen? That gotta be... I know the loot tables. That gotta be a super rare roll. Who's throwing bricks at me? Nice. Oh, there's a slime. Finally able to wash for the first time in a month. Hashtag never ever leaving. Bagging. Who, who said that? Raven. Unshaven Craig is in the house. Unshaven. How the hell are you, sir? Thank you so much for uh, your 10 gifted subs. I haven't seen Unshaven in a long time. I was thinking about you the other week. Can we get some love for Unshaven Craig? Absolute legend around these here places. Living. Spiders always disgusting because they're spiders. Also, their weird reach and hitboxes make it difficult. They actually, uh, they don't actually have a weird reach. That was a bug that Joseph fixed. Um, a while ago. Wow, we're not getting any high rolls. There we go. There we go. Just complain and then you get a high roll. There we go. There we go. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Is Just how you are literally the best streamer ever. That's not true. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate the, the saying. Thank you so much, buyers. I'm getting better. Vault has broke my will at the start of season three, and I need to make uh, to take a break to recover. Oh, what what's happened, Unshaven? Like, did you think the game was really bad, or? Yo, uh. dude, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope uh, I'm glad to hear that you're getting better, though, sir. I missed you, man. Oh, this is a yeah, yeah. This is an epic, epic loot hole. <laughs> epic loot hole. <laughs> Yay! We're getting lucky now. Bag. Epic loot hole. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's called. Sometimes you gotta wonder. <laughs> you gotta wonder what the hell is wrong with me. There we go, there we go, there we go. Friendly. Uh, I actually gotta check now. I might actually be voiding. Oh, saved, saved. C 
16. Brrr. Yeah, we definitely have enough, I think. As long as... How many... Is it 16 Benyatite gems I need for one, Dylan? Helping this girl out. Wait, I make... So I make one of those and then I need four of those. Yeah. And then it's just uh, like nine volt timers. I definitely have that. Okay. Okay. Uh, what was we facing? North? <clears throat> Let's try and complete this while we get XP. Was there a sugar plum flower? Was there? Hmm. That's a good shout. That's a great shout. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I actually uh, thought about this when I played off camera. I don't know if anyone else uh, can relate to this, but I feel like the quest lines, uh, the position, the position of the um, transmogrify table feels like it's a little bit late. Like, I don't know why we have it so late in the in the progression. It's a little bit weird. I got the gamble wrong. I thought everything for a star would be have to be gotten from this vault. Oh, okay. Ten months already. Hope you're having a wonderful day, sir. Hashtag Thank you. Never ever leaving. Thank you, sir. I can't believe I forgot my sickle. Otherwise, I could have got some coiners. Still get some coiners, but it's a bit annoying. That's a champion. Is that a champion spider? I think that's a champion spider. Oh. Bruh, I don't, I don't have any heal. Oh, come on. Okay, we're good. A magnet! We've done it! We got a magnet! Boot! Hold on. Hell yeah! Pag! And this is a healing pile, I think. Yep. Let's go. Okay. I should equip the magnet before I do this, actually. 3.9 range, 10 velocity. Some copiously. Mmm, some copiously in the morning. Look at this now. There we go. There we go. Is my... No, it's in my inventory now. Okay, weird. How's my carbon doing? It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Lots of vault diamonds. I am playing on extreme, but lots of vault diamonds right now. That's great. That's region 2. I think I just got lucky with the vault diamonds though, because then I opened three without a single one. Okay, do we just complete and head home? Oh, Unshaven, now I missed what, what you meant with that you got in a bad feeling from uh, from Vault Hunter start of season. You made it to level 19, grat sir. I hope you find it enjoyable. I mean... I feel at least, but I'm going to feel that. I'm biased because I'm designing the game. But I feel the game is a thousand times better than, than second edition. Friendly. Oh, the early staging for looting is just brrr, so much better. No coins? No, I forgot the sickle. Is all the new loot just in the arcade mode? No, no, no. Uh, the new loot is part of the uh, part of the game in 11.2. We are running on my dev version right now. 
So, um, yeah, uh, you, you'll see a few new things like the vault junk. I went through it earlier. If you want to rewind the VOD. Um, the whole idea with these new loot items is that everything is now useful. Even these vault suites, of course, you know, after a while you will have enough and you don't need more. But then we made everything have soul value so you can smelt them down and get soul shards from them. Uh, and I think I think one thing we need to do as well. Ah, oh, crap. I can't do this right and trigger the poison avoidance. No, that's good. Uh, I think one thing that we need to do is um, make the... Uh, kind of curious to see what you guys think about this. I think we need to make the vault diffuser a bit cheaper. I think it's like... It's weird. The cost that it has right now is kind of weird. Why would we want to... I, I know why when we designed it, it was like, okay, well, you know, you only have to craft it once and all of that. But, yeah, I feel like we can make it cheaper. All right, rescue all of these things, put them in here. Tagging. Personally, Skull Vault Hunters 2 felt like a modded pack, which was amazing at the time, but Vault Hunters 3 feels like a game itself uh, that has uh, Minecraft mechanics. That's a good thing, right? I see that as a good thing. That's a good feedback. Because I think you're right. I, I think my focus as well in Season 2 was... We had an internal thing where it was a lot more important to me that we maintained as many Minecraft aspects as possible... Uh, but in season, like in the third edition, I've like let my imagination, and not just mine, but like other people's as well. Joe has, has had a lot of great ideas. Um, Tango, etc. I, I let that kind of roam and be like, you know what? We shouldn't continue to limit ourselves um, too much. Like there are certain things that I don't think ever fits Minecraft, like Wayla, for example. But we've done a lot of QL things that I was against. Last season, because of the fact that they weren't, they didn't feel like a Minecraft thing to have. Um, but like the whole looting thing, I had this idea last season or in second edition. I had this idea that, like, I want the looting to be progressive, and and I think that's correct. I think that looting should be progressive, but I don't think it needs to be punishingly progressive. I don't think it needs to be like loot management is what I mean. I think that there should be a baseline where looting feels okay. And and honestly, we're in our third vault here. Right? While we're playing on extreme, extreme mode, um, or arcade mode, or whatever you want to call it, it still feels like I'm, I'm like, dealing with things very well with, with loot management. And that's great. Like, the game has progressed. I've already progressed. I just want that to be a little bit quicker than what it, what it has been. Um, and that's also why we've done the wall junk um, and, the, and the loot table update. The loot table update, I, uh, I can't really judge though on extreme mode, but it feels, feels pretty good. And because Vault Hunters now has so much like content, like it, the game itself, then we can also play around with more things. Yeah, the team has, the team has done an amazing job. Can you give an example of these uh, new non-Minecraft uh, QL things? <clears throat> like from the beginning... I was very fond of the idea that you would open chests, you would take your time to look at the loot, all of that. But, like, breaking chests is not something you do in Minecraft. It's in fact, like, it's a bad thing in Minecraft to break chests, right? Five Benny boys from that. If you think about it, did you ever break a chest in vanilla Minecraft? Ever. Like, unless it was by mistake or you were moving base, right? It's not an efficient thing. So it's a brand new thing that we've kind of invented. And it feels so natural to Vault Hunters at this point. So very natural. But I was against it from the beginning. Because I felt like that's not that's not how you loot in Minecraft. In Minecraft you loot by opening containers. And fitting it in your tiny little inventory. Uh, when I want to vo void things. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, I do that in vanilla Minecraft. I put a chest over lava, and then... 
break the chest. Do you know why I do it that way though? Because I don't think it's the fastest. I have to craft a chest, I have to mine the wood for the chest, I have to put it over lava, all of that stuff. I don't think it's the fastest. I think the fastest is to just throw it in lava immediately. But I do it because it's satisfying and that's a good, it's a good lesson. We might actually be able to get enough for uh, a knowledge star just in this vault as well. So everyone who misunderstood the gamba, well, you can't blame that. Yeah, that's another five and that's another nine. Yeah, we've got enough for a knowledge star in this vault. Pag. That's mega pag. Okay, should I mine more? Need one more monolith, nine minutes. But another thing that uh, lately we have tried to focus on is make the progression into vault hunting feeling exciting much quicker. And I'm level seven. I'm I don't have speed four. I don't I can't dash around. I don't have any mana management at all. But I feel like I'm playing the game in a fun manner. So it's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I was supposed to mine with silk touch. God damn it. I might skip that one. Friendly. Black opal? Did I miss a blue opal? But yeah, what, what do you guys think about the idea of making the soul diffuser a cheaper block? Because that way you can make more and make like a machine like I have on the SMP. And then the speed of how things melt down isn't as bad. It's a black opal up here. Okay. Where? There's a bombing knight. Please do that. Yeah, I don't think it's a, a hurtful thing for the game. Oh, it was upstairs. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Do I go and get that? I mean, Black Opal is quite important. Normal difficulty dungeon. Hmm. That might be worth it. We still need another monolith. There's another Black Opal. I gotta put some stuff away, though. dungeon is it it's goiners no nope. we'll be good for the champion kill but yeah we don't need coins add wall stone to void uh i kind of <laughs> i wanted to keep the wall stone <laughs> to build with it but <clears throat> yeah it should probably be voided we do need the chipped wall stones though so there is purpose in in what we're doing chipped wall stones is our Main thing we need to continue to collect in arcade mode. Add chromatic iron. Yeah, I skipped the blowpole. I skipped the blowpole on top. Probably a bad idea. Probably gonna come back and haunt me. Actually, I should probably go back and get it. Yeah, I should probably go and get it. I probably have time to complete. Iskal, do you think, uh, don't you think breaking the chest kind of removed the excitement of opening a chest and seeing what's inside it? Yeah, so that was one of my main gripes, Lothar. But I think we made a good job in making sure that the excitement is there. So here are the things we did. We made chests slice when you open them for that exact reason. You see the items travel towards you with your magnets. Now, granted, this is a pretty fast uh, occurrence. Like, it goes pretty quickly. Thank you, Dylan, for that. Three blowpulls, worth it, 100%. Uh, it goes pretty fast, but uh, then what we did was we added a pickup notifier. Bottom right-hand corner. So you see what comes towards you. You see what you pick up. And then we added chest sounds uh, to 
display the rarity. And we kept all the looting sounds, the little plop sounds that Minecraft makes, right? Um, lastly, but not least, we also made sure to color code things so that your brain starts picking up what's rare and what's good to pick up. I think all of those things together outclasses. Yeah, yeah, I went there. I went, I went to outclasses. All of those things together outclasses the uh, thought of looking at an inventory with a gray border with all of the things around it. Uh, and I feel like I feel like too many mod packs. Person, this is a personal opinion. Too many mod packs make use of UIs. Like like the whole game is just a UI. Now don't get me wrong, UIs are good. I do not share the sentiment that I believe Vasky had, the Botania creator, in saying that UIs ruin the game. I don't think so, but I think some UIs are good and I think it's exciting. But anything that you can do that doesn't require management and for the player to feel like, oh, there's a lot of work to sit here and look at all of this, is good. And I think the chest looting is a perfect example of where we took something that is so UI-based like this and we made it more exciting. So that's why I'm going to I'm going to stick with my guns and say that I think our system outclasses uh the uh, the normal looting system in Minecraft. And and you know keep in mind that looting in vanilla Minecraft is not a thing. It doesn't exist in the game. You don't actually you can't actually argue that oh I love looting dungeons or or sorry. Are they called dungeons? Yeah, I love looting spawners in vanilla Minecraft. I don't think anyone would say that. <laughs> it's like you know, it's not exciting because they don't have these items that makes it exciting. Uh, maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's, you know, you can argue that, okay, I've just started my new world. I happen to come across a spawner. And when I opened my chest, I got like, whatever you can get, like a saddle. And that was good because now I can ride a horse. But then you have that. Now that's a permanent. It's something that you have. And you don't have to worry about. What about end cities looting? Yeah. So that's, so, so like end busting on the Hermitcraft server is fun with Mumbo because of two reasons or with friends because of two reasons. You're doing it in co-op. So you're actually hanging out with a friend and there is an economy on Hermitcraft where you sell elytras. So it's like an excitement that you, you're building a business or you're doing something else. But to be honest, like. Unless you're very bad at the game, you will never need more than max two elytras in a playthrough of Minecraft, right? Because mending exists and stuff like this. Like, you're not going to lose your stuff. I don't know. I just feel like like the slicing of chests and our chest looting is more exciting than opening an inventory. I like mineshaft loot, but not for the excitement, more for the adventure. Yeah, I can, I can, yeah, I can, I can vibe with that for sure. Like, uh. It's excited. It's nervous. It's a bit scary in Mineshaft. Like uh, Mo Yang did a great job of making Mineshafts feel like they are, they're quite difficult, right? You got poison spiders. You got cobwebs to get stuck in. Uh, you got the whole sense of getting lost, right? Um, so I, I kind of agree with that sentiment. I'm a hardcore player, so God apples from spawners always makes me excited. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I mean the notch apples, um, are obviously extremely good for hardcore. I'm talking from a non-hardcore perspective, though, because personally, I don't like hardcore Minecraft. I think hardcore Minecraft is a... Um, like, if, you, if you're a hardcore Minecraft player, why are you playing vanilla Minecraft? To me. It's a clash, because I feel like there isn't enough exciting things in Minecraft to make it time for me. And that's weird, I say that, maybe, because I've, I've created Vault Hunters, and it's all about, like, the risk and reward. But in vanilla Minecraft, I don't see that risk being, uh, or the reward being there. So why, why, why do I want risk? If I play vanilla Minecraft, I want to hang out with friends and chill. I want to have a casual experience. I think. Do some fun pranks and all that. All right, to all of those of you who gambled wrong and said that, like, okay, I thought that it was based on what you found in that vault. I'm pretty sure that we got enough to make a knowledge star just out of that vault. But let me just confirm that. Um, but yes, yes, we did. Pag! Let's go! Hell yeah. Look at Waystones. Congratulations, believers. 
That was a good vault. And then do we have enough to make another one? Let's go! We do. We do. Do I need another one right now? Uh, not for the quests. What could I take? What could I take? Go into drawers. I don't think I can afford having a drawer system yet. This currently will only give me the stack upgrade. Uh, which isn't actually a bad research because I do want to go to double parts as well. Maybe we get a compass. Yeah, let's get a compass. Ah, oh, it's netherite though. Brrr, it's netherite, isn't it? Uh, simple storage networks. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad shout either. If you make a proper drawer system though, you don't need simple storage. Don't get me wrong, like both of them are good connected as well. I don't really need a compass either, as long as I keep track. But it's a time saver. Let me think. Wait, let me let me think about the knowledge. Actually, I don't need to make the decision just yet. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Hmm. A magnet. Magnet switched off. Vanilla immortality. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Rest of them are pretty bad. Oh, Bonnie's mod. Work in wonders. Um, put that in there. Put this in here. Oh, we gotta claim this. Four blowpulls from that as well. Alright, did I just get 21 extra? I think so. Yo, a rare chest plate. With some item quantity, lack of one armor. We'll switch. We won't switch to that though. Um. How do I remove this show tags? It's annoying. If I do that, then it's fine. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> Just tune in and what I'm seeing is a fort. Fort 2.0. No, it's not quite. It's not quite. We're running arcade. Uh, we did lose out on some stuff here, actually. Some vault essence and things. So maybe what we do now is we get that elytra. We go and mine. Uh, we, we make our waystones first. Then we go mine. And then we could potentially remake our backpacks a little bit. So we don't lose out on stuff. Oh, we got three mystery eggs there as well. Okay. What's this? Garbage. Right, let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think. 99 chromatic iron. We don't need a lot. We just need one vein. So let's make a let's make a waystone if we can. We did get some chromatic steel from that quest. The bounty rather. This is Lermar, yep. We got that. Do I need two of these? Yeah. And then this is Larry Moore and that. Okay, cool. And I may actually want to make one more. Now that I think about it. Can I afford that? Am I out of Lermar? Really? Thought I had a ton of Lermar. Aren't plates cheaper? I don't actually know. Maybe they are. 
Uh, I think we can make it with this. Nope. What the? I make it with this. What is this garbage? Deep slate, polished deep. I need some. Okay, 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 okay. Need to cook this. <clears throat> More plates are definitely cheaper. That may be an oversight then. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, they are very cheap. Five layer more. Alright. Let's make some of these then. Actually, first let's make... Let's make one way stone. For home. Wait, did I do this wrong now? Do I need a waystone for home? Not really. But okay, we have a waystone. And... Then I can get back with this, but I want to have... Yeah, I want to have something down in the caves that we find. So if I go ahead and do this... And then get some polished wall stone. Do I, need, I need two of these though. What am I having the warp plates for? Because I need one in the base to make use of the warp stones. Warp plates. So I could have just made a warp stone. Oh, okay. It's just because it's cheaper, as you guys said. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like this little mechanic, by the way. It's cool. All right, are we ready then? So we go and get some... So the plan is we go and get some chromatic iron. So we can complete this quest. Uh, and then we get an elytra. And then we can get slime. Because we can fly around. Did you empty all the pouches? I did not. I may have Laramar in here, actually. There it is. Okay. Fair enough. I think I might unlock drawers, though. I feel like that's not a bad shout. But we are going to have to run some more vaults. And we're going to need to get some more chromatic iron. Because we need driftwood and we need um, chromatic iron. To make it work. Okay. Maybe we bring some scones. Do I have everything, Dylan? A colossal chest would solve everything. Yeah, I just don't like the scrolling in there. It's annoying. Also, where did I put my sickle? There's my sickle. Where's my potion? Where's my little vial? There. You go mining or vaulting. Right now I'm going to go mine for some chromatic iron. But first, we're going to take a, a five minute break. I need the toilet and I need to get a snack. So I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Actually, we're not safe here. <laughs> I might die. Uh, how about this? How about we stand here? Oh, but it's going to be so annoying if a creeper comes. What's the daylight? Bad. Wait, 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 wait. We get a nice safe house. It's gonna be phantoms as well, probably. So I'm gonna have to have a block above my head. Ah, we're in a nice box. Perfect. Me and Bumbo, and you guys. You can't see Bumbo. Me and Bumbo and you guys. Bear right back. Bear right back.
Twitch baby time, woo. I'm excited to see what's next from you and your team. Hey, Bo! Thank you so much. I was talking. Good, I was talking. I was talking, I was talking, I was talking, I was talking. <clears throat> my my stream deck, which is, uh, I don't know, Elgato, is that the company? Elgato stream deck, yeah, Elgato stream deck. I don't know what's with the buttons that this thing has, but like you press them and then they blink and you think that everything is good. Oh, now you missed my me saying that like it was the perfect timing with the uh, with the song ending and stuff like that. God damn it. Wasn't there a cave near this river that we dove into? Anyway, thank you, Poe. I was saying that uh, so far it seems pretty well received, the vault junk implementation. What should we call it, though, Dylan? Help me come up with a name that's not vault junk, because that sounds like a negative. We don't want it to sound negative. We want it to sound positive. Vault junk, question mark, says Jagger. Yep. We are on 11.2, uh, a pre-release version. It's not even on the S&P yet. Um, because I've done, like, update to the loot tables. Oh, this is where we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we went in. Vault garbage. That's also, like, negative. Vault decor. Oh, vault decor is a good one. Just, like, plainly vault decor. That's a pretty good one. I like that. Hello, friends. Just as a collection name for what they're called. But then, is that incorrect? Like, are they... Because they're not decorating the vault, per se? It's very advanced quickly when you think about these things. <laughs> Alright, so what do we need? We need... Uh, we don't need iron, but we do need gold, and we need chromatic iron. What do we need gold for? It's like netherite for something. It's the compass, if we are going the compass. Oh, to craft, but then we got a rare plus magnet, didn't we? And that was pretty bag. Iron for anvil? No, we made the anvil already. That was ages ago. We made the iron. We made the anvil, sorry. Is this actually not going down further? Oh, wait. No, that's just another noodle thing. Should we just mine and look at the minimap? I think we have enough. Enough mining speed. Sir Scala, where can I watch your amazing vods if I miss some? Smile. Uh, there is this channel on YouTube. It's a popular channel. Very good one. That I've heard about. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Is this good or bad? Like, Dylan's will have to tell you. But there is a channel. I think it's called something with, with VOD. Uh, Dylan, remind me. What is it called? Airy Berry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that must be it. God damn it. You always do this. Can never be on my side. Ever. <laughs> always have to be the berry. Oh, we need redstone. We need redstone as well. Computer, stop lagging. 
We're gonna need, I think it's one redstone block per each pickup upgrade that we're making. I mean, it doesn't hurt to get some, uh, some of the regular resources as well, but... There's gold. I saw some gold. Yeah, I think it's good that you don't get free gold from vaults anymore. I think it's good that you incentivize, like, the whole uh, Minecraft core a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. I think this patch, if it stays the way it is with iron and gold and netherite, that was clutch, uh, means that, like, digital miner and stuff like that is going to get more valuable, I think. Which is probably a good thing. We're probably a bit too generous with those things. Diamonds you can still find in wooden chest at the moment. Okay, minus thirty six. Let's just uh, let's just make a tunnel. Yeah, that was a good tunnel. Is this where we want to call our mine uh, thing and set up our warp plate? There's a mine shaft there. Yeah, I think this is good. So let's see. Warp plate goes down. Bit of nice scones next to it. Cool. Um, then we take this. Take this out. Put this in there. And now we should be able to... Go home. Pag. And that should bring us back. Hell yeah! No, uh, Vodka Lady Five is my vod channel. Of course, I was only joking around. Or Dylan's were only joking around. <clears throat> I found one redstone every single time, but there's some up there. So if you joined late, what we're doing, what we're, what we're working on right now, we're playing arcade mode, which means that we're playing infinity mode on crystals, so crystals are free, and then the loot and XP gain is tripled uh, from the default values. I'm going to take two points in Stonefall, like someone suggested. Um, and right now we're working on a bounty to get an elytra that we rolled, that we got, because we need slime. And the elytra is going to help us... Uh, explore swamps. Wow, that was a big diamond vein. There's some chromatic iron. I don't have my bucket. Hag. And we need chromatic iron for it. And redstone. Are you going to do any YouTube? Uh, run the command. Run the command. We can call it Vault access Accessories. Yeah, that's not bad either. What was the other one? Vault Decor. I like Vault Decor, though. I think Vault Decor is very nice. It sounds very posh. Yeah, would you like some Vault Decor? And it can be pronounced with two different accents. Vault Decor and Vault Decor. Oh, should we go another level in Fortunate, actually? Yeah, let's do that. Now that we're here fortuning things. I think we have all we need. I think that was enough chromatic iron. Goodbye. There's no real point in exploring this mineshaft either. Other than getting lost. No. Suggestions. Mm -hmm. Can we get a hunter spec to find dungeons or a spec to get more? Um, I think for both those suggestions, I think the answer is no. A lot of people have for a long time when it comes to treasure rooms. Oh, god damn it. you got to be kidding me. This man. A lot of people have for a long time when it comes to um, treasure doors and dungeons been suggesting um, a hunter for it. I think at that point, it's better to have them, like, it's better to say that we should increase the commonality of them. Because Hunter is weird in its core. If I were to remake Vault Hunters today, which I'm not doing, but if I were to remake Vault Hunters today, I'd probably 
not have a hunter skill at all. I'd probably find a better way of letting the player target loot. Um, and the reason I say that is because we have a skill point system and you're kind of heavily incentivized. Let's put it that way. You're heavily incentivized to go hunter for eight points. To the point where I feel like you, it's almost like... It's almost like you're lo lo losing out on eight skill points when playing the game. The only reason it's not in a terrible condition is because you can so easily respec. Uh, so you can have a build for Hunter and you can have a build or several builds without Hunter. But I don't think it brings much to the game. It's 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 exciting to, uh, to treasure hunt. It's exciting to press that button. But I think there are better ways to incorporate that mechanic into the game. Uh, more fun ways to incorporate it. So... To expand on that system that I already think is not the greatest, I don't think it's something I want to do. You could still fix it, sir. And I might. I might before we go to... Uh, before we release the uh, beta. I might very well change Hunter up a bit. Um, I never seem to be on yeah. time for your streams, but love watching your VODs on YouTube. You're a Thank great you, sir. Thanks for many good hours of content. Hashtag never ever leaving. Thank you, good sir. Actually, why am I still mining? We don't need to mine more. We can go home now and then we can just come back when we need more resources. Yeah. We got the redstone we need. We got the uh, <clears throat> gold we need. I just pressed the wrong button. Creeper bomb, no. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what what to do really with Hunter. But I don't think it's good to have a, a fine treasure doors, fine dungeons. Because it just become another thing that you have to try and remember before you go into a vault. I'm hunting for dungeons. I mean, the counterplay. Okay, so, so one thing that works with Hunter is the idea that you have to make this choice before you go into the vault. But you don't really. You, you can make it inside a vault as well. But what I mean is... You can't actively change it inside of vaults. And that's kind of cool. You have to plan for your vault. I kind of like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think Hunter is weird. He's in a weird state. Right. Anyway. Um, you, 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 and you, you, and you. Nice. And now we wait. 72 I've submitted. <laughs> Discovered you from Hermitcraft. What's up, Ethan? I miss being able to see the treasure rooms on the minimap. <laughs> I think that was... <laughs> Arguably, I mean, okay. So there are a lot of people that probably don't like the treasure hunting at all. Like you... <laughs> that was a really bad mechanic. And I remember us starting this version of Vault Hunters and we were all like, okay... One of the most important things that we... This is what we said internally. It's like one of the most important things is that we remove the... Um, the minimap uh, to treasure rooms. Like that... To me, that wasn't a very fun game mechanic. If you think fun. Like, to me, that wasn't exciting. It was like, oh, am I blind? What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know. Glowing dungeon doors, like they have torches on them. Is the Vault Suites the new junk food item? Yep, yep, yep. It's just like bread. It's just like bread. It's not a good one. Not a great one. Speaking about which, let me show you the loot tables, actually. Let me show you the loot tables. This is the wooden chest loot tables. The biggest change here... We'll catch up on vibes call as I have missed the start of the stream. Thank great you, Stevich. Great to see you back. Hope all is well, sir. Is hard. Thank you, Stevich. The biggest change here is that mod boxes have been moved to wooden chests. And as I said earlier, no knowledge right now in wooden chests. I think that's a good change. Uh, the, the knowledge, the amount of knowledge is the same as it was before, but it's targeted on living chests. So there's more knowledge in living chests now. But the biggest change is that mod boxes have been moved into here. Uh, plating is now unique for wooden chests, so you cannot find plating in ornate chests anymore. Carbon shares with ornate, uh, just like silver scrap, is now only in wooden chests. And if you want vault diamonds, you can go gilded and... Um, wooden chest so i've tried to make it so that things are shared like the base materials so for example magic silk is much more common in gilded but it's the base material of gilded so you have ornate you have gilded 
Um, you actually have two things from Gilded, and you've nothing from Living. So maybe maybe there's something here. Maybe Vault Diamonds should not be in wooden chests in the final product. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, if we take a look in Gilded chest loot tables, they look like this. They no longer have mod boxes, no longer have mystery boxes. The focus for a Gilded chest is very much the Vault Diamonds, very much the Silk and the Jewels. The Gemstones no longer drop in wooden chests. They now drop in Gilded chest instead. Uh, which I think is a good change as well. Remember, the wooden chest also has catalyst fragments uh, after level 20. You got your rare items of uh, jewels and key pieces here. These are also quite rare in Gilded. Uh, ornate. No. Why can't I click? There. <clears throat> ornate, I don't think have any big changes. It's still your source of magnetite, uh, carbon. Oh, focuses are only in Ornate now. And I suppose a big change is that you get nullifying and wild and amplifying all on level zero now. And then fundamentals, I think, come in on level 20. No, 30. 30. Chaotic comes in on level 50. I think it used to be 65. And then waning and waxing are still 65. Oh, repair course. Yeah, repair course is a new thing in ornate chest. A rare loot in ornate chest after level 20. Uh, and then living chests... Living chests, uh, the big boy items here is the inscriptions and mystery eggs. Inscriptions start coming in at level uh, 30. Might move that to 20 since they're in completion crates. Uh, 20, I thought it was 30. And uh, of course we got all the new vault junk items. The burger parts have now been fixed. They were wrongly configured in the past to where as you leveled up, you would get an overflow of patties and, and burger buns. And it didn't follow the progression of the ingredients uh, in a very good way. When I designed the system, I wanted it to be a thing that you trade with others. I wanted it to be like, oh, do you have any cheese? I'm out of cheese. I have a lot of tomatoes. Though. I'll give you some tomatoes for some cheese, uh, for example. But that didn't happen because you outscaled the early game loot uh, in a weird way. So yeah, those are the loot tables for now. For now, we're working. We're work. I'm working with them. So where are mystery boxes at right now? Uh, no other place than in um, uh, bounties right now, and that's only because I don't really know what a mystery box should be. <laughs> uh, I will also say that right now in my head, there's our light job, by the way. Right now in my head, I am I am considering making mod boxes better than what they are now. To the point where you will most likely get something useful. Whereas now, right... Oh, that was the wrong enchant, wasn't it? Right now it's designed to be most likely something not useful. I'd rather make mod boxes rarer and make them uh, have more useful stuff in them. That's the way I'm looking at it. Okay, we need five more emeralds though, because I do want to put looting on my sword. could I could chop down some trees and do the Fletcher stuff with a family member is there any other very good early game trading I do like rolling mod boxes uh, through because they can have Question. surprising stuff Why yeah is there a bounty yeah. to kill ghasts in the overworld but doesn't count in the nether What? What is the question? Why is there a bounty to kill a ghast in the overworld but doesn't count in the nether? Bruh. Read, read your message. Read your message. Come on. You got this. You got this. You got this, sir. Why is there a quest to kill a ghast in the overworld but doesn't work in the nether? What? Come on. Come on, Lava. We got this. We're all counting on you. No, no, I understand the message. But then you have to hope you get one really rare chance of a ghast egg. <laughs> what? No, you don't. <laughs> Lava, I love you, man. I love you, dude. 
Come on. Come on. You, you don't have to hope for a really rare gas tank. That would, that's helpful. That's very helpful. Okay, so the bounty of killing a ghast in the overworld doesn't work in the nether because it specifies in the overworld. It wants you to take a ghast and bring it out to the overworld and kill it there. It's actually a vanilla advancement. It's actually a Mojang implementation that we thought was funny to pay homage to Minecraft. It's a rare bounty. It usually comes with a good reward if you do it. Uh, and it's an achievement in the game. It's an advancement in vanilla. Um, that's very popular among like speedrunners and advancement hunters and all of that. So there's no bug. It, there's no weird design. It's just saying, okay, here's a cool advancement that vanilla has made. Let's uh, let's you know let's let's pay homage to them. Let's let's do let's do this thing, you know. That's the thought behind it. Is that okay? Does that make sense, Lava? Make some rockets. Mm -mm -mm. Do I upgrade dash one more time now that I have an elytra? Yeah. I should have taken heal. That does make sense. I like it now. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> What's the uh, uneasy alliance? Is that what it's called, uh, JB? JB Slim? Right, I uh, I wanted uh, I wanted looting my sword. That's what I was working on. Let's get a family member. Not you. You're not family. You're a lazy man. I gotta. It's gonna be sad. I gotta get one family member out of the bed. Oh no! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You. 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 Yes. Did I make a fletching table that I never used as well? I think. Pretty sure I didn't use it. Oh, I have stone for now. I gotta remember. Bag. Is that gonna be enough for like a few emeralds? That's like two emeralds. Three. Sorry, volume. <clears throat> we go home, sir. Oh, uh, we should. Mm, wait, 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 wait. I can, I can still trade with him, even though it's night time. He's gonna live in the Bamba home. I'm gonna get a phantom spawn now. Uh, fletching table, fletching table, fletching table here. Pag. Take the job. Take the thing, come on. Do they not take things during night time? Are you kidding me? I need your emeralds now. Because I need the night time, you see. How do I make uh, one of those hammocks? Is it called a hammock? Can I make... Oh, I need string. I have three strings. Stay away. Don't do the do the job thing. You won't take it during night. God dang it. Okay. Uh what are you? Rabbit? Oh, I saw the question earlier. Will have you removed rabbit hide? We will for eleven two we will remove rabbit hide from the uh, thing. Yes, sir. I need I need a spider or a couple. Over here. Nice. Two more. Sir? Still two more. Come on! Where's my string at? I'm trying to do this so that I can put looting on my swords. It's quite ironic. So that I can go and kill slime, so I can get pickup upgrades. It's all a process. All a process. Yes. Okay, that's six. That's six. Pag. 
I can sleep. Flax. Yeah, this is probably faster though. Alright, we've done that. Now we can make this thing. Uh, wool. And hopefully I'm correct here, but I think that this should make it nighttime. Take your profession, sir. Take your job. Do your thing. Does this thing make, make night time? You must hang the hammock on a pair of rope and nail. Oh no. Uh, what is this? Uh, okay. Okay. Who would have thought that String was such a gatekeeper? At this point, it would be better to just say, Okay, I, I won't have looting for this. I'll kill one more slime. Yay! More string! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Stuff! Oh, I thought I was smart at everything. Alright, at least, at least give me some of these. Yeah, 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 just put them away. Okay, pack. We can get looting on our sword. Good, 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 good. And then I think what I will do is I will pick this man up. Because, like many others, I don't like moaning uh, family members. Right, well now it's daytime, so yeah, no slimes for us. Cobwebs in your chest is three string. Did I have cobwebs still? Clutching, clutching, clutching. Oh, and we can get more string. Wait, 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 rope and nail, rope and nail. It's four. But I have a plan. I have a plan. Check this out. Mine. Okay. Okay, Pagan. Pagan. Cobweb. Because it was a mine shaft here. Let's go! Efficient string farming. Wait, there was rope in here. <gasps> We're there. We're there. Sometimes things aren't as hard as they would seem. What shader pack is this? Uh, do exclamation mark shaders. And I hope that's not just a mod only command. Okay, so U plus U. Rope and nail. Cool. And... Where's my hammock? Uh... Right, let's do this properly. Let's not build it on the back of my wall portal. It's kind of stupid. Of course we want to sleep in front of our bumbo. There's not enough space, okay. Ah! Aha! Ah! Uh -huh. Four block gap. Pag? Okay, okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Back to the swamp. Uh, and hopefully... So so what was the max Y level? 70, someone said? So this swamp may just not be good enough. Now is when we find out that it's a new moon. But hey, then I can go back, sleep, and then make it night again. Mm, think about it. So this area should be good. Hi, Iskall. Yeah, a server mate of mine keeps eating his knowledge stars in front of my face. Of course I have to partake in this activity to not seem poor. But now I have 160 unspent knowledge after having unlocked every mod. Yep. Can you please add something like SNAD 2.0 for one... For 1000 knowledge? <laughs> Do you, do you know? Do you know how much people complain that uh, automatic genius is the cost it is? 
You think I'm crazy? I'd uh, I'd be I'd be I'd be excited to hold on to your knowledge, star sirs, because uh, not to leak anything, but um, they may be useful for endgame. Oh, let's go! I swear, if you ruin it, creeper, I swear. There we go. Yeah, they may be useful for endgame. So I would uh, I would absolutely hold on to them. Okay, I should have made a bucket for that last guy, but I didn't, so... Mm, tough. Hagging, go to bed. Just that, add Draconic Evolution to the pack for $1,000 stars. Man, I'm actually I'm actually worn out of listening to people suggesting draconic evolution to Vault Hunters. And I'll tell you why. Like it may sound it may sound rude, but like, oh, but it's called people just want to add their the fun draconic mod to the pack. Yeah, but Draconic Evolution is a mod where it's all about making the player invincible. Completely overpowered. It has a very short in comparison to Vault Hunters, okay? It has a very short story arc, or, or a play arc, very very short play time, and once you're there, it's permanent. Why in the world, when we have so many hours of, like, intense long-term design, why are people so caught up in the idea that Draconic Evolution would be good for Vault Hunters? It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. I don't get what the charm is. I, I, I know it's a fun mod, but it just doesn't fit at all. Like, it, it's the complete opposite of what we're trying to do. <clears throat> there are mod packs that make it work by making it really expensive. Yeah, that's good for their mod packs, but that's exactly what Vault Hunters doesn't do. Vault Hunters tries to continuously progress the player and give the player new challenges that isn't crafting, that isn't... <clears throat> you, you know what I mean? This is what I mean. Like, like, sure, you can change the recipes for things. But now, are you really... Is that really the enjoyment that you want out of your Minecraft experience? Is give me something tough to craft. Because there are so many mod packs that have done that already. Oh, here's the challenge. It's, it's cost... It costs a lot of resources. I suppose it is in Minecraft's core to, like... You know, gather and, and save up and all of these things. But, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Draconic Evolution will never enter uh, Vault Hunters. It just won't. It just not... It just doesn't... It don't they fit. It's not a mod that would ever work in this pack. Unless they've made drastic changes since I last played D. And that's not because Draconic Evolution is a bad mod. It's because it's just... Here, I'll tell you the same thing about Astro Sorcery. Astro Sorcery, in my head, Hellfire's mod, is a thousand times... Uh, it's, very, it's a very advanced mod. It has so many good things going for it. But it would never work in Vault Hunters. Because it's kind of aiming at achieving the same thing through different paths. It just would never work. New challenges, you need more string. It's better than you need more string. Yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. We got two pickup upgrades. Yay, we did a crafting gated thing. Yay, stuff. Let's go. We're so good at the game. We're progressing. Woo. <laughs> Yay. Wait, wait. I can make sticks out of this. I can make sticks out of vault wooden chunks. Yeah, I could have done that. Could have done that. Anyway, um, let me think. What are these doing in here? What do we want to do next? Do we want to make a pickaxe? Can we make a pickaxe soon? Oh, that's a, that's a, woo! Hell yeah. That's a great thing. What if we slap this and this on the chromatic pick? Or is this, is this good enough to be like saved? This may actually be good enough to be saved to level 20. Hayley Bailey with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, sir. 
I broke Astro Sorcery in 112 and got max int health and armor, and Hellfire knows the best uh, how broken and OP his mod is. Yeah, the mod is, the mod is great. It's a very, very well done mod. Um, I think my next goal is to be able to mine chests, and maybe I am... Maybe I should just do that already. As in, maybe I should make a gilded one and an ornate one. And have three different tools. Because I don't have any good ones. What's my next quest, actually? Oh, we gotta craft a magnet. Right. Right, let's do that. Let's, let's make sure we progress in the quest line. We should be able to get some netheroids. Netherite scrap is found in ornate only, no longer in wooden chests. Uh, and netherite scrap, as you guys know, you also get from uh, scrapping gear nowadays. That is how you make netherite ingots. For those of you who didn't know. Okay, so now I have enough to make a compass. Should I go vault compasses or should I go drawers? We won't be able to afford drawers yet, so let's make a compass too while we're at it. Let's go. Let's go. So what am I doing here? I'm doing a... I'm making a magnet. In here. Nice. That's the quest. Then we gotta go through the line of all of these things. Okay. We got a rare one. Actually. Okay. I will take that. Artisan station. We need another anvil. Damn it. <laughs> Actually, damn it. I don't have enough iron. I thought I mined like a stack of iron though. Did I not? You mine like 28, okay. Just pick up iron in the vaults, good one, good one. No more, oh, pick up the anvils in the vault, true. True. Actually not true, not bad idea. Ooh. Carrots and diamonds in urns. Uh, these could drop. Yeah, yeah, we could get something good here. These can absolutely drop like a, a stack of iron ingots. Did that guy just drop a lot of cobwebs? Eight cobwebs. I really like those spawners from Quark, by the way. I think that's a very cool way of uh, making something exciting. We should probably take some learning from that for Vault Hunters. Maybe there's something we can do in the Vault that's similar. Like Fizzle Spawner. Oh, wait. We already have that. Like mob loot. Oh, wait. We have, we have that too. Question about dungeons. Are the archives only an impossible or is it just completely random? Just did a vault and was able to do four dungeons in it and only found one archive. Nice. Um, thank you so much for the tenor. Archives only an impossible? No, 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 no. Uh, archives have no relation with the difficulty of the dungeon. That's a very good po uh, question you're asking. There's no relation with the difficulty of the dungeon and archives at all. None. Um, the way it works is the bigger the dungeon, the higher the chance for, for an archive. If you want exact numbers, I think it's something like this. I think it's around 50% chance in the biggest dun <clears throat> dungeon. Now, mind you, this is not something it says to you on the screen. But if it's a large dungeon, then you have a 50% chance of having an archive in the champion room. The new dungeons are incredible, by the way. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's very nice of you to say. 
Um, and if it's a small dungeon, like the tiniest version, then I think it's only a 20% or 15% chance of finding an archive. So yeah, it, it depends on the size of the dungeon. The thought process there is that you spend longer, you take more time to explore and all of this. And as you do, you should be rewarded, if that makes sense. Iron pickaxe. Is that actually uh, in the loot tables here? Interesting. Very interesting. Instead of calling it vault trash, you can call it vault remnant. That's a word I don't even know. Sounds very paggers, dude. I think vault decor is the my favorite so far. <clears throat> and then we make like a we make like a tag for it. Because if it's called Vault Decor, it's not implied that you need to trash it. But of course, to handle your inventory early game, you should absolutely void it. And late game or mid game, you should you should start automating it. You should automate the Vault Decor that you don't use. You should automate to go into trash, into soul shards. Shard, shard recycling. That's the way I see it. I want to get out of this thing. Getting claustrophobic here now. Look at the map, Iska. Look at the map. Decor is a nice word, yeah. Remnant definition, a part or quantity that is left after the greater part has been used, removed, or destroyed. Ooh. Dude, sounds like a chat GPT uh, suggestion. Like the way you describe that. Yeah, remnant. Okay, so it's remaining. It comes from the word remaining, I suppose. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another day of Iskal trying to figure out how the English language works. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, smart skull? Ah? Uh, no? Okay. Good talk. Bolt assets. Kinda like string. <laughs> uh, speaking about string. Nine months. Pag. Pag, thank you so much for the nine months. For you, Thank you, good sir. I appreciate the nine months. Ah! Actually blocked the first one. God damn it, did he just re-poison me? Monk up, monk up. Destroy it! Yes. One piece of iron. Pack. There's more iron here. More iron. Noise. Do I have any blocks? I do. Okay. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's not do this. This is boring. Actually, wait, 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 this is good. Am I eating vault sweets faster than normal food? I am, right? I don't think that was originally three. intended when I asked Joe to implement them. But I think it's a good feature. It's like vault steak. Vault steak, by the way, no longer drops in chests. You have to actually craft it with vault meat now. Which, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. But it's pretty good food. I find it difficult to design interesting food mechanics in Minecraft. Vault sweets are fast? Nice. I quite I kinda like the eating speed being faster, right? Cause because they're so bad, like because they don't give you that much uh, health back, it's still an interesting thing though because you can eat two at the speed of the of one i don't know you know what i mean dylan like you can essentially have free food forever that's quite satisfying to eat i don't think it's bad that it eats this fast that's what i'm saying i got some urn urn iron i earned some iron ah oh, get it we have enough iron now Okay, I want to get into wall. I want to set up some more uh, backpack filters. I'm excited about that. Pouches, rather. Let's go home. 
They're slightly faster, uh, so just a little bit better than bread. How about a milkshake and fries to go with the burgers? Highest call. I hope Lina! you are doing well. How, how are you, Lena? It's funny, Lena, because we were we were considering what food can we add, right? And we settled on sweets because it's a nice icon that Pyder has made. Um, milkshake would have been a great suggestion. Even like chips would have been a good or is a good suggestion. Or as you say in America, fries. But uh I kinda like the sweets. It's 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 I don't know, it's like a cute thing. I don't know. It doesn't fit the burger lore, but the burgers so there's a differentiation there as well, right? You want burgers to be like your experience game and yeah. I don't know. Vault burger plus fries plus milkshake is a happy vault, <laughs> a vault happy meal. <laughs> Hellfire would love this. He loves all the burger beans. He wants to create like a burger block. I think. <laughs> My heart will always belong to vault pizza. Vault pizza. Great legs. Great legs. You and your eternal food, man. Oh, I remember vault pizza was actually a thing. Where it was like slices, right? That you got a tiny bit of experience from. It was a bad game design. My my game design wasn't Just very good. Just popped in to say hello, is Kihar. Hello, 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 hello. Um, I need to do multiple things at once here, so I'm a little bit more efficient. We need a compass. Compass, 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 compass. Where's my netherite? Hello, did I not make six netherite ingots? In guy. Pretty sure I made six days the right thing, guy. Where did I put them? In here? No. No. Oh, I put them in the forge, maybe. Yep. <clears throat> okay, compass. So we need to make this. So we need a piece of redstone. And then four volt diamonds. Yes, sir. Cool, we got a vault compass now. We are upgrading in the world. And then we are making an anvil for the quest completion. The other day when I was doing this, I had forgot the recipe for a vanilla anvil. <laughs> and I was like, that's good that I'm not live. <laughs> But I don't know what happened, like, I don't know what happened in my brain. I just couldn't remember. So I did it like, if these are blocks, I did like this, and then I think I did this. <laughs> Perhaps some vault apple pie or even peanut butter M&Ms would be good. Well, not the PB m and m But see, vault sweets is a, is, a, is a collective term for candy, right? It's a... Now you can choose whether or not you like it. If we do vault m and some people are gonna be like, what? You're gating out me as a peanut allergic? Could you please add to the accessibility settings that if I'm a peanut allergic, I can change it. So I think sweet is like, it can be so many things. It can be all of these things because they're all sweets, right? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know, Lena. World cookies, we had that already last season. Betty, we had that already last season. Okay, we completed this quest. Rerolling gears. Uh, it wants me to wild focus a piece. Do I have everything that I uh, do? I have anything that I'm okay with wild rolling? Everything gives me health, and health is quite nice early game. Not gonna lie. I don't have a hat. I don't have a hat yet. Let's just reroll this. Coins and plating. There we go. Bag. Oh, and then we're gonna need lava. Recycler. Uh, more netherite. Did I have less than three? You sir. Do I have any more scrap? I think I did. Thank you, Az. Thank you, sir. What is this girl doing? I don't know, oh, wow. dude. 32 months already. I don't know. I'm trying to do 50 things at once. It's not great. 
That's how you do netherite ingots, by the way. It's the only way. I do a new thing every single time. Okay, I still have that. I do need two more of those. Carbon. Carbon. We're actually looking pretty healthy right now on the chromatic iron. So that's good. From zero to hero on that. I've got more in here. No, not in there. In here. Yeah, first. And then we're going to redo our filters. I got an idea for what we can do. That should satisfy everyone. Okay, need a bucket. Man, was it a good idea to do waystones, Dylan? Ten months pog. Waystones are nice. They're nice. I'm not done waystones this early in any of my personal playthroughs. This is... That's a skeleton. Place too OP. It just makes it feel better as well. You're like not as stuck. Complete any vault. Um, I don't know if I... Yeah, I guess 10 minutes I can take that. So we've done that. Vault recycler. We can start sending the gear to uh, gear Halla. Goodbye. Gaining more experience, craft a burger. I like the addition of quests. It's kind of cool. Howdy, 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 sir. Thank you. And we can complete that. Oh, we got elixir vaults now. Right. Hell yeah. So we're doing an elixir. Good, 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 good. Vault rock. Adi, 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 adi. What's up, Texan comrade? How are you doing, sir? We still have an anvil. Yep, we have an anvil there. Hopefully it won't break. Nice. God altars. Okay, we got a task. We're going to do a god altar inside the next vault. This is also another system that we are still looking to rebuild is the favors. I know Great Lakes didn't like that because I think Great Lakes was chasing. Chasing success with Tenos. But the god altar system right now is really bad. Okay, so a few things we want to do. Um... These don't fit together. Okay. Sajing. Let's make a gilded miner. No. No. Let's just loot manually. A little bit longer. Um, let's set up our backpacks. So, what I'm thinking is... <clears throat> empty this junk. Crap. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. 55 cobwebs. The string quest is solved. I win the game. Yay. Winning the game. Okay, you can go here. It's a lot of chromatic iron. Nice. Um, okay, <clears throat> so let's change this up. Let's change up our scrap filter. We also, when do we get scavenger? Is that level 20, Dylan? So we don't need a scavenger bag just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our full, fully junk. This is only going to be junk nowadays. So we're gonna remove this, this, this. Diamonds? No. Uh, I mean, we should have left them in there. Yeah, so that's the vault de decor. And then I think it's fine to have Bolo en enchanting in here. God damn it, there. It's probably also okay to have all the focuses. I don't think we're going to get more than a stack of focuses. 
for quite a while. Let's think about everything we won't get a stack of. Vault Diamonds. Um, bounty Pearls. Uh, scrolls, Chess Scrolls. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Okay, cool. Gemstones, yep, that's good. Regret Nuggets, good shout. Anything else? Soot? Oh, is Soot not in here? Soot is not in here. I don't know how to pronounce Soot, by the way. I'm just kind of winging it. <clears throat> Apples. Apples is a good shout. Yep. They're also not important if we do void. Two more things, Dylan. Come on. <laughs> You're pronouncing it right. Knights! Vault Essence. Nah, we did actually void Vault Essence. Maybe, vo uh, maybe Vault Stone. Maybe we do this. So we are currently fortuning Vault Stone. So what if we do this? Uh, what if we save only one stack per Vault? And then we do a Chipped Vault Rock. Because like, if we're getting a stack of Chipped Vault Rock per Vault, then that's probably fine. Cool. Then that can be our Junk Filter. It's not just junk, but it's things that won't stack. Okay, and then in here, set the pickup to match backpack. Now we need to do, this is going to be the double one. So carbon, we want to leave some space in this basically. Carbon, uh, essence, uh, scrap, like silver scrap. Netherite scrap can go in here. Magnetite. Nuggets. Vault nugs. What else? What else? What else? What else? Maybe burgers. Uh, cheese, I think, is level 10 actually now. So that, that can go in there for now. Where are the buns? Where's my patty? Bun. I love the bun texture, by the way. It's so good. Chromatic nugs are no longer in uh, vault loot. Um, we may want to put gems in here, or we put that in the next one. Yeah, let's put the gems in the next one. Hunter's Iron Poisonous Mushroom are going to be removed from loot tables, or have been removed from loot tables. Knowledge Essence, of course. So we want space to overflow here. So I think this may be good. Plating. Plating is a good one. Damn, I need a I need a I need to pee. Driftwood. Diamond nugs. Did I leave that out of the other one? I think I did. Dust is no longer in. Focus is in the other one, because the argument is that we won't get overstacked. Bronze. Bronze goes in here. Okay, that's that's we can't do more now because we're gonna overflow. Cool. And then the last one can be the gems. Match backpack. So Larry Boys, Benny Boys, Alexandrite, Pain, Blopol, uh Butodai, and all of the pretty ones. Cool. You forgot mystery eggs? Okay, let's put that in here then. That is true that I forgot them, by the way. Thank you. Eternal souls? When do they come in? Are they not in loot tables at the moment? That's weird. I'm pretty sure I, I had them in loot tables. That's probably good then. Wait, that's gonna that's gonna kick me when I get to the spirit extractor. I'm gonna have to cheat in a, an eternal soul and a mushroom actually. 
when I get to that quest. Because right now they're not in loot tables. I plan to remove them because they don't have proper use. Eternal Souls, I may not remove. Oh, Vault Meat we haven't done. Mod boxes are level 20 plus. So, yeah, eventually. Mod boxes. Okay, I, I'm I'm annoyed at myself because I did forget to add one thing that's in the game to uh, Vault Decor. So I'm going to cheat it in and show you. In Living Chest, there is a rare chance, this is like a rare drop, to get Vault Moss. This stuff here. And what this is, is again, it will have Soul Shard value. Um, but it is a, it is a glowing moss. And I believe if you get a bit lucky when you place it down, you can get flowers in this as well. It's a little bit too much. Oh, there we go. There's a flower. And you can build it up. It's a really nice decoration block. I feel like the, the animation is a bit too quick, though. I think that it should be like this much longer and then pulse up. But yeah, that's a, that's a rare vault decor. All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. I think we got a good uh, setup here. We will probably find something obvious that we've missed, but that's okay. Um, since I have that pickaxe, I might just as well chuck like one of the chests on it. Yeah, let's just do the gilded. Sir? Is the dual cutting station in here? Oh, it is. It's the next quest. Because that's probably a decent one to try cutting once. Let's just chuck this on it then. Or Nate. There we go. There we go. And then a shovel. Shoveling. Nice. This texture, man. Uh, let me also do this. Nice shelf for my thing. Okay, 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 okay. I think we're good to go. Wonder if we want elytra strats. Don't need a bucket. We need more sweets. Eating sweets. Cool. Alright, just going to the to the loo real quick. I'll be right back. Hello, Mr. Iska. Okay. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna use our Elytra. Um, we don't have a helmet though, so we're getting a bit fragile. I also think that it's now worth to go piercing javelins. So we can pierce three targets. I think that's probably worth it. Let's gamba for completion. Will we complete elixir? Yes, no. Go. <clears throat> Baker, what's up, dude? 
Thank you so much for the 20, 31 months, I should say. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. And right, we can break our nate chests with this thing. Yepers. We should probably enchant it, but I don't have the emeralds for it. Oh, do I trade with my guy? Do I need efficiency to insta-break chests? I actually, I genuinely don't know this. Come on, man. Keep slipping. Two more. Give me wood. Ah, uh, there. Don't run away, sir. Don't run away. 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 Nice. Did it. All right now, you can go back in your box. I love the simple villager mod. Or easy villager mod. Um, need efficiency 3 or higher, okay. Okay, screw the unbreaking on that. What about coin piles? Do I need efficiency on that too? Or can I go with unbreaking on this? Ah, uh, let's just add it. It is weird with bounties, because bounties should have a pretty high chance before like level 20 to give you emeralds as a reward. But I haven't seen it in this playthrough, and I didn't see it in my other playthrough. 87% uh, believe in the completion. Bag. Don't have that hotkey. Okay, let's go. Silk touch for gems? No, I'm not going to mine gems with it. Elytra strat? Yep. I think it's going to be a little bit scary because we are, it is level 10, it is on hard, we, are, we don't have a vault helmet, but it's fine. It's fine. I may switch. I'm not going to do what Tango does and switch every fight. I don't want to micromanage. Nice ladge spike here as we enter. Game. Okay, it's getting quite ridiculous. Did I actually crash? Nope, there we go. That's crazy. Why was that such a big lag spike? It's a brand new world. Easy. N nice. Thank you for introducing me to the fact that there are trap chests in the vault. In the most handsome of ways. <laughs> Toxic. Is my magnet on? Yeah. We forgot sweets. How did we forget sweets? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay. I had sweets in there, I thought. The loot is looking a lot better. We also forgot magic silk apparently. I also thought I'd put that in. But yeah, the loot is looking a lot better. Choice flask as well. Rotten meat? What is going on here? How much did we forget in this in this backpack? <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Um Get rid of you and you put you and you in there. What did I get rid of? Gemstones and regret. Nugs, right? <laughs> this was my third one I did. Retnugs and gemstones. No need for the chest scrolls. Ah! I think they're good in there. Okay. Okay. Hopefully better. Hopefully better. I don't like this theme, by the way.
And I'm not just saying it because I've got creepered a few times in here. It's too orange. And now shulky shells aren't in a backpack. Dungeon up top. Oh, I thought that was a treasure door. It would be good to find some ornate stuff, honestly. Or some gilded. Find some more jewels. Make a make a better tool. But really what we want to do is just uh, work for completions and level up so that we get better tools. Because we're playing in arcade mode, it feels a bit wasteful, probably, to uh, build a super tool at this level. The tables are looking so good, though. Where was this dungeon? Ah, never mind. Let's go. I think it's an Ashim door. It looked like a piglin to me. Okay, fair. Still don't have heal, by the way. The forced skill to take. Oh, that's a hammer jewel. Nice. Perfume door. Why is Shocking doing an AoE? That's that makes it way stronger than I thought it was. I'm not complaining, I think it's probably good. Hope you are doing well as you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Clutch. I did a not so clutch uh, Elytra landing there. But that's okay. I saw you. Oh, we're almost done with Elixir. <laughs> Pag. Should I just keep going? Not go down in that room? Oh, Puffium, Apaline, I'm sorry. I, I, I get them confused. It's kind of sad because we haven't had Puffium the entire season. Oh, we can do the coins! Dead Pine, Dead Pine, what's up my dude? Thank you so much for that mega raid, sir. Welcome raiders. We're doing an arcade playthrough today. Um, and, a, and a sneak preview of uh, what's coming in 11.2 because I'm in my dev instance. So we got Vault. We gotta we got settle on a name now, Dylan. We gotta settle on a name, seriously. Vault Decor. That's it. That's it. We're calling it Vault Decor. Hope you had a good stream, Mr. Pine. I wouldn't mind a pilot, a healing pilot. But yeah, I'm trying out... The oh, this is death for us. Oh, we have a potion, though. This is bad for me, though. But yeah, I'm trying out the new uh, loot tables as well as just enjoying the arcade version. With uh, infinite crystals and mega loot. It's quite fun. <laughs> it's like I'm some weird game critic. It's quite fun, actually. Mm -hmm. Remnants is better. Yeah, you're probably right. Vault Remnants is a little bit broader, and that's not a bad thing. Because for one person, it may not be uh, uh, decor at all. Great podcast, good sir. Really excited for all the ideas and updates, and if you have ever won my thoughts while talking Sky Vaults, I would be more than happy to share my time. Thank you, Dead Pine. 
actually haven't uh, talked much about Sky Vault, but there are some uh, there are some changes already in 11.2. Some people have spotted some hints in this stream. Um, but yeah, I'm actually parallelly working with improving some things in Sky Vault already. It takes a lot of time and work, and it's only me working on it right now. Tango, who used to help me with these things, has been very busy the past few weeks. I haven't actually spoken to Tango in weeks. Mr. Greg. <clears throat> um, so when it comes to the Jason, I'm, I'm a one-man show at the moment. Sag. This got lonely. True. But yeah, um, I've identified a bunch of things that I want to do, make better with Sky Vaults. I mean, Sky Vaults is like in an alpha of an alpha right now. It's like, I really wanted it out for release, mostly because of how inspired I was from your playthrough, Dead Pine. Um, but there's so many things, there's so many things we can make to make it better. Busy with napping, yep, yep, that's, that's, that's the man. That's Mr. Frags. Is there more room? Do I wanna... Do I wanna go for some ooring? Oh, it's not an ooring. I knew that. I yeah, missed the baby, yep. Missed him again. Tag. But yeah, the, the access to early looting with this backpack Still change pouch change is insane. Stream. Hope all is well. Thank Hashtag you, sir. Never, ever leaving this car. Thank you. Right, the goal actually, the goal actually is to get a, a drawer system up. That's what the goal is. And for that, we're gonna need a lot of driftwood and a lot of chromatic. And I'm just thinking about it, like having removed some of these things, like gold, iron. Um, Chromatic iron, having removed them from loot tables inside walls, incentivizes us to add things like we could actually add like a gold ingot reward for bounties now. You know what I mean? Like like vanilla stuff, at least in early game bounties, are actually gonna be valuable. Which would make the game a little bit more fun, I think. Did I not take a bounty? Oh, okay, hold on. That's better. Dungeon back on the left. I will check. You guys are really addicted to dungeons, huh? I will admit, like, I haven't played enough dungeons yet to know their power and strength. But everyone seems to love them, so that's fantastic. I've just heard some of the SMP members thinking that they're way too, like, wrongly scaled. Too much HP sponging and stuff. But then I read some uh, discussions on the Discord. And some people were actually, they, they got the idea, they got the right idea of um, the fact that dungeons are supposed to, like, reward you for going... as a bombing night door. Supposed to reward you for going, um, like, a fighting setup, like, building your gear with, you know... Um, Strength and whatever have you, resistances, which I think is important. Just wanted to thank you for all the great content you make smile. Thank you, sir. Sir. Now I know it's just coin piles, but to the discussion earlier about like UI looting being better than than mining the chest or mining the container. I mean, look at coin piles, right? <laughs> look at the dopamine hit for mining coin piles. It's just, it just feels good. It's a nice feel. Poison, not so much though. I haven't seen a single lodestone, by the way. Monka. Oh, 
Oh wow. We're overflowing with knowledge. How is that possible? Uh, the driftwood. Hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Uh oh. What? Compact in driftwood is a 2x2 two two recipe. True, true, true. You could do that inside the walls. But so far it's not really a problem. I mean, we need driftwood, so it's good that we're getting a lot of it. But yeah, I mean, I could I could easily do exactly what you're saying. I could just do this. And then... Oh, you can't shift it up here. That's annoying. And then do that and that. And then send these back in. That is very true. I look out for lodestone. Man, I, I gotta say, I like shocking. I think shocking is quite good. <laughs> Everyone hates shocking. I think it's quite nice, actually. It's not it's not boosting anything, but it's, it's keeping them away quite efficiently. dungeon <laughs> it doesn't get old I keep getting older but knocking a minecraft mob down to their demise doesn't get older it's great Yeah, I'll argue. What is this? Four vaults in? Of course it's on extreme mode, but I'll argue that we're, now, we're at a point already where looting doesn't feel like a chore. Uh, loot management, sorry. Doesn't feel like a chore. And that's one of the goals with the vault junk and the pouch and void upgrade accessibility. Obviously those have the main impact for it. And that's great. And that's a load stone. Hell yeah. Not the plumber. Hag. That's a dungeon. Okay, we'll check it out in a second. That's a champion, and I don't have any mana. Hell yeah, good timing. Speedy boy. We got a rare vault sword there. And we just gave this looting crap. Jewels, jewels, jewels. Be an ornate, could be smelting. <laughs> I 
Right at the ornate PY. Okay, I got you. I got you. I'm just clearing the room. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. Because there's a completion here too. So. It fits. Come on, get a chaining sword. Yay! Chaining sword! Let's go. 23 months. Where is it? To the right of. Oh, there. Zombie. It's a small one, too. Oh, and it's ornate. I'm not going to be able to do this, though. I think I might get one shot here as well. Cheese it? No. I just want to see how much damage I deal. Uh, if I slow play it, I might be able to kill these two and snag those ornates. I think I'd get one shot though. They're just dumb. Attack speed on this sword is good as well. And the chaining definitely helped here. Why are they getting so knocked back? I thought that dungeon mobs had high, had high knockback resistance. Oh, I haven't updated these loot tables yet. No! Annoying! I forgot that these are different loot tables. This is the old loot. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. Look at how ugly the loot looked. Okay, well, I mean, it's <laughs> it's good to get some chromatic iron. <laughs> what is that? Chains and the floor. I right. gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. Joe, are you still here? Could you make a note for me, please? I could just exit and and do it myself. <laughs> Good signs though, yep, good signs. I'm not gonna lie, I think Sun Metal is a nice looking block, but yeah, I'm gonna throw these away. I did not earn them legit. Bye! I know you hate axes, uh, but I love the transmog for them. Maybe make, maybe it would be an idea to make swords and axes have the exact same stats. Axes are not used at all, is uh, in my experience at least. But if they have the exact same stat, then why do we have axes? Like, then we go back to my idea of deleting axes. They actually have uh, advantages when it comes to lucky hit builds right now. So if you're a mage, you can max your lucky hit. You can get higher lucky hit on an axe if you use it to recover your mana. So that is one use case. And I do think that some people do value the attack reach. If like people who have figured out how strong attack reach is probably think they're good, but yeah, attack reach is kind of a broken OP stat. We did it though! We did it! Yay! More stuff. Lots of jewels to go through. Do it like this. I feel like I want the identification tom. But I think it's quite... What is this loot? Come on. <laughs> uh, two axes, two swords. And I got a rare plus sword inside the vault. Okay, 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 okay. These ones... Uh, we'll just chuck them. I think we got a lot of stuff in that vault. We looted over 100 chests, I thought I saw. Maybe we have enough for another knowledge star. Let's get the gear first, though. Time to unlock heal. Yeah, I should probably have a level in heal at least now. And both axes were rare. The swords were scrappy. Nice. Okay, well we have a we have a scrapping machine now. Oh, my first faceted focus is a chaining faceted focus. That's pretty nifty. 
Okay. Cool. <clears throat> I like axes because I feel like it fits my playstyle. I use very high damage chaining axes and one shot mobs. Yeah, I think the problem though is that the base damage of a sword is the same. So like... But yeah, we, we may move back to having axes have higher base damage. We may move back to that. I still haven't <coughs> really made up my Sad mind. Very last one on the VHS MP Sag. Lying? It's a liar in my chat. Is there a liar in my chat? <coughs> can someone tell the liar? I haven't looked who it is yet. But can someone tell the liar, the bleb, to... Uh, uh, that is going to get banned in Barry's chat. Because lying is bannable in Barry's chat. <laughs> What's up, Barry? <laughs> What's up, sir? Now, uh, check it out, the vault. Uh, come on, Dylan. Come on, Iskal, remember. Vault remnants. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vault remnants. Barry doesn't know about the vault remnants yet, actually. We're playing arcade mode, and uh, it's really fun. And Vault Remnants is the new loot that replaces, like, uh, sticks and scaffolding and all of that garbage. These are some of the products of the Vault Remnants that you see o over here, Barry. They're very nice. These two. These as well. Mm, it's really good. And now, I'm going to reveal the thing that, I, that, we, that we will change the stone cutter recipe for. I'm going to need to cheat these in. We did some work also with vault stone. Check this out. You can make vault stone bricks. You can make vault stone pillars. Cracked vault stone bricks. And that's it. And then the stairs and the slabs that you saw earlier. Ah? Uh? Ah? Uh? Not bad? Not bad. And they work as a vault portal material. <clears throat> I would build with nothing else ever. <laughs> this is dead fine. <laughs> Bag. Do I have two? No, I don't, I don't have two knowledge stars yet. I don't. I do think that we are getting a healthy amount of driftwood now, though. So, um, what else overflowed? Magic silt definitely overflowed. Good shout to have it in here. Looking good. Thank you, Pika. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Yeah, the loot tables feel really good. They, they feel like, like you can manage now with the void upgrade, with everything, the changes we've done. Uh, did anything overflow that we don't want to overflow? No, but 44 volt diamonds is a lot. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yo, Dead Pine, did you see the Gilded Bricks? I suppose you didn't. There are ornate bricks and Gilded Bricks as well. Let me show you. The Gilded Bricks are probably my favorite, I think. I love them. The only thing I don't love is that, for some reason, Joe named them Dull Bricks. So now I feel stupid if I use them. <laughs> but yeah, we got the ornate bricks and the Gilded Bricks. Hmm. Gamba is called. Yep. Sorry. 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 Com congratulations, believers. Uh, okay. 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 But if you want a full demo of all the vault uh, complements, no. God damn it. What is it called? Supplements. Vaults. No. Remnants. Yeah. 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 If you want a full uh, demo of the remnants, then um, go and check out the beginning of this vault. Um, still don't have a vault helmet. Pag. Reminiments. Should I make pillars for ornate and gilded as well? Yeah, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. Are you asking me if the sun is hot? Well, it depends on where you are in the world, I think. 69 or hammer's eyes. Um, still no nice chest ones. 
feel like I do need to sit down with Tango before 11 to 2 drops because I feel like we can do more with bounties. Early game like emeralds, uh, even vanilla stuff like gold ingots, iron ingots, now have value early game in bounties, I feel. But okay, let's do this. Let's drop two points in heal. And then we could honestly start playing with like smite here if we wanted to. Uh, but we could also take another level in haste or what uh, strength or one level in haste. I like to have a level in haste if I start doing um, wood wooden chest mining. Maybe we go one eighty though. No. Like my free free mana javelins. Just craft a helmet, this girl. I could do that. I could do that. But then I'm gonna find one, and then it's gonna be like, uh, why did I craft one? Uh, no, what I'm gonna do now, though, is we're gonna get this out. Benny boys. These. And. Vault diamonds. <clears throat> And let's get the uh, drawers. Because I think drawers are, are great. I think drawers is a great early game system. I'm just curious as to how many we can craft. So before we do that. <laughs> before we do that next step. We need to go and... Oh, I don't have emeralds, man. Emeralds... Brrr, the emerald supply sucks. We need to go mine. We need to go mine some trees. Is it enough if I just make a diamond pickaxe or diamond axe and not enchant it? Because I have vein miner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. Check this out. Check this out. We use these. We do this. We get rid of uh, a heat level. And we go 32 blocks. Pack. And then it would be nice if I had any spruce things, because then we can do this very efficiently. Get these. We're playing arcades, we don't need bones either. And I do have spruce supplies, hell yeah. Mine a tree, chop some iron. Mm. Change diamond caves to emerald, cap up. Uh, I think I think you're not far off the truth of what I want to do eventually. Um, I might just as well say it. Like, there is a plan. There is a plan. And the reason I've been working on Sky Vaults is because I do have a plan of making... Um, of making Sky Vaults or Raw Vaults part of regular Vault Hunts. I think I've said that somewhere. And what I want to do is... I want to make it viable, a viable thing for you. To go into a raw vault or resource vault and farm things. I want to make that a thing of the game. Because I think it's fun. Right? So you want to go mine some chromatic iron. But you could go caving. Or you could, you know, hope to come across chromatic iron cave. You said this before. Yes. Yep. That's what I thought. And I think that's going to be fun. I think it fits the game at this at this point. Oh, crap. Not quite enough. Did I kill anyone's ears again? Or are we were we fine this time because I lowered the volume? It's still loud. That's a 9%. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. The hat and clocks, how you doing, sir? It's so dark. I don't want to lose my supplies. Actually, that's not legal. Ew. 
This caller have been watching your channel since HC season five. Hell you yeah, plastic fantastic. Keep up the great work. Thank Hashtag you, sir. Never ever leaving. Thank you, amateur queen. Appreciate that. Thank you. Are the black bones removed from living chest? Yeah, yeah. The black bones are removed. <clears throat> if you want to farm them for decorations, then you'll have to uh, make a wither skeleton farm. I'm pretty sure, at least. I actually didn't look into it, so it's a good it's a good checkup. But I'm pretty sure that uh, wither skeletons do drop the withered bones. Like we never disabled that. Uh, if you want them for decorational purposes. For bone, bone meat purposes though, I think that our mechanic is better, like a worse bone, this mossy bone that you get. It's still bone meal, you can still get it from the vaults. Because bone meal is like a very valuable resource, early game at least. And to be fair, like, you could make use of that if you... As I've said before, if you take the vault remnant stuff, the idea is that some of it should be useful, not only for building, but also for like... Like we made the wooden chunks be like uh, better sticks for burning things. Um, yeah, and then you got the bones and that, so hopefully, like, people understand that come mid-game, you probably want to make sure you automate your voiding of it so that you save the things, you soul shard a few things, you use a few things for, like, for bone meal, etc. Buff farmer in a vault. <laughs> it's such a beam at this point that when I looked into making farmer more useful overall in the game... I got shut down by the team. They were like, Farmer is great. <laughs> it's in a great state. And I, you know, I can see the charm in... I see the charm with Farmer. It's like a legacy thing. It's so good in Sky Vaults though, by the way. Right? I guarantee you that Sky Vaulters do not want me to remove Farmer. There would be a riot, man. There would be an absolute riot. That's my Farmer. I used to... <laughs> There will be stories. Stories will be written on the Leddit. They will start something a little bit like this. Dear Leddit. I was once a Sky Vault enjoyer. I used to go into my world. Learn farmer on level 1 that I got from the quest. So that I could farm my crystals. But then the evil man. Iskal man. Who was once a hermit crafter. He was once a very nice Iskal man. Deleted it. He removed it. And now I am forced. Months and counting. I am now everything is okay with you. I'm now Lesson three hashtag never ever leaving. I'm now forced to play Draconic Evolution. That's the guy. That's gonna be the guy. It's gonna be the guy. The sad reality is that that, that will absolutely 100 percent happen. And it will be Barry's alt account on Reddit. It wouldn't even surprise me if it was his main account. It would, like, legit... Let's do one more of these and then we're done. It would legit not surprise me if he did with his main account. Thank you, Callum. Thank you so much for the nice words. It's called Add Project E to Vault Hunters. This guy. I hope, I hope that people who are saying this is just trolling and actually are not that dumb. I mean, uh... <laughs> yeah. I meant what I said. <laughs> I meant what I said. Every single word. Of course, Kek. Not serious, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm saying that because there was actually this petition thing going on. If it was on the Discord or if it was on the Reddit about Project E specifically. But I think, I think it's a generic... Isn't it a generic meme in the modern world? Is that what it is? And I'm just like uninformed. Is there a generic meme to like add Project E to every mod pack that doesn't have it? What the heck is Project E? Project E is one of the dumbest but funnest... Uh, it's like, it's a very dumb mod because it like counters every other reason to play the game. But it's also very fun. Like it, it can also be very satisfying. I've played mod packs which has had Project E implemented in the correct way. Basically what Project E is. Uh, on its own, it's a mod that has like a table. Uh, it comes from a mod called Equivalent Exchange, I believe. It has a table, right? And then it's like, okay, here's your, uh, here's your, um, 
craft this table and like by default the table is quite expensive we're talking a couple of obsidian blocks we're talking like a diamond <laughs> w you know you know expensive in the in the average minecrafters eyes oh i can't get this without playing the game for seven minutes i'm turning this game off and i'm gonna go play roblox instead that type of expensive and then you take any item in the game any item at all and you put it in this table and now the table will learn how to make this item so let's say you put a diamond in it okay so you put a diamond in your project a table and now you have to provide it with fuel to to make diamonds and what's fuel well every item has fuel so you can just make a cobblestone farm one farm and you can craft anything based on it so you put cobblestone into your table and if you want more fuel, you just make a faster cobblestone farm. And now you've made all the farms in the game. Boom. Done. It's done. It's the, you, play, you've, you win. Like, the game is won. <sighs> it's, it's, it's a very dumb but fun mod. It's, it's also what inspired Soul Shards. Um, so it works with the same mechanics as Soul Shards. So I don't... It's not like a bad mod. It's just... Yeah, it must be a meme that people are suggesting it for mod packs in general because any mod pack that has progression, the mod the progression is just gone, right? It's just like, oh, so you don't wanna you don't wanna make the player build different things. Okay. Pack. Baggers. Anyway. It's the 100 percent creative mod mod. Yeah. Yeah, Joe is not wrong. Uh okay. What are we doing here? Drawer? We're making spruce drawers. Oh, I shouldn't have made spruce. We don't need that much spruce. We need <laughs> a skull. A skull. What I do need is coal. Or we can use the wooden chunks. I wanted four stacks of this to get going. So this has a smelt value of two. This has a smelt value of eight. Okay. Oh, there's the emeralds that I'm looking for. There's the god dang emeralds. Come on, man. We need to... I need to look over the early game bounties. I think before level 20, bounties should not give uh, vault ingots. Vault ingots is just a dead... Am I, am I right here? Vault ingots is dead early game. So it's like vault diamonds and chromatic steel, maybe. Chromatic iron, yes. But, like, the loot pool for early game bounties could literally be diamond, emerald, chromatic iron, uh, gold ingots, iron ingots, netherite ingots, elytra. Yeah, all of these things that are, like, early. Important for early. Because otherwise, you're just looking at it, you go, it's like, ugh. I guess it gives me a task. All right, let me collect up all my driftwood and get some organization going. I need one more stack of this stuff. Also, let me go and get some while that is smelting. While that is cooking. Crap. Redstone blo blocks from uh, Bounty's early game, uh, imagine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's much better than what we have. I don't think Redstone... Redstone is, like, the easiest. Coal and Redstone and Lapis are, like, very easy to get a lot of. But even, even so, I, I think it's better than what we have currently. Maybe some slime blocks as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to it. I love decorating with slime blocks, and it's a it's an absolute pain early, before you have a slime farm to do anything with slime blocks. But the thing is, we pick up we pick up uh, things. It's like it's a permanent craft. And how many pick up things do you think you actually craft throughout the playthrough of Vault Hunters? Let's be honest, right? I'm gonna say a number. I'm gonna say that you're not gonna craft more than thirty two. In your entire playthrough. Unless you're doing something very wrong. And like dying constantly and not rebuying your backpacks. 
So, with that knowledge, that means that, like, you need 32 slime balls ever. 32 months can't believe it's been that long. Loving playing on the Blossom server in this Kalia. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, Roman. Thank you. Yeah, it is, it is weird how fast time has gone. Yeah, so my point is, like, it's it's not actually that exciting to get slime balls because you, you get excited if you need it. If you haven't gone and killed a slime, yeah, you'll get you'll get a little bit of excitement. You'd be like, woo, slime! But then you get it again, right? Because the game doesn't know. I joke around that the game knows what you need and don't need, but that's not true. Barry, I don't know if you heard this, but I've removed uh, gold ingots, emeralds, uh, everything but diamond from vault loot. So that, like, iron is not going to be a free source from the vaults anymore. You'll have to, like, farm it yourself or mine it or what, however you want to do it. I think it's pretty good. I think it's a good change. Okay, we go home. Sir, don't forget your own lore. Slime is well, a scallium. True. True lack of. True. I love slime too, yeah. Diamond is a god, uh, is an altar item. Yeah, the only problem with diamonds is that it's not like a very accessible, farmable item. That's why it's still in loot tables. But if and when I get the resource vaults in place, they're gone. Right? Diamonds are gone from normal vaults. In fact, god damn it, you make me do this, Dylan. We got some new chests that some people have seen. We got the hardened chest, we got the enigma chest, and we got the flesh chest. I'll, uh, I'll uh, cheat this in so you can see how they look in game as well. These are all uh, the new chest for sky vaults or resource vaults. I've removed wooden chests, I've removed, um, I've removed um, ornate chests, I've removed gilded chests, living chests. They don't spawn in resource vaults anymore in sky vaults. Instead, you have these chests, and I think they look they look pretty good. Look pretty good. This one should do a squishy sound. I don't know why it doesn't, but anyway, uh, you can get them as scrolls, so you can decorate with them. This <laughs> this thing this thing is quite scary. I hate the flesh chest. What? <laughs> what? What a sad what a sad statement. I'm sorry, dude. I shall look away. Um. So, the way this is currently is that Hardened Chest is the chest that has um, the main loot. Your your wooden chest currently inside uh, Sky Vaults. The Flesh Chest provides you with mob drops. Shalker shells, mystery eggs, um, slime balls, string. All of these things that are hard to get in Sky Vaults in the beginning. These are... Uh, these spawn... There's no PY system in Raw Vaults either, okay? No PY system. Instead, uh, the chests are, all of them are hardened by default, and there's a 10% chance that you get a flesh chest, and 1 in 100 that you get an enigma chest. Thanks, I hate it. Okay, what? Please tell me we can get scrolls for the new chest. Yes, you can. The enigma chest is your jackpot chest okay VH is it contains the these things at the moment your community is so amazing playing on this calium server is amazing thank you so much mind the craft thank you so much sir uh you can get a skull sensor you can get pickerang you can get the budding amethyst for sky blocks you can get the budding crystal so that you can make more sky vaults remember this is all in planning of making these accessible in a normal world it's kidnapped a uh, family member as well. That's correct. When I say they don't have a PY system, and and this is very, this is still not finished. This is still not a finished product. Do you want me to show you? Let, let's. Should we go into one? We can go into one. It's a very early uh, development, though. Very early development.
Okay. But let's just run into one and have a look around. Okay. Let's go. This is more important than sleep. Mahik. So one thing that I'm also working on is getting um, a few different theme variations in a very small way. So maybe the tough is diorite or granite instead. So they still spawn the same. Another another thing that will happen with these things. I'm just spoiling the whole thing now. Another thing that will happen with these things is that they will have no objective. Okay? They will have no objective going forward. You can't win a resource vault. That's the that's the stupidest thing with sky vaults right now. Is that you, you can just win them. You also cannot get experience in these vaults. Is the whole idea. But it's, uh, those things are not in yet. But... Let me just uh, show you what I meant with the no PY system, because some people got confused, including le Great Legs. So here are the hardened chests. They're your average resource gain. Coals and, yeah, wood chunks. And there's a lot of different items in them, so they look quite different. And what I mean with no PY system is that you won't find a PY that has just flesh chests. There's a chance that any POI can have a flesh chest. That's how it works. So it's a bit different from the POI system in that regards. And I'm just, just seeing if we can find one. It's one in ten. So they're not super rare. And of course the idea is if you're after mob loot, you don't stop. You like you like search the vaults. Eventually I also want to have like special resource mobs. So that the theme feels different and it doesn't just feel like a cave theme. Man, we're getting quite unlucky now from my original testing. I'm glad you still have objectives in here. No, you, you won't have objectives in resource vaults. That's stupid. It goes against what the vault is supposed to do. And uh, it's being super cheesed by a lot of players anyway. It's just, it's just, it's just weird. Like, I think it takes away the progression for people who are playing Sky Vaults. It kind of, it kind of makes it weird, because like, okay, so... You can speedrun by completing dull vaults. That sounds boring. Like, you should, you should feel like you're completing something proper if you complete it. So yeah. All of this is in my head state at the moment, by the way, Dylan. So I'm not, I'm not saying anything is vinyl, but this is as far as I've got so far with the development. Free gear from completions, exactly. You can farm gear that way. You can, yeah, it's just it's just weird. It's also weird that we've had chests that look like a living chest, but it's called a raw living chest. Like, it's very confusing for a new player. Here we go. So this is a living PY, right? But you can see that it's hardened chest. And there's a flesh chest right there. With a flesh chest scroll. And lots of mob drops. That's a common one as well. They're quite, uh, they're quite... They're quite nice when you find them. Enigma chest is very rare. Very, very rare. To the point where, in my head right now, the idea is that... <laughs> it should be a challenge to ever get a chest, uh, an Enigma chest scroll. That should be a challenge. See, Deadpine says that it's great. He's a sky, he's a sky block enjoyer. But yeah, Enigma chest should be like the rarest thing in Sky Vaults. In the resource vaults. Is there a way to break them? Yeah. Good question. So. Um, this is a little bit confusing. And hard to port uh, portray. So we'll probably write something in the quest. Book about this. But the way we've done it is that. Hardened chest. Share wooden chest affinity. So if you have wooden chest on your tool. You can break hardened chest. And Flesh Chest and Enigma Chest are both sliceable chests and any affinity will work. So if you have an ornate affinity tool, you can slice the Flesh Chests and the Enigma Chests. Because the reason it's like that is because I don't want the people to... I don't want to force you guys to build like a special tool for resource vaults. I just think that's a bit over the top, personally. Um, but again, nothing is final. Th these things might change. And I also don't want to have like three new affinities that are only valuable in a very tiny proportion of the of the game. These will not have strong box of rhymes, no. That's beyond the point for these. Anyway, 
I'm excited. I'm excited. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, it's gonna make the whole Sky Vault experience a lot better and a lot more streamlined. I think so. Exciting, exciting stuff. Are we gonna make a stack of these? It's probably gonna be nice to have a stack of these. Yeah. And then we want some of these as well. Fifteen. That's annoying, isn't it? Sixteen is better. Nice. <clears throat> I can't even type my question properly, shaking my head. <laughs> Can a normal vault have a resource room with resource chest? No. No, crazy. The way the way I'm looking to implement this. And again, this is this is just in my head. I need I need to like fully work this out. But I want you to in the overworld be able to find a budding uh, crystal block somehow. One of these. Maybe it's a completion crate thing. Maybe it's a bounty. You know, somehow you should be able to get these. Maybe it's a crafting recipe, a very expensive one with like an echo pog or something. Um, and then once you have one of those, you can grow the resource crystals. And if you ever want to go mining or get like loot. You can get it from the resource vaults instead of going mining in the old world. If you don't want to mine in the old world. Quest reward? Yeah, maybe a quest reward for the first one. 100 in a geode? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. It's 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 a tough thing to decide. Um, For sure. You know what I don't have? I don't have uh, a pog. In my solo uh, off-camera playthrough, I... I think I got quite lucky with a drawer controller. And I don't have the blowpole for this either. We're not super far off, I don't think. But we gotta we gotta go mining. Maybe we should make a progress quest chest. Yeah, I got two. I got two uh black op black chromatic ingots. I think I got it from a champion. Yeah, I think I got it from a champion. Is this aimed for update 12? The resource vault should be in by update 12. Yeah, the, the chests are already in an 11.2. So the loot the loot table update should be finalized in 11.2. Okay, so realistically, I don't think I want to build a drawer system and set it up before we have the... Uh, uh, before we have the stuff, before we have the controller. Just because it's not going to be very satisfying. To get it halfway done. <laughs> so we should set ourselves some goals here. We should we should try and get a drawer controller made. Um, so. How many of the Pog gems do we have? Looking for Poggers. Looking for Poggers. Looking for Poggers. Not seeing any Poggers. I know I have a few. I know I have Bombig Knight and Gorgi Knight and Apolline. There's the Gorgi. There's the Pizza Knight. Mm -mm -mm. There's the Apolline. I know there's still Bombing Knight to find at least. There's the Bombing. Uh, Okay, you know what? This 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 um this gives me a great idea. A lot of the times people say that they won't be able, they can't find pogs or whatever. And that uh, the balance is really bad. They they just can't complete a pog. They're like level 35. My answer is usually always uh, just run a vault and focus down ore rooms. Like skip everything else. So you know what? I'm gonna put that to the test right now. Um I I have a I have a theory though that killing champions is probably better. Or might be better for your first pog at least. But whatever. Let, let's let's put it to the test. Let's see how feasible it is to farm for pog materials. Right? Well, Deco is surely missing an Omega rarity egg skull. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Are you saying it's missing a, a Omega rarity? 
I mean, I see the chest scrolls as a as a vault decor thing. We have the moss in living chest that I showed you earlier. That's a mega rare. Uh, I I do like omega rare decor blocks, but the idea with the vault they're not decor blocks. What are they? Remnants. The idea with vault remnants is that you should feel like you can use them, right? Uh, okay, let me switch magnets. Let's get the copiously one we have. Pag. Oh, it would probably be good to make a hammer for this, but I don't have the emeralds. Yes, Cal, don't have the emeralds for this. I could stick trade with my main man. Oh, God damn it. Uh oh, I made a mistake. Trade with me, sir! I've overdone it. Okay, I heard you reset earlier, but there's no way you're done already for the day, right? Sir? Joe, should we make a villager, a vault villager, just for fun? That trade some of the vault uh, remnants. Is that a fun mechanic? I mean, it's like a one-time mechanic. You collect this villager, you make his workstation. So it's not like a, it's not like a fantastic thing. It's not like, wow, that's a great, <laughs> that's wow, how unique. But it could be a fun way of, of making emeralds a bit easier to obtain early game. Lol, yes. A vault, a vault villager. For what cost those still emeralds? Yeah, no, I, I mean like he should have a he should have a sale, right? He should he should One he should be able away. to trade you emeralds for some vault decor stuff. Catch you in the vault. Wouldn't it be cool that all vault uh, remnants? He could buy all vault remnants for emeralds and sell vault remnants for emeralds. Yeah, I actually think that there, there is something to that. No, he can't sell it for emeralds. He can't sell it for emeralds. Because then you can infinitely soul shards. In so infinite overworld soul shard farm. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. But the other way around. Like, like you can sell him remnants. Yeah, soul shard farming. Yeah, exactly. We can't do that. We can't do that. Uh, okay, let me make this. I'm actually... Uh, I have to do this rather quickly. That and driftwood. No soul shards. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Um. So no, he would he would buy vault remnants for emeralds. That would be his job. Like he would take these different things, and and maybe other things, and give you emeralds for it. So you can trade emeralds. You can get an emerald farm going with vault remnants. I think that would be cool. May not, maybe not all of them, but some of them he would buy. Like the scones he would buy. Because he likes scones. Why is it called a goddamn scones? Scones to me is like a thing that you eat in the morning. A scone. It's like a, it's like a, an English thing, right? It's like, oh, would you like a scone with your tea? And you go like, that would be good, yeah. I like that idea. It's like something that berry does. It's like a berry thing to have a scone. Uh, let's not use that. Let's use the picking only. That's a scone. Scones is a fancy torch. It's a stupid word and I hate it. <laughs> oh, bag. It's a stupid word and he hates it. <laughs> Alright, uh, what are we doing in a quest? Okay, God Altar. Remind me, remind me about God Altar, Dylan, when you see one. But we're going for mining. We're going to try out this theory. We're just going to go mining. Here we go. Will we, will we find all to complete a pog? Also, if we get a, if we get a champion, this is yes. Go. Ooh, mushroom theme, hmm? Tell us how you really feel as Gandalf not hold back. I hate it! When Joseph sent me a message, he's like, Oh yeah, we can make like a scones. And I'm like, 
<laughs> it is how I react normally when someone says something in his English and I don't understand what it means. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Because <laughs> sometimes I hear a word in English. I've said this before, but sometimes when I speak with someone who's English, they say something like, oh yeah, he's abracadabra, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah. And then I didn't quite hear what they said. So I make up the word that sounds similar to them. And I hope that no one calls me out on it next time I speak with an English person. In the past, that's a few times it has come back and haunt me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the same was true for scones. I just like, as, just like, yeah, yeah, man. So some scones. But I hate it. I hate that it's called a scones. It's a goddamn torch, man. It's a fancy torch. But no, Joseph is more sophisticated than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got no sophistication at all. No, no, no. God damn, Joseph, man. Another thing I would like to add to the resource rooms, I'm going to say now because I just found the factory room. I want us to build some, eventually, like, I want us to build some nice-looking weird rooms, like, out of place. Almost so that a resource vault turns into uh, a Vault Hunter 2nd Edition vault. So some of the resources that you collect are these, like, hard-to-get blocks, right? Building blocks, like, decorative blocks. So you can go in there and there, like, there's an Exuma room. There's a room for Exuma Void with, just filled with Midori. Because the man loves Midori. That's another expansion of the resource vaults that I really want to do. Petition to rename it to Fancy Torch. No, Joseph Joseph has named it. It has to be called Scones now. Because, oh, apparently that's what it's called. And Joseph is a sophisticated man out of sophistication. Should we get this uh, ornate? Yeah, let's get the ornate. So we can use our tool. God damn it, I triggered that. Oh, my. Okay, this is good. This is a Pog moment. Could be a Pog moment. It's a big boy slime, though. Holy, what the... I thought they fixed the anti-cheese. I thought Peppa fixed the anti-cheese mechanic. What was that, Mr. Slime? That's the first time it's happened. He's trying again. He's fallen down. Oh, my. Okay. 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 I see what Tango means now. We leave him. They shoot fireballs, they do, but they're not supposed to shoot them like that. I suppose because it's a slime, it doesn't feel like it can pathfind or something. I'm going back for more. Put my chest plate on. No potion charges left. He's just gonna shoot me through the floor though. It's camping. Yep, that was a shield block. I have to get down there before he tracks me. For science! Holy, he's poisonous as well. Of course he's. Of course he's poisonous. <laughs> what difficulty was that hard? But that the slime should not have shot me like he did, obviously. No, uh, doubters win. Let's do it again. Will we find a complete pog either through uh, mining the rooms or um, killing a champion? I wouldn't have done that after level 20, by the way. <laughs> Of course not. Rip my points. Yeah, I'm sorry for you guys. Sorry for you guys. That was that was harsh. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. We're not we're not we're not the strongest butter knife in the drawer right now either. We got an iron hat. We got a light trap. But still, he shouldn't shoot me like that. I think it's a slime thing. I think it feels like oh, I'm. I'm garbage at this game. I gotta jump around to get to places. Don't forget to regamba, Dylan. I gotta jump around to get to places. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this guy. I have this attack that I'm only supposed to use when Barry blocks my path or another cheeser cheeses me. But hey, I'm gonna shoot this guy in the face. <laughs> Stupid slime. There's a dungeon. Do I check out the dungeon? I'm gonna die in an extreme one. 100%. Oh, it's gilded though. Cheese. Oh no, it's still ruined loot tables. God damn it. Any jewels? 
cheeky jewel. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right. I don't want to. I don't want to explore dungeons. I don't want to explore dungeons because the loot tabs are broken or they're old. Even though I have the best pile in the game for it. <laughs> Dang it, Barry! <laughs> uh, I find that champions uh, throw bricks at me when I hit them with my sword. Uh, did you update to 11.1? Because there was a bug in the original implementation, but it was fixed in 11.1. I mean, I say that after I saw the slime treat me really poorly. He was not a gamer. That was not a gamer slime. It was a garbage slime. But, yeah. Are you standing on a... Oh, yeah. If you're pillaring up, then, yeah. Basically, the logic is this. If the champion cannot reach you because it's been blocked off or because you pillared up or whatever, it's going to use a range attack on you. It's its normal attack, but range. That should not happen if you are right next to it, though. If it can hit you melee, it should always prioritize melee. That's the that's the goal of the attack. And it's, of course, to prevent, like, the... Because champions are pretty strong, right? It's to prevent the, the super, just take it for free, do everything. Is my magnet not on? No, oh, it's just bad. Okay, makes sense. The toughest thing with Vault Hunters or Minecraft PvE is making sure that um, if the player is to, ye uh, to get the reward, they have to take the fight. That's always been a challenge. Always been a challenge for us. And while we don't want to, like... Oh, this is not normal. While we don't want to make it um, impossible to play pacifist style, like, I'm very inspired by Barry's playstyle, and I know a lot of people on the interwebs are. We want to make sure that uh, some of these mechanics requires you to, like, go a bit uh, on a combat, combat build, because otherwise those talents and skill points are just useless. And it's already, like, better to not, uh, to do a pacifist style build. It's always, uh, you can loot more efficiently. That, that javelin went straight through that ground. Is it? But yeah, uh, back to the thing before the incident. Resource vaults that also have resourceful rooms of just decorative blocks. The only bad thing with that is that it may confuse a new player, so it may be like a level 20 thing, right? Wait. It's like you just go in to mine the blocks. There would be chests in there, but they would be like the, the rooms would have. Uh, a design to them. How do you sort your, your chest like that? Uh, middle mouse button, I think, is uh, my... my I've borne it to middle mouse. I think that it's a keybind called... Oh, that was bad. Keybind called um, sort inventory or sort target inventory or something like that. Ah, here we go. All room. We're heading east. We're heading east, Dylan. Another champion? Come on. Yeah, you see, he's not he's not supposed to throw anything at me here. Because I'm fighting him legit. Pressing backwards. Four mod boxes! Bruh! That could be the solution we needed. That could be the solution we needed. I could, if, if we're very lucky. They haven't been remade yet. I 
I'd say the same. Four mod boxes. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Crabs are also very dangerous early game. I like the spiders of this team. Ooh, black opal. Good for the quest. We only got one. We need seven black opals and then we need the poke materials. The gamba is for the poke materials only. Oh my. I didn't even see him. Come on, bro. We're good, we're good, we're good. We need a helmet and we need to start equipping our chest plate. Ah, uh, we had that one already. Damn. That's no progress. There, there's progress. No! He rolled zero! Come on, man! Xenium rolled zero. Come on, come on, come on. Should we remove the feature of things rolling zero? I know it's been hated on since day one, and I've never... I've never thought it was a bad design. But I've also never really cared about it too much. I've not considered it being a problem in the game. But I wonder if it's just a negative. If it's never a positive. So the, the base idea of it. <laughs> you're gonna laugh. You're gonna hate me for this. So originally it was a bug. Okay. Goody wrote the loot tables for Vault Doors. One of the first things we did like three years ago. Okay. And it was the first time he dealt with like fortune stuff. And he said, that's how it works in vanilla. And I'm like, no, that's not how it works in vanilla. <laughs> it's not good, Goody. Let's, let's fix it. And I think, if I remember correctly, there was no fix for it at the time. I mean, it's a super simple fix, though. I know how to fix it myself. I don't even need to do it in Java. It's a JSON thing. Uh, but the question is, then, then it's kind of stuck. Because then we came up with the idea that, okay, where am I heading? Uh, this way? East? Then I came up with the idea that, okay, well, um, we can make something out of this. We can make it so that if you smelt your vault doors, you're always guaranteed one. But people don't even know about that mechanic. And they absolutely don't care about that mechanic. So I guess what I'm saying is, maybe the core mechanic is bad. Maybe the zero is never can never be perceived as... Like, oh, this is a fun game mechanic. Maybe it's just boring. I'll be sad to see zero roll goes as Shellobs. I mean, it would be probably be bad for gamblers. <laughs> like Shellobs. Should I do it again? We could do it with a 3x3, three three, couldn't we? So we're not perma uh, insta-dead like we were last time. Don't I have shoveling on this? I do. Yo. Why didn't I get a notification? Why? Wow. I don't know, man. NVM rock, paper, scissors on three. One, uh, two, three. Paper. Paper. God damn GG, it. well played. GG. It's a draw. Okay, so I don't really want to have a thing above me. I don't have water, so I can't use water. Um... We're heading east. Actually, don't know if I can. I could dash and place a block. God damn it, that was a slime! Oh, I would have got up there if it wasn't for that slime. Hmm? Unlucky. Okay, so last time I just. They, they've all fell down on my head. I don't think I'm gonna have that problem now. So I should be able to dash again. And place a block. 
I think the problem with this room, though, is that you can't clear it. I think it has the old spawners. I don't actually know this. But Tango messaged me. Oh, come on, man. There's a champion slime again. I just can't. There was a champion there. I think the room doesn't stop spawning mobs. I think that's something that we probably... Like, like it's good that it spawns mobs on top. I'm not going to remove that. I know a lot of people have asked for that. But that would make the room l a lot easier to complete. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a challenge room. But I think you should be able to clear the mobs. So, that's something we probably should change. God damn it, though. Why have I got to have your traps? Mining speed. Oh. Oh my goodness. Hello, having fun yet? I'm having a lot of fun, uh, sir. I'm Raider. Master Right, thank you for the 100 bit saying, why don't people just use Void Liquid to guarantee two gems from one or... Yeah, that's the other thing. But I don't think that's a very known mechanic either. And it's also kind of weird now that you get Void Liquid from one, one theme after level 30, right? It's, it's, it's a bit weird. I should save these to a level 20 tool. 100%. Is the Xbox classified as a challenge? Yeah. Yeah. It's a random, random challenge thing. Uh, Joe, can you, can you uncraft? You can. So these are great in compacting doors, actually. All right. Well, we didn't get there, believers. I'm sorry. 16%. Uh, we did get some mod boxes though, so let's see if that solved our problem. Also funny that I got Apalene again. <laughs> but we got one more black opal. Waystone, waystone. Okay. I mean, it's probably all useful. So with mod boxes, the idea is to make them feel like they shouldn't always give you what you want. Of course not. I think actually the drawers probably have a pretty good loot table in the mod boxes. Like you can get the bad upgrades and then you can get all the way up to the controller, which you may not need later game or you don't need later game. You can get the compacting drawers. How much do these cost? We can definitely make a couple of these. But that shouldn't be priority. It shouldn't be priority. What would I want to compact that's the best thing to compact early game? It's probably gold or bronze. Yeah, probably bronze. This is playtesting. Um, yes and no. I mean, I'm finding things that we can improve for 11.2. I'm testing the new loot tables. But I'm also actually pl uh, planning on making this into a bit of a series in on the channel if you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna call it for today because i do need to go and get some dinner but um if you guys uh, if you guys enjoyed this then <clears throat> we'll, we'll do more i think the new loot tables feel really good they feel very very good they feel like they feel like i envisioned them and i i don't think we 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 like didn't even dive into like decorating anything but like, the blocks that you get are nice. And you get them from the vault. Love for his devs and the Dylans in the chat. Thank you, Book. It's silly funny. Maybe on a sky vault it would be better. Mm. Now see, now you put that in my brain as, like, why why do I do this on a sky vault? I'm not going to do it on a sky vault. I... I uh, because sky vaults are not finished yet and i i have that plan with barry to run it with barry once sky vaults are in a position where we call them finished like once we're out of alpha and it kind of defeats the purpose a little bit because i'm testing the loot tables in like normal vaults right stream tomorrow i'm not sure um i may very well be back tomorrow yeah i may very well be back tomorrow i i'm gonna have to check some things but i may very well be back tomorrow and set up our drawers continue the hunt for the pog 
I like that it's a hunt. And then tonight I'll probably, uh, hopefully Gregory is not napping so I can catch him and uh, and talk bounty rewards. Because I really think there is a room, uh, there's a lot of room for improvement. Early game still. Uh, or I'll just do it myself. I also need to fix the dungeons. I need to fix the dungeon loot tables. So they have the new loot tables. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm very, very excited and I'm very grateful to the team uh, that has made this wonderful Vault Remnants implementation. I'm going to write it down now. Vault Remin Remnants. Remnants. How do you spell it, Dylan? How big is the team of Vault Hunters? We are about 12 people, I think, but not everyone's active. In fact, uh, as I said earlier, I still haven't got any uh, messages from Hellfire after the podcast, which is a bit concerning to me. Um, and a lot of people have been AFK lately. A lot of people are busy doing other things. So right now, with this update, it's only been me, uh, Sunny, Joe. Uh, Pyder has helped us out with some art. Um, and then Pepper has done the uh, the skill altar update. But yeah, it's been, it's been quite lonely. <laughs> Remnants. Okay, thank you, Joe. Remnants. Tag. Anyway, hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the raid um, earlier, Dead Pine. I appreciate that. And thank you for all the support. A hundred gifted subs earlier from from uh, um, from our dear uh, Megalith is insane. It's crazy. All right, I go eat now. I go eat. You guys enjoy your uh, Tuesday, all right? See you guys later. Bye 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 bye. Goddamn stream deck, man. <laughs>